Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Look who it is! Good morning. It's lovely Gemma Crow. I love, love what you've done. I love the donuts. Yeah. Well, do you know? It's been so. It's nice to see you mm -hmm. weaving. Yeah, it's nice to get the chance to do it. You know, I don't I don't get wire very often. No. We we don't do wire very often. So no. it's nice. It's nice to have it and nice to play. <sighs> And Mom. doodle with wire. That's have a doodle with wire. Yeah. That's such a perfect way. Now, if 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 you are maybe new to the channel, yeah, then maybe this is a whole new medium that you will be experiencing. Um, if you're very established with the channel, then I'm sure you'll be thinking the same as uh, as I am. Literally, how lovely it is mm. to have Gemma Crow do really what you're no best known for. Yeah, I think wire and metal is yeah. sort of what I do a lot of, and that's, it's just nice. Nice, that's incredible. It's nice to try other things and do other things, but it is lovely to come back to this and just have a little oh, play. Oh, my word, Gemma, that's absolutely incredible. Look at that. All you. you can achieve this as well, because you're going to uh, be demonstrating this during uh, the yeah. kit hours. So we've got two amazing kit hours, 9 o'clock and also at 12 o'clock. Mm -hmm. um, lovely donuts, but not as you know it. Because yes. they're kind of not drilled in the centre, they're drilled at the top. Slightly, slightly at the top. So I've shown, hopefully, lots of ways to, to um, use them. And then um, hopefully you can sort of pick and choose whatever you feel comfortable with. Oh, my with. goodness, these are absolutely amazing, Gem. You can choose the technique. Oh, yeah. loving it. So make sure you're with us from, uh, well, literally from now, but 9 o'clock and also at 12 o'clock, Gem mm. is going to be doing her amazing kits and demonstrations. But what a show have we got planned for you today. Oh my goodness me, literally it starts from now because we've got, you've seen them on, I've just seen them then in the break there. Some lovely little slider bracelets with your lovely little turtles, which I think are absolutely Cute. fabulous. They'd be so beautiful alongside maybe, I don't know, abalone or pearls, or I'm thinking all of your lovely gemstones of the sea. Um, so the slider itself is the cutest little turtle <laughs> and it comes, com look. Lovely, isn't it? Aren't they adorable? So these are coming up as one of your early birds this morning um, at the very top of the hour. But I tell you what, they come in three different colours um, and you do get all three of them as well. So you haven't got to choose between. Um, now, I, I do know the price of these. Roscoe, oh my goodness. Do you know the price no, of these? No idea. Well, let's just say you'll be getting all three. Yes, there is jewellery made up with these. Let me grab them. Let me grab them. Um, you'll be getting all three for really much less than the price of one. 
Honestly, crazy, crazy low. And we do have a massive quantity of these, so um, we're going to put them available on pre-order so you can actually shop ahead. And I am literally talking about pocket change oh, in terms those. of the price point for these. Yeah, if you love the shells, the heart shells... I do. We've got those as well. We're going to put those on pre-order for you too. Um, but the quantity, I'm just going to turn this around. Um, the quantity of the shell is much less than we've actually got of the bracelets. Look how sweet these are. Silver plated, really beautiful. Um, very endearing, aren't they? Coming up within this hour. Um, but again, we're still not done with your early birds. Got loads to bring you within this hour because check these out. Um, now, I know we've done like a, a sort of a Cartier-esque um, box line before if you like um that was incredibly popular you know i look at you looked at them and then straight mm. away you could see the yeah. level of luxury These are beautiful aren't they amazing they're absolutely gorgeous they really do shine luxury don't they massively so and you think all those wonderful creations that you make be that rings be that necklaces be that pendants be that bracelets um including your cuffs um you're going to want to present them um in a, an equally beautiful box yeah. so these are coming up as your early bird how amazing are these? And I can't quite believe just how inexpensive they are. I mean, I've bought boxes in the past when I had my jewellery business, you know, and packaging could cost in, in some mm. cases as much as the actual piece yeah, of jewellery. Um, so these are coming up within this hour. Um, I mean, look at that. Look at, the, look at the quality of those. And we've got an exciting quantity of each of them. You know, think about your wire cuffs. Mm. Think about your all the bracelets, all your sea beading, all those lovely mediums that you mm. create fabulous jewellery for. Presenting them is as, as as important. Well, yeah, it, it sort of nods to the value and worth of the piece, doesn't totally. it? Totally. So, you know, putting it in a box like that is it's elevated not, it's completely. It's much better than just putting it in, you know, just folding it in a little bit of tissue paper. Yeah. yeah. Nothing wrong with that, but this really does take it to another level. Um, and then at 10 o'clock, I'm going to be joined by the wonderful, wonderful Dave Troth, who's going to be bringing you some of the finest master carving jadeite that I've ever, ever ever seen and genuinely i don't know where to begin with these probably oh i'm going to start with the one that i oh my word that i haven't actually seen in person as of oh, yet wow. look at this intricacy oh that's stunning and if you think that's amazing wait a sec look at that detail i agree with you ross has just said in my ear i think these are the best jades that we've uh, that we've ever seen the best carvings yeah absolutely they're double-sided um, you've got this amazing one with the beautiful landscapes going in there. Can you see that? All that beautiful bonsai trees. Mm. Um, you've got your Angel of Mercy carving just here. The one on the recording we're looking at right now, I can hold before you as well. Again, look at that level of detail. And that is so close to Imperial Jade. Mm. Look at the colour. Look at the intensity of that colour, which is all completely and utterly natural. We've got loads of different varieties to bring you, all master carved, all legacy opportunities, aren't they? I think don't think, I don't think anyone could deny that. No. We've even got, which I'm really fond of, and I actually discussed a little bit of uh, behind the scenes info. Um, this was originally purchased to be um, a sort of a version or uh, um, a take on the Willow and Tig. Oh, right. These in a pod. Yeah. Um, so we asked for these to be carved. <clears throat> in the end, we just decided to, to bring them on their own. And you can yeah. do your own version. But lots of meaning behind uh, behind the peas in the pod. So those are coming up as well. So to, from 10 o'clock today, I'm going to be joined by wonderful Dave, who's going to be uh, with me for two hours, um, all about your master carving. Some of the finest that we've ever seen. I also need to mention and show you these, because they're coming up within this hour. Some really beautiful, look at those, leaf bales. So um, you can get hold of those, you know, again, perfect for suspending loads of beautiful pendants or literally wearing them as they, as they are. Yeah. Amazing, lovely, aren't, aren't they? they? Yeah, I feel like nice. I've not been with you for ages. It has only actually been two days. Everybody said, hasn't, haven't Everybody. they said? You must John, have been missed out. That's oh, nice, That's isn't nice. It? Well, it's nice to feel loved. Yeah, John Scott to me said, where have you been? I only had two days off. <laughs> it was two days. Um, but it's lovely to be back with you. Now, um, I particularly like a Wednesday. Do you know why I like a Wednesday? Because it's Wall of Fame and we get to give Joy Maker money away. <laughs> Start 
starting us off this morning is Susan Jones. Good morning to you, Susan. You're number 125. Look at that. Beautiful photography as well. It's lovely, isn't it? Amazing. Uh, Susan says, good, uh, good afternoon, everybody. Here is my... Oh, good morning, everyone. Here is my entry for this week. Um, a beautiful Mexican opal with sterling silver chain, all from Jewelry Maker. I need a win, as I want some of the lovely pearls you are selling at the moment. Uh, but good luck to everybody who enters. That's absolutely gorgeous. Love fire opal. You're really lucky with that one as well. You've got that perfect blend, Perfection. haven't you? Yeah, it's lovely. Between the oranges and the reds. Number 126 is from Carrie. Hello to you, Carrie. Gosh, you've been busy. Some wonderful wire work there. Uh, good morning, lovely JM family. I haven't done anything for a while due to a hospital stay, but got out. And a few days ago, I thought it was time I did. Well, I hope you're okay, Carrie. Uh, nice, easy makes uh, to ease me back in. Uh, so pleased to find my entry to the... Uh, uh, so, so pleased. Find my attached entry to the Wall of Fame. It's uh, Jade... Uh, with gallery wire, morganite with gallery wire, and a lapis cabochon in silver plate. Everything is from Jewelry Maker. I hope they're good enough to show. Good luck to everybody, and thanks for the inspiration. Carrie, they're absolutely stunning. Yeah. Love those, love those. Um, and I'm going to pass these over to our lovely Jill. Oh. Here we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I've got 127, and it's from Alwyn Hurst. And she says, hi, here's my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. I made this from some black and white pearls I got in the scoop a while back wow. um, added some white topaz and silver space spaces between the pearls and sterling silver findings all from JM really loved this scoop which was called the mother of pearl scoop and included some superb pearls I would be it would be great if you could do that again good luck to all the entrants I'll try and watch or record each day to see what we're all doing Oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah, bring back the scoops. That would yeah. be nice. Yeah, I love the scoops. Okay, then I've got number 128 and it's from Erica Cotter. Next one. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> oh, look, this is lovely. So it's all that tiger's eye. Uh, hi, she says, I have been making bracelets this week, all components from JM. Wishing everybody good luck. Thank you, Erica. Those are lovely. Nice Beautiful. slider bracelet there. And then 129 is from Lynn Arrowsmith. Are you ready, Ross? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Amazing. I recognise this. This is one of Monica's designs, isn't it? Um, Lynn says, hi, everybody. This is my entry for the Wall of Fame. It's a kit I bought from Jem a few days ago. It took me a couple of days to make it, but, it was, but I was pleased with the result. Good luck, everyone. I say you should be very pleased. A couple of days. That would take me weeks. <laughs> I, I, it, would, I, it, it would never even be it's complete. It's gorgeous. Amazing. Would you like the last one? No, go on, you okay. go. Right, I've got number 130 from Sue Thursfield. Beautiful. Oh, that's gorgeous. Classic. Um, hi, all. Here's my entry for the Wall of Fame. It is a white shell pearl necklace using two sizes of pearls and silver jump rings as spaces between. The jump rings add a subtle division and highlight the luster of the pearls. They definitely do that. I love to try creating new designs, but sometimes the traditional jewellery just stands out. Thanks to GM, we can try everything without breaking the bank. Keep on appealing to different abilities, pockets and creativity. Good luck to all. Well, that's a lovely message. Thanks, lovely, Sue. Sue. Loving that. I'm just smiling in the background because uh, Michael Worth is... I used, I, my, my dad used to call me Little Bear because I used to scratch my back against the wall. <laughs> Michael Wolf's literally stood in the corner scratching his back. <laughs> I used to always do it in Yeah. Ways. Door frames do, uh, do are the best yeah. back scratchers, aren't they? Love us <laughs> smiling at that. Uh, Michael Wolf is with us, everybody, Yay. this morning. Oh. There was a nice surprise when I stepped oh, into the I studio. Ah, yes. oh, with his Hawaiian shirt as well. It's very Phil Powell inspired. Phil Powell, yeah, it is very <laughs> Phil Powell actually. Um, right then, should we give some money away? Oh, go on then, yeah. Let's, let's do, do it. That. Do you want to do the winner, Jem? Oh, go on then. Go on. You do the winner, and oh. I'll do the runner-up. Oh, I like. This. Fingers crossed. Good luck, everybody. Good luck. Oh, give it a good oh, spin. Good spin. All right. At the top. Right. The winner of this week's Wall of Fame is. Uh, oh, number 100. 100. Denise Wilson. Denise Wilson, well, well done, done to you, my lovely. You are our winner for this week. Let's hey. do a runner up now, shall we? Okay, give it a good old whiz. I know, that's proper welly, isn't it? Nice. Right, then. Look. look. Our runner-up. <gasps> oh, it's close. It is close. It is close. It's number 96. Uh, Margaret Gibson. Margaret Gibson! Yay. Well done! 
There we go. Fifty pounds being credited to your jewelry maker accounts. Well done. Make sure you send your entries in. You can do that very easily. Make sure your components are, of course, with jewelry maker, and send us a nice message, and we can show it on air as well. Good luck, everyone. Um, right then, I think we need to get cracking with what will be an absolutely yes. wonderful Wednesday. I'm going to start with these beautiful, beautiful mother of pearl hearts. Now, loads of the biggest designers, the biggest names. Uh, Rolex, mm -hmm. for example, use them in their watch dials. Mother of Pearl. Why? Because they're stunning. Look at this. You get this wonderful play of light across the surface of your Mother of Pearl. Um, they are drilled, as you can see, through the centre, uh, which means, like Anne and Sue have done here, you can literally just pop one of your head pins through and away you go. Um, these are big hearts as well. L it being... <laughs> I know, I'm full of beans now because I've been... Give me a few days off and she's re-energised. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. I should say I had a nice, uh, um, a nice sort of rest a couple of days but I didn't because it's been Willow's birthday so it was utter chaos in the Stevens household and um, these are a lovely big size really lovely uh, sort of statements they are both both sides as well if I take one of these off you can see there you go so it doesn't matter if they sort of flip over because they're shell they're obviously relatively lightweight which yeah. means you could wear these earrings yeah you can yeah I love I love these shell beads and we haven't had them for a long time especially these more substantial sizes so it's lovely to have them back. Isn't it? And it goes perfectly with your turtle slider bracelets, which you can also pre-order and shop ahead on as well. Um, that's five pounds each. Amazing. Think gallery wire. Think your bezel strips. Think mm. all of your lovely wire work that Gemma's going to teach you yeah. um, throughout the course of this morning's show. It's all about that wonderful iridescence. The more, I don't know, liquid-like, I guess, would be the way I would describe it. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. It, it is quite a, quite a fluid look, isn't it? It's Amazing. Gorgeous. And now, the nice thing is, as well, it reflects every colour that it's around. That's true. So, you know, like it doesn't, pills. Yeah, it doesn't matter what colour you're wearing, it sort of picks it up. Perfect. Now... All three. That's not your early bird price tag. I want to start this Wednesday show as we mean to go on because it is going to be an absolute cracker. An absolute cracker. Drill through the centre. Use that drill hole if you wish or not because if you want to use them as cabochons and use your bezel strips, then it's obviously going to be hidden away. So we get this price point under £10. Remind me, Roscoe, how many do we have of these available? 50. Oh, oh, they are much more limited then than I thought. So those of you that have checked out nice and early, well done. Um, well done. If you want the bracelets, they are coming up in about 20 minutes' time. The price is literally unbelievable. They are, I guarantee them under £10. There we go. What, and that is for all three. Yeah, but not just by a little bit either. Oh, wow. That's amazing. That's as much as I'm going to say. That's as much as I shall say. They are guaranteed under £10 for all three of those beautiful slider bracelets. I mean, look at that. How much would you sell these for? If, you know, they're, they're really quick makes. How much would you sell that for, Gem? Oh, with, with the heart on as well, 25, 30 pounds. And I bet they would absolutely walk, wouldn't boxed, they? Boxed, you know, even, even more, you know, so. Well, all three of those 30 millimetre natural iridescent white shells, 9.99 this morning. But um, I only have 50 available for you this morning. So do be quick. Linda, hello to you, Dawn. Hello to you, uh, Nicolette. Hello to you, new customer. Leslie, County Atrium, Jeanette, Gabrielle, Janice, Laura, Karen, Linda. Loads of you with it still in your baskets. Make sure you do check them out. 50 is not many, is not many. Not in the world of jewellery maker. We can literally sell thousands in a matter of minutes. So it's, look at the deals that we're getting. Like I said, Rolex is the brand that really springs to mind. Although mm. I know that uh, Van Cleef use, uh, use Mother of Pearl. I know that Chanel use Mother of Pearl as well. Um, sorry, it bothers me that I'm holding that heart upside down. There we go. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and you can understand why they use it. It's, yeah. so, it's so beautiful, isn't it? It is. It's gorgeous. It's always been like my mum's favourite. Do you remember um, many years ago they used to do pottery and coat it with like a yes. Mother, of, Mother of Pearl finish? And it would always be what we bought for my mum for birthdays and Christmases and things like that Aww. from the seaside. Because, yeah, she's always loved it. And so it's always been, you know, a favourite of mine as well because of that. I'm visualising these as well because you mentioning pottery makes mm. me think outside of the jewellery making uh, sort of box. Uh, these would be really nice maybe as, uh, um, I don't know, chimes or maybe, uh, what am I thinking of? Oh, like mobiles and things like and that. and window hangings. Great wedding favours oh, as well. Can yes. you imagine these, you know, sort of on the table? Maybe, and the other thing, talking about this the other day, actually, 
with Georges, you can carve shell really easily. So if you've got your Dremel, you can personalise the, personalise these with perhaps initials or a date or oh something like that. Oh my goodness, that would be so beautiful. Yeah. Wedding date. Wedding date. How yeah. nice would that be? be lovely. Love it? it. Save the date. You could almost. Oh wow, that would be very very posh. Nine ninety nine. That's working out what three pound thirty three per uh, per shell, and they're big, aren't they? You can yeah. see that they're you know they're large pieces, both double sides, so you're not going to have one side which is. Um, well, one concave, one convex. They, you know, they are um, three-dimensional. If you like, they are flying out the door. Do come and say hello to us if you want to also get the slider bracelets. You can pre-order on those. You won't believe the deal. Honestly, it's meant it's crazy how low they are. Um, now, these lovely jewelry boxes. Should we put those on pre-order too? Because we have got a big quantity, haven't we, Roscoe? Um, massive quantities to bring you today, which is wonderful. Someone's asked about the bracelet box. Would the jade bangle fit in there? Yes. And that's a really good idea. Really mm. good idea. Because I actually, I love the jade, but one thing, it doesn't come in the nicest of boxes. Yeah. Um, that's a great idea. And your watches. Watches will go in there as well yeah. because it's actually adjustable. Can you see that? You can yeah, actually... not, not just for gifting, but for keeping your pieces, you know, your yeah. special pieces safe as well. You know, yeah. that's the sort of thing you want I mean, want if, you to go, if you go into have. Cartier, yeah. you know, Say, for example, you and I come into a bit of money, gem, and we oh, decide yeah. to go into Cartier. Nice. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Um, and buy and treat yourself to a nice Cartier bangle. It's mm. coming in a box like this. It is. It's coming in a luxury box. Yeah. Um, so make sure you shop ahead and pre-order on those. This is the bracelet. Then you've got the pendant stroke drop earrings one. Um, it's what we normally call universal. And then you've got the ring box too. Um, so you can shop ahead. We've got literally hundreds of these available, about 300 in total. Um, now, we've guaranteed the slider bracelets under £10. I'm going to guarantee separate auctions, all three boxes, Pardon? under £5. Under £5 each? Yeah. Under £5 each. That's amazing. It is amazing. I, I, even at wholesale, I couldn't pay that. Yeah, price. that's so, fantastic. If you don't know how to pre-order, let me just show you. All the W's at jewelrymaker.com. Um, click on Watch Live, just there, just un underneath Gemma and I. Can you see it? Uh, click Watch Live, and then this screen will pop up. You can write us a message if you wanted to as well. Hello. <laughs> hello. Hello. <laughs> you. You're the best channel on tv yeah <laughs> thanks ross <laughs> thanks ross and you can scroll down look and if you look on one side it'll say pre-order there we go shop ahead each of these i've just told you they are going under 10 pounds the bracelets that's a set of three under 10 pounds um, and under five pounds for each and every single one of these boxes. So you can shop ahead. What that basically means is that you're, you know, not getting caught up in any queues and you're guaranteeing success. So uh, do that. Everybody will pay that final low regardless of when you make your confirmations. How amazing is that? And you've got to be honest, amazing. with some of the pieces of jewellery, the gemstones that we actually bring, I really do think how you present it, how yeah. you look after it is equally as important. Um, yeah, right then. So you can shop ahead on those as well. Uh, the bales are also coming up within this hour. Um, it's honestly, it's so jam-packed today. Now, what should we do next, Roscoe? Um, I've never seen this Ooh. before. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm just going to borrow oh, a bust if I can. It's very pretty. <gasps> There are only, this is the first time I've seen this. So what was it, was it with Carol? Yeah, I'm not surprised they flew out the door. Um, so Carol launched these. I know it's on a black bus, which isn't the best to be fair. Um, but you've got all your lovely chakra colors, each genuine gemstones. Ah, oh, Dan, gorgeous Dan's on it though. He heard me, he heard me. Um, and that is 925 sterling silver. Let me just swap this over for you because then you can really appreciate um, appreciate the quality of the gemstones. Um, chakra, is, it's, it's huge, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah, absolutely it's, huge. It's, it's popular, it's, you know, it's very mainstream now to, to sort of know about chakras and meditate and, mm -hmm. um, and things like that. So yeah, it's, it's, it's really, really popular. Yeah, and, and even if you're not into that kind of thing, if you don't really yeah. understand the chakras or know what it's about, then, um, I mean, what a vision in a piece of jewellery. Well, this is it. It's also rainbow, isn't it? It's rainbow colours. That's got lots of connotations now. It's got yep. 
you know, from Pride right through to sort of um, NHS. Yeah. Um, you know, the COVID initiatives. That's so great. it's it's got so fun. many, um, you know, it resonates with so many people. And it's so cheerful and uplifting, yeah. isn't yeah, it? it? It's is. so lovely that lots of the biggest brands are actually using multi-gemstones now, yeah. you know, yeah. multi-coloured gemstones, not just, say, your diamonds. Yeah. Not that there's anything wrong with diamonds, of course, no. but it's nice to see a little bit of colour. They are each, and, uh, each of those are genuine gemstones. So I can see here lapis lazuli, you've got aquamarine you've got peridot you've got amethyst um, you've got some really lovely carnelian you've got citrine within there all your chakra colors now i know this is something that you could possibly make you could possibly make this couldn't you yeah. um but you would have to buy the separate components you'd have to buy um each of those micro strands mm -hmm. um across the seven different chakra colors you'd have to buy the spool of, uh, of sterling silver chain um, and you'd have to buy the clasp and the wire. So that's and the wire, of course, yeah. yes, to do the rosary linking. So that's when you know pieces like this mm -hmm. start to get quite expensive to purchase yeah. you know, to create yourself. Yeah, and also the time spent making it. True, as well, you know. So. It's 18 inches. These flew with lovely Carol. Over 300 went on the launch. Seven carats of multicolored gemstones. Um, a real vision. We've got 30 of them left, so literally down to the final 10%. And immediately we've got people making checkouts um, all across the world. Well done and lovely to be with you all. What a lovely gift this is. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe you know somebody um, within the NHS. Maybe you know somebody that's really into chakras. Or maybe for yourself, of course. $29.99. We're not even stopping there. Again, you've got seven different gemstones. Topaz. Zambian, what did you say? Zambian amethyst, citrine, lapis lazuli, topaz, peridot, and carnelian, and the garnet. Let's not forget the garnet. So seven different gemstones and sterling silver. We are not stopping at $29.99. It is complete. Clasp is included. So you don't need to do anything to this. We're not even stopping here. We're not even stopping at 19.99. We're going even lower again. Oh, there are 25 left though, out of the 300 that we had um, originally. I'm not surprised that this has absolutely flown out the door. There's lots of perks to having the, almost these station necklaces. Not only do they look beautiful as they are, but if you do want to put a pendant on there, um, it means that it's not going to migrate. Mm. Do you know sometimes you know the chains actually migrate yeah. uh, because the gemstone? Did you like that? Did you like that, Adam? <laughs> did you like the migration? Yeah. Oh, did it? Did it? That's nice. <laughs> That's nice. I've got Ross swooning in the gallery. That's lovely. <laughs> um, yeah, you, you, your pendant's not going to be migrating. You don't want a migrating no. pendant. You want no. it to stay central, don't you? <laughs> now half the stock has gone already. <laughs> We're not even stopping at twenty pounds. Oh, the swooning sounds. Yes, that is, yeah. Adam's swooning sound was uh, interesting, the, wasn't the it? The swooning sounds are making me swoon now. I we're know. All gonna, we're all so going to be swooning. So, so much swooning. Are you swooning this morning? I'm swooning at this <laughs> necklace. Are you swooning, Michael? I just swooned in the gallery. You swooned yeah. in the gallery. You like to keep it private, do you? Yeah, Fair enough. Do, yeah. yeah. What about you, Dan? Are you swooning this morning? No. No. Oh, no. 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 <laughs> at least he's honest. He doesn't swoon. He smoulders, doesn't he? He smoulders. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Dan's a smoulderer, not a swooner. <laughs> <laughs> Swooner, Jem. Oh, definitely. And yeah, me. Yeah, yeah definitely. definitely a swooner. <laughs> I can't do smouldering. If I do smouldering, I just look like something's wrong with me. <laughs> like some, something's in my eye. <laughs> 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 Twelve ninety nine. Is it me or is it hot in here? <laughs> it's all that smouldering. Genuinely, I am actually quite hot. It might have been the smouldering. Um, here comes the <laughs> smoulder. It's on the verge of selling out. To be fair, gorgeous Dan, gorgeous Dan, you can't help but smoulder, can you? I love to, Dan. Yeah, yeah you get really embarrassed. <laughs> Smouldering, <laughs> that looks smouldering. If you were a rock star, you know, if you were a rock star, Dan, I reckon you would be a bit of a pin-up yeah. for the girls, wouldn't they? You'd be, you'd, be, you'd be on that one that used to pull out the middle of your magazine and blue tap to your bedroom wall. Yeah, and trying not to get the staple marks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, 
well done, everybody. It's sold out. Congratulations to you all. Um, should we do? Oh, I love these. Speaking of, speaking of your chakra, now these are very last in mm. stock. Um, maybe you've looked at the Blanca Onyx. I know it's a totally different gemstone, but um, mm. it's also a totally different price point, isn't it? The Blanca, uh, Blanca Onyx. But it has that similarity. It's got a real innocence to it. Uh, this is selenite. Now, selenite is a, is a magical gemstone, um, which, uh, steeped in history, there were 75 originally, and I've got how many left? Five. Oh. Okay, so you need to be really quick. Um, it has a natural play of colour, and you'll see that. Tiny, tiny, tiny microscopic little platelets within this gemstone uh, create this beautiful, uh, beautiful chatoyancy. Imagine this with the mother of pearl that you had earlier on. Gorgeous. Oh, that'd be nice, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, that would be nice. It's, 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 got, it's, got this, it's got this wonderful kind of like heavenly, mm -hmm. really beautiful, almost like a spiritual aura about it. Yeah, night. it has. And it's, you know, it's, it's used, you know, it's used as a charging plate, an amplification plate for other gemstones. Yep. So whatever you put with it, Cleansing. it's going to bring out the vibrancy of that gemstone. Oh. And, and do you know that um, it used to be used in magnifying glasses because of how it's formed. It's like lots of sort of rutiles all in one direction. Yeah and then little tubes. And so when you put it over, if you've got like a flat sheet of it, you put it over something, it actually projects the image up through the piece. How amazing the is that? So my son has a piece about this long and he puts, you can put it on like a print and you can see it at the top. How amazing. It's fantastic. But it, it says that the, that, that energy it possesses yeah. to do that also helps amplify anything you put around it. Love it. I absolutely love it. I, yeah, it, it's so good. It's, it has this aura, this presence yeah. about it. We only have five, so please don't leave them in your baskets. Well done to those of you that got hold of that. Um, I've only got two other strands, and that's it. In fact, if you re rewind, I don't know, say a year, probably even less than that, we didn't have any selenite strands. Um, so it's only recently we've, we've, uh, that we've actually started bringing it to air. Bring it to air. Now here, you'll see what Gemma was just talking about. Um, you're really going to see that wonderful uh, phenomena that, mm. that occurs naturally within this gemstone. We've, I've, I don't, if I had the quantity, I would talk about this maybe at a greater length. It is a gemstone in Rome. There's a church within Rome where they literally use selenite as windows yeah. and it creates this really beautiful uh, beautiful glow uh, you know glass will obviously will, will will allow light through but with selenite it creates this wonderful glow um, we have literally three strands within our vault that's it once it's gone it's gone these are 10 millimeters in their size um, a wonderful gemstone very powerful of course in the metaphysical world um, but also really beautiful you know um, there are less than five of these remaining here it is so these are in rome that's literally oh, wow. this gemstone selenite instead of using glass that's on the outside it's selenite how amazing so yeah that gorgeous diffused light with not it yeah it's beautiful Beautiful, twenty nine pounds and ninety nine pence. And on this very PowerPoint, uh, very PowerPoint, uh, Ross, it actually has it bullet pointed. Lots of words really associated to uh, to selenite. Um, yeah, it, it it you know it really does sort of highlight, um, really showcases, and I think perfectly uh, captures the uh, you know the uh, the beliefs attached to this gemstone. Um, I'm going to bring you the eight mils now. So imagine that in a lovely mala with something like a pure white silk. Mm, oh, that would be very nice. I would keep it all about yeah. the purity. Um, here are those words. When you think selenite, it's serenity, purification, peace, meditation, universal consciousness, clarity of thought, purity of heart, universal love, integrity, spirituality, psychic development, forgiveness, and positive thoughts. Would you agree with that, Gem? Yeah, absolutely. And, and yeah, it's energy on there because it does, it's very energizing. It's not on there. It's very energizing. My, my son has a piece, like I said, and he said he was struggling to sit down and concentrate to work on his assignments. Yeah. And so I said to him, do you have the selenite on your desk? He said, yeah. I said, move it off the desk. And so he did, and he was able to sort of concentrate because it is a very energizing. So if you feel like you need energizing, it's a great place to have it, like in the kitchen or... Oh, you know, I do need it. You know, by the front door before you leave the house, things like that. It's 
very good for, for energy. I, I definitely need that, especially after the weekend that I yeah. had. <laughs> yeah. um, need, need, need an injection of selenite, I think. Well done, everybody. Very limited and utterly beautiful. Um, again, remember, you can shop ahead on your early birds, those lovely turtle sliders, all guaranteed. You get all three of them guaranteed at under £10. Likewise, with your beautiful mock croc um, <coughs> boxes, you, they're all guaranteed under £5. Each auction guaranteed under £5. Um, wow, wow, wow. Shall we now do something that would go perfectly with uh, your selenite is mm. pearls, I think. Absolutely. Don't you think? It's yeah. not just a 38 centimetre strand either. You've got a full... Is that two metre? Um, a metre. A full metre with... Oh. Sterling silver. With sterling silver. So wouldn't these go beautiful with your lovely turtles? They would. There's a sentence I never thought I'd say. <laughs> but they would, wouldn't they? They'd go amazing with your turtle slide. Oh, come on. There we go. They would look very classic, don't Just they? Just little sections, like, I don't know, about an inch. You've also got within here your Stardust. Can you see that? The Stardust Spacer Beads. You can shop ahead on your turtle slider bracelets. They're coming up within this hour. We've got a big quantity guaranteed under £10 for all three of those. Um, but, yeah, within your uh, metre-long length of genuine cultured pearls, I'm not talking faux or synthetic, these are genuine cultured pearls and that classic um, ivory white, you have those lovely uh, stardust rondelles or, or almost like saucer shapes, aren't yeah. they? I remember when, Jen, we used to send, sell those literally on their own. Yes. Yeah, we did. You used to get, like, a pack of 50. I miss it? them, you know. I've Me still too. got some from the old days where I sort of stopped her, but I'm glad I did because yeah. they are lovely. Uh, well, we've had them, I think, once over, over the past year and they mm. sold out straight away. Yeah. Well, you won't need to buy those auction, uh, those spaces separately because, Fair honestly, it's a massive saving and there are loads within this full metre long length. Genuine pearls, genuine 925 sterling silver. Even if you literally just restranded this and had it as an over-the-head uh, sort of necklace or uh, mm. maybe incorporated it alongside your selenite, I think that would be beautiful. Should we bring it back just to see yeah. it together? Yeah. Look at that, Gem. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? Purity, absolutely. Oh, it looks gorgeous together, doesn't it? Yeah. For a metre of genuine cultured pearls, I've got 15 left. We're going to do a huge, huge price crash in a minute. It will go beautifully with your Larimar, which I'm also including mm. within this hour. That's Pearls and Larimar, heavenly, aren't they? I'm not, we're not just talking about a cheeky 10% off. We're talking a massive price reduction. If you do recall us doing the Sterling Silver Stardust beads, um, weren't they around £15, £20 pounds for, um, for a pack of 30 of them? Well, you're getting genuine cultured pearls, loads of the sterling silver stardust beads. And instead of being 99.99 this morning, we are 29 pounds and 99 pence. They're flying out the door. Well done, everybody shopping ahead. Good morning to London, Anita, Julie. Hello to you, Mo uh, Monmouthshire. New customers, Veronica in London getting involved as well. And um, this that's what this show, this hour is all about. It's very fast and pacey in the first hour. Some have got very little quantity like this. Some have got massive quantity quantity like your early birds so shop ahead on those but make sure you don't miss out by leaving these in your baskets hello to Hampshire Marie Tracy Brenda nice to see you there check out your baskets we're in the single figures oh the single figures Christine hello to you in Hertfordshire as well <laughs> that's me just doing my little bit of Beyonce did I pull it off very sassy yeah, yeah. See, I, I like... swooned <laughs> I like that that's that's a goal in my life to make Gemma, Gro Gemma Crow swoon <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, could have gone oh, horribly you go. wrong. Yeah. It was so, so well rescued, so wasn't close. it? So close <laughs> to being a, 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 a TV blunder. Down to the final seven of these. Well done. You missed it, though, didn't you? Michael missed it. I know, because otherwise he would have been, he would have been the first person that we would to uh, uh, scoop off the floor. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Stay where you are. Make sure you do check out a classic, classic pearl. Well, rope of pearl, actually, mm. given the fact that you're getting a metre long length. Yeah. Um, all, personally, all I would do is literally restrand this. And wear, and then you then you can wear it as a long line necklace, kind of 1920s vibe. Yeah. Or you can double it up. Yeah, you can. I, I'm just thinking about one of those lovely carved pendants oh. um, on the end or, you know, oh. incorporated into that oh. nice long sort of rope of pearls. That's gorgeous. Let's go the Angel of Mercy. Yeah. Just knotting her on the bottom. Yeah, I mean that. 
It's, hey, that's beautiful, isn't it? Isn't it? Absolutely mm. stunning. Should we get, should I show you another one? This one? Mm. How amazing is that? Or do you want to go for yeah. the big carrot weight? Look at that. Oh, and the, the nice thing, I mean, that's a, that's a really big pendant, isn't it? Yeah. But because those pearls, you know, they're so substantial having that metre length, it just sort of works. The scale sort of works or the proportions work. Oh, jadeite and pearls are just divine together, yeah, aren't they? Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. Well, this is coming up in the 10 o'clock hour. Um, right now, though, you've only got three of them left and I can still see loads of you with it in your baskets. All I can say is good luck if you don't check them out. Mm. It's a risky scenario, that one. You'd normally have to choose what? Let's think for this price tag, that would be two strands of cultured pearls. Yeah. And it would be sterling silver spaces. You're not gonna do, you're not gonna purchase that for 30 pounds. I've got one left. Beverly, Cambridgeshire, Helen, Carmel, Marie, Tracy, Anita, an anonymous customer who wants three. Um, if you do, well, we haven't got three. We've only got one of them. It's on the verge of selling out. Good luck, good luck, good luck. I'll leave it with you. Shall we go to the Dominican Republic? Yeah. That would be nice, wouldn't it? It yeah. would be nice. Well, even if I can't take you there um, in reality, I can take you there almost virtually with this beautiful gemstone. It comes solely from the Dominican Republic, of course. Um, it is one locational, meaning it basically it's never been found anywhere else on this planet. And the likelihood um, uh, geologists and gemologists have actually uh, uh, discussed is, is, is virtually zero. Mm. This was formed out of uh, um, basically movements of tectonic plates that actually transformed um, pectolite, which is normally like a white or greyish colour, to this absolutely gorgeous exotic blue. Um, often referred to as Atlantis stone because many people believe that uh, the Dominican Republic is part of the lost city of Atlantis. And it is all about that lovely, delicate, I don't know, bird's eye view of the Caribbean Sea. If you can yeah. imagine that in your head, then it, it, it looks something like this. You've got the wonderful, um, the wonderful crystal white sands. You've got beautiful, beautiful sun-capped waves waves, all those wonderful markings that occur naturally within this gemstone. It is rare and it is very expensive ordinarily. If you've ever gone on a cruise, then you will know that uh, lapis, lazuli can, uh, lapis lazuli, Larimar can command um, a pretty penny. Mm -hmm. It really can. When I was over in Tucson, I was seeing Larimar, um, usually finished pieces of jewellery in all honesty, and they were all three figures, and that's at wholesale. Today, you can get hold of a staggering 380 18 carats should have been at 22 pounds and 99 pence should have been you've got 60 inches of natural larimar and it is that beautiful exotic blue that we it's this visualize this we're gonna go even lower a brand new low never been seen at the price that we're about to see it's not even a 38 centimetre strand. Mm -hmm. You've got how, how, 60 inches is what? A, a, a metre and a half, right? It's, it's like more than three strands, isn't it? If, yeah. If you were to sort of. Apparently, Gemma, I'm going to be livid at Ross. Oh. I can't imagine that, Ross. I, do, I can't imagine me being cross with you. <laughs> or, or you, Adam. They're, they're not easy to fall out with, are they? I can't imagine it, really. Very easy going chaps. Yeah. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Only time will tell, I suppose. <clears throat> Apparently, yeah, uh, Ross has just said, L, I'm devaluing Larimar in this auction opportunity. What he means by that is, yeah, no, it shouldn't be. Not, no, you're right. It should not be £12.99. pence. Goodness me, that's £10 off what was already an amazing price point. I totally agree with you. Now, when we say devaluing gemstones, that's what other jewellers think. Well, and believe me, when we go to the award ceremonies and things like that, jewellery maker and gemporia are not the popular guests. Do you know why that is? <laughs> because we, or basically, instead of we, uh, uh, this gemstone being the hundreds of pounds in those jewellery yeah. establishments, we're doing it £12.99. Yeah. So no, we're not best popular at that awards, uh, those kind of awards. However, uh, you know that this is no reflection of the true value or worth. Next time, if you're lucky enough to go to any of the Caribbean islands, if you're lucky enough to go maybe to... 
um, on a cruise liner, you will see Larimar. Keep an eye out for Larimar and you will see it at the three figures. Laura, well done to you, Suffolk, Gabrielle. Hello to you, Elvira, June. Hello to you, Sue, London, Joanna, Veronica, Carola, Tracy, Carolyn, Isle of Wight, new customer, West Midlands, Ruth, Irene, June, Marie, Tracy. You've got to check them out. That's an in... Uh, no, what am I talking about? 60 inches. That's a lot. It's this huge, with the pearls. It? A metre and a half. Is that taller than me? Not quite. Not quite. Mm. About the same. I mean, uh, it's a lot of Larimar, which is still, to this day, cut, polished, drilled in the Dominican Republic. It's, uh, it, it, we always talk about um, how, uh, you know, how remote tanzanite actually is in terms of its mm. mining location larimar is one square mile which is wow. minuscule That's in tiny, comparison yeah minuscule in comparison to really any other gemstone yeah. out there or certainly most of them you know diamond mines can literally be miles across they need, you know, huge heavy duty trucks to work their way around. This is literally one mile square. Hello, June. I bought a pair of tiny earrings um, in the Dominican Republic. Cost me four times this strand. <laughs> Got mine gorgeous. Well done. Amazing. And that's a good price, I bet you thought, June. I certainly would have done. Hello, Kayla, lovely. Um, morning, looking forward to an amazing show with two beautiful ladies. Bless your heart. Uh, big hugs uh, to you all in the studio uh, and at home. Hugs to you as well, Kayla. Uh, nice to hear from you this morning. I hope you are well. It literally is the definition of summertime, isn't it? It yeah, really it is. is. Yeah, it is. It's, it's, such a, it's got such a cool sort of vibe to mm. it, hasn't it? It's so relaxed and... Yeah. You can visualise your toes in the sand, can't you? Yeah. Uh, morning, Alison. Ladies, um, mm. I did say this the other day, but has to be said again. Buyers of the boxes over the last few days, well done. Amazing, fabulous, aren't they just? Yeah. I know. I don't know who's bought these. Maybe Caroline? I feel like it would be Caroline because mm. um, they are all available on pre-order. And, you know, you, if you make, I don't know, one of Gemma, Gemma's beautiful pendants. You don't want to just stick that in, in some tissue paper. You want to present it beautifully, don't you? Like like the scene off Pretty Woman. Yes. You know, it's presented. Yeah. Um, yeah. So these are coming up and guaranteed they're all going to be under five pounds. Hello, Abby. Happy anniversary, Gemma. Oh, thanks, Abby. Oh, <laughs> anniversary of? Well, it's, it was uh, a year for me and Chris <laughs> the other day. <laughs> Do you know, can I just say, and I don't want to make, I don't want to embarrass her, but um, it's so how happy you are. You literally ah. look so, you know, when someone literally radiates happiness. So, um, happy anniversary. Oh, thank you. Gorgeous I am pair. very happy. Thank you. Um, ladies, <laughs> looking gorgeous this morning. Elle, love your jacket. Thank you very much. Yes, good, isn't it? I'm Great. all about the kimonos. <laughs> I'm all about it's the kimonos. lovely. It looks great on you. Kimonos don't suit me, but they look great on you. Um, it hides a multitude. That's why I like kimonos. <laughs> Uh, congratulations, Margaret. Well done, lovely lady. Indeed, well done, Margaret, on your Wall of Fame win. Yes. Hope you're watching. If not, it'll be a nice little surprise, won't it? Mm -hmm. Make sure you, sh uh, you check out your baskets on your beautiful Larimar. Um, never been seen at £12.99, pence. nor should it, quite frankly. I'm not going to mm. fall out with you, Ross, because I love you too much. Yeah, we don't want that, do we? No, yeah, I'd, never, I'd, I'd never do that. Um, <laughs> but he wasn't wrong. No. Many people would think, hang on a minute... You can't do Larimar at twelve ninety nine, but he did, didn't he? He did. He did. He did. He that. went there. He went there, but we won't fall out with him because we love him too much. Right then, um, guaranteed under ten pounds. We are about to melt the phone lines. Mm. Boxes you can shop ahead; they are guaranteed under five pounds. Which ones are we doing first? Bracelets first. Um, this is uh, honestly, uh, li li wink, wink, nudge, nudge. We're about to make you an op offer that nobody is going to pass up. Looking all the big jewelry brands.
and most of them, I'm not going to say all, but most of them have got a slider bracelet, haven't yes. they? Yeah. Um, be that a fabric like Monica Venedra, I think they really were the ones that kind of pioneered it yeah. um, and really kind of put it in the limelight. Uh, I think it was Monica Venedra. And it might have taken inspiration from things like your, uh, from things like the Kambaba styles yeah. that you saw Madonna and um, uh, what's, his, what's his name? Leonardo DiCaprio, they yeah. were all wearing, of course, which have lots of beliefs attached. But it's also a really beautiful style of jewellery in mm -hmm. that, you know, some people um, prefer fabrics as opposed to, to metal um, in contact with the skin. There are areas of metal on this, obviously, um, but that's those wonderful little details of embellishment. Now, as jewellery makers, mm -hmm. a slider bracelet is a super quick make. Yeah. A super, super duper quick make. And it means that you have that level of adjustability. That's right. Yeah. And that's invaluable if you're selling because, you know, there's there's not that um, barrier of does mm. it fit? Will it fit? Can I wear it? And some people, you know, they need a small bracelet, but they've got a bigger hand so they can't have bangles. True. So it's nice to have that. Um, you know that sliding that ability to it's do one that. size fits all isn't yeah. it well, you know yeah. when you're actually doing when you're doing a, a slider bracelet obviously you choose you know how much gemstones or uh, or connector that you actually put in so it then and I know I'll show you how it works literally if you hold on to your turtle <laughs> <laughs> yes. grip your turtle and you slide it's that simple and basically you have that level of adjustability there without any fiddliness of a clasp the turtle is making your life a whole lot easier um also can i just discuss the fact that we did choose turtles because let's be honest they are one of the most endearing of species aren't they they are and they're endangered you know so it's nice it's that it's that uh, uh, raising awareness as well you're going to see them much more often i think like now we did bees, with bees elephants yeah, yeah. you're seeing them a lot lot more yeah. um beautiful and he is ever so cute look let me just show you his little face he's got the cutest little face Look. It's a really well done piece, isn't it? It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. Now, these are silver plated and you don't have to choose between the colours. You are guaranteed to get all three of them. So you've got that really lovely um, uh, electric blue. Then you've got a, a more azure blue and then you've got that gorgeous red. Isn't he beautiful? I love his little tail. He's, He's so sweet. He is saying he's got a little smiley face. He's absolutely gorgeous. And if I turn it this way, you can see that's where you're going to attach your connectors or your gemstones. And then at the other end, just for the attention to detail, you actually have the finishing on your slider bracelet. Now, again, we know that you can make something like this. You can do yeah. things like your macrames, um, your macrame braids. You can. Um, or certainly we can teach you to do it. However... Like I said a few moments ago, we're going to make you an offer that you're not going to want to miss out on because, quite frankly, it's not worth your while to make them. You are going to get all three of these beautiful slider bracelets for under £10. So even if I stop there, that's talking about... You're talking about, what, £3 something mm -hmm. per slider bracelet. Pop along to Monica Veneda, which don't do like the, the, the characters, I don't believe, in their mm -hmm. slider. It literally is like a, a solid coin almost, which is still mm. beautiful, of course. Um, but they don't make a, they don't make a massive feature of the slider bracelet, and why wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah I mean these they're lovely, aren't they? And I think they're going to appeal to all age groups as well. And, totally. You know, so yeah. now I, I like I said, we've got a big quantity, a massive quantity, but. I want every single one of the uh, over <laughs> seven hundred that we purchased to sell out today. Yeah, I don't want people to get just the one. I mean, of course you can if you want to, but I think we should be stocking up on these because I personally looked at them and went, oh, they're amazing. I, if it was me, I would be buying packs of fives mm. or maybe even more. It's a quick make. It's highly commercial. It's all ages. Mm -hmm. It's both genders. Yeah. You know, it, it is literally... It is literally a very universal, a, a very universal design. Mm -hmm. Now, one of your early birds, massive deal, and you have been shopping ahead on your pre-orders. This is not per bracelet where you choose which colour. You haven't got a drop-down box to choose the colour. You will get all three of them. We're about to open the auction. Now, I mean, there's so much potential, Gem. You can't, mm. you can't read. There's not much you can't do with a slider bracelet. 
No, I mean, th that's it. I mean, and you can use them. You don't have to use them as, on bracelets. You no. can use them on your neckline pieces as well. And with these being so gorgeous, they actually be really nice, like toggles sort of on yeah, the neck like as well. Yeah, like a cowboy like a, style yeah. lariat. Yeah, yeah that yeah, sort of thing. Be gorgeous. So, so yeah, uh, yeah, that's the word. A bolo tie. Or maybe tie. for maybe for your um, for your hats. Yeah, yeah. Why not? Ooh. I mean, oh, he wants to be shown. Let's show you off. Then. Lots of opportunities. You can use gemstones. You can use um, charms in the centre. Connectors. A shell would be lovely, wouldn't it? Just you know, we used the shell hearts earlier, but you know, a, a little shell or something perhaps you've collected from the beach. These could also be anklets. Yes. They'd be great anklets, wouldn't they? That's and I know that you can swap it round. So you know, we've got the we've actually got the toggle going in this direction. It was you that pointed yeah. this out to me. If you pull one of the cords out and then go in the opposite direction, then they almost yeah, they go, it creates more of a linear yes. like design. So you get more like the Solomon's knot effect. Yes. Where the yes. Threads so the, go either side. So these go kind of like that in two yeah. different directions. You are getting all three in there are loads of you there. Wonderful. It's lovely to have your company this morning. Now the base metal, you've got that beautiful beautiful silver plate um on your lovely turtle and again um that uh is is at either end of the toggle and then you've got your jump rings ready and waiting even if we were to stop here 24 pounds and 99 pence for three slider bracelets mm -hmm. that's pretty mega isn't it um because what you're talking less than 10 pounds each mm -hmm. but when we said 10 pounds we meant all three of them not one we meant all three of your turtles how about even if we were, if I had a hundred or maybe even two hundred, we would probably have to close at the price that you're about to see. Five pounds each. And I think that that would be a great price. I think that, you know. Totally. In fact, we've done these car, this style of slider mm. bracelet for five pounds each and they've absolutely flown. Well done to those of you that have said I might as well stock up on these mm -hmm. because they are all year round. They're cheerful. They're endearing. Jewelry should make you smile, shouldn't yeah. it? It should make you smile. And, and I don't know many people that wouldn't smile at a turtle. <laughs> <laughs> I would smile at a turtle. Yeah. And there's a bit of swooning over turtles too. <laughs> they are adorable, aren't they? They are. They're just lovely. Uh, absolutely adorable. Amazing species, absolutely amazing species. Still one of my favorite Disney movies is Moana when she's holding the leaf over the turtle so it can get to the sea. Ah. Shooing the birds I away. Seen it. You need to watch Moana, it's really good. Is it? Really, really good. Yeah, and a little baby <coughs> Moana is trying to help the little baby turtle to get reached the sea and his mummy. Ah. It's the sweetest thing ever. And like you said, they're endangered. So raising awareness of these wonderful mm. creatures um, of the ocean. Even if we were to stop here. Now, we have guaranteed this under £10, right? We're not even stopping at 9 99 mm. This is why I so confidently said, I think 700 of these are going to sell out this morning. I, ge I genuinely believe that. Mm. Hello, Jenny. I love the turtles in Finding Nemo. Yes. Yeah, totally rad. This yes, <laughs> that's true. Whoa, like, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. yeah, my favourites. <laughs> yes, I forgot about the turtles in Finding Nemo. Totally. That's what they say, don't they? Totally. Three pounds per slider bracelet. Surely, for the fabric alone, that's an absolutely incredible price point. Um, but you've got the lovely detail, very endearing, really sweet turtles. And they are quite characterful turtles, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they are. They've they got, are. They have got a little cheeky face. Really Everybody cute. loves turtles. I can't think of a single person that doesn't. And if they did, I'd have... If you said you didn't like turtles, I'd question our friendship. Uh, yeah, I think you should as well. I think that's <laughs> perfectly acceptable. Who doesn't like turtles? Turtles Absolutely. are lovely. And then, uh, obviously, there's the... There's the uh, for those of you that are a bit retro, like me, you've got the mutant ones. Yes. Don't forget those turtles. Yes. Now, the phone lines have absolutely lit up. There are tons and tons and tons of you there. But... I know. I know. It's not even stopping there. Do you not think this is one of the best purchases our buying I, team have made? I think it's, yeah, I think this, it's they're awesome. seriously good. Yeah, they are lovely. Do you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking like beach wedding. Yeah. Um, you know, we talked about wedding favours earlier. Yeah. Beach wedding, imagine these as your napkin holders that are also favours you can take away. 
Oh, that'd be cute, wouldn't it? Really lovely. Yeah. Really lovely. And you could just take what? What was it? About an inch, an inch and a half? Yeah. To complete maybe, maybe with some pearls that you've got on your stash. Different, any gemstone it could yeah. be. You know, the, you, the, a slider bracelets are a great way of using up old strands. Yeah. You know, where you've actually yeah. got uh, maybe a couple of inches left from a, a project that you've made already. It's not getting wasted then, is mm. it? Because if you're anything like me, that couple of inches, I tie and knotted it with be best interests. It never gets used. It goes back in the box. It goes back it? in the box. Yeah. never gets used. Eight ninety nine, or is it? No, we're going even lower. Literally four rows of names, and there's the quantities that I was fully expecting. Sixes, threes, fours, fives. Well done, everybody. You do get all three. Seven pounds and 49 pence only. Fantastic. That's working out at two pounds 50, which is your favourite colour, Gem? £2.50. I like the navy. You like the navy? I do, yeah. Per slider bracelet. Oh, don't they feel lovely? Look at you all. They do, don't they? The yeah. quality. You can really feel that quality. Um, I went to Porta Polenta a few years back with the family, and I remember walking past one of those little, uh, well, it's one of the shops that sells everything, groceries and all sorts. Um, and they had these little slider-style bracelets, and they were, I don't know, a couple of pounds. They were... Um, they were it was literally a thread it wasn't mm. it wasn't a braided cord like this but look how beautiful that is we imagine the twins <laughs> twin in with the slider bracelets ah look Yay. at that but i almost <laughs> want to show off a turtle yeah <laughs> i know <laughs> <laughs> i know it's a sentence i never thought i'd say either but there we go there we go do you know what the best thing about two pound fifty each is, there, Gem? Oh no! No turtles are going to be two pound fifty. That can't. It's going down again. Yeah, well, this is why. This is why we were saying this is going to be one of those auction opportunities that you just you're not going to want to miss out on. You're not. It's I'm gonna need a. I'm gonna need to go and get my phone. I think you go get your phone. <laughs> go get your phone. Hope I love them. them. Absolutely love them, and they will match Fantastic. all your gemstones, won't they? The quality of the braiding, the beautiful, the cuteness of the turtle, the fact that they are a slider bracelets, which makes them so 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 workable and, and practical, really, as jewelry makers. Could you acrylic burn the shelf? Oh, that's a good really good idea. F colour them. I think you could. I Enamel them. Yeah, and a little stone. You can probably set a little stone in there. Yeah. Love that. Yes, Michael. Yeah. Bringing in on the uh, turtle inspiration. Absolutely <laughs> loving that. Not even stopping at £2.50 per turtle slider bracelet. I'm just to give you another 60 second clock because Ross says, I need to stress how low we're going. Okay. There is a one minute queue already on the phone lines. That's only going to build. Please do bear with our call center. We are about to completely bombard them. We are. Um, if you can, if you have access, <coughs> excuse me, to the, uh, to the website or the app, then I would definitely recommend doing that. 700 quantity is it's a big amount yes it is it's what we would definitely call a mega auction here however i'm very confident that that entire quantity will sell out this morning because i mean how many times have you made you've done a project i don't know be that sea beads or be that i don't know jade or be that um abalone or pearls whatever it is all your colored gemstones mm. and you've got literally about that much left on the strand you put them back into your drawer and literally then mm. um it never sees the light of day for anything like me but instead of doing that get into that habit of actually putting them into slider bracelets like this how much would you sell it for you said what i, th I think 25 30 pounds totally you know, if it's got, you know it depends totally. on the gemstone <laughs> depends on the gemstone of course but you know it's amazing i'm thinking also like make and takes 5.99 is madness this, this makes it you know um, even if you're not going to sell on your jewellery, but even if you want to use them for workshops, yes. this makes them so affordable to use in that way. Because obviously in a workshop, you're not selling your materials at a profit, really. No. Um, you're just using them. And But this, I think, would encourage people to come and make something. They saw that they could make something with this. Turtles are lovely... Lovely make and take. I'm going to be starting doing these make and takes at a local coffee shop. Oh, nice. This, I know these would be so popular. Charitable gifts. A lot of our lovely yeah. viewers make to give to charity yeah. as well, don't they? Yeah. Or imagine, maybe... Imagine if you work for a Sea Life charity. This oh. is perfect. 
Yes. Yeah. And uh, and if you wanted to, you could write a little bit of information about turtles, you know, um, yeah. about the species themselves. I did contemplate actually doing that, but I thought, you know what? This deal is so low, um, you know, the price point is so amazing that mm. um, it, the phone lines are going to be too busy. So otherwise, I would have dived into dived into. <laughs> I would have actually gone into sort of the whole the species itself. But we can do we can do that at, at our own leisure. But there's nobody on this planet that I can think of that doesn't love turtles. No, they're so sweet. They are. They are sweet. Oh, yeah. oh many years ago, I went to. I went. I was lucky enough to go to the Maldives, and literally, if I understand, you've only got a limited time to go to the Maldives as well, because it's uh, with the sea levels rising and everything. But I remember walking along the shores of the of the uh, of the island and literally seeing turtles. Wow. Swimming up next to you. Actual turtles. Actual turtles. It's, it's a mental, mental place. But, and they are just adorable. Yeah. Really friendly, um, fascinating <coughs> species. Two pounds per bracelet. Look at him. He is absolutely beautiful, isn't he? And just a must, I think, to any jewellery maker's stash. Yeah. If I took these home, then straight away, Willow would be all over this. I yeah. would say Tiggy, she's probably just a little bit too young, but Willow would yeah. be all over these. Yeah, my, my nieces and nephews, my little ones, they would definitely love these too. Probably mm. Disney has a big part in that as well, yeah. don't they? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the turtles from Finding Nemo. Yeah. The tur little turtles from, um, what are they called? Squid. Is it squid? Squirt. 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 Yeah. Squirt. <laughs> Ride the ocean waves, dude. <laughs> totally loving it. Five ninety nine only. They're at well over half the stock of these have gone, um, and they're, well, they're, it's not slowing up at all. Hello to you, Dorothy. Great price. Just up my order to three. Says Dorothy in the West Midlands. I don't blame you. It's a no brainer, isn't it? <clears throat> you, you know you're going to use them for sure. Lovely little gifts. You want to see how the bracelet actually works? Okay, so um, this is a, a completed bracelet that has been made by um, by our in-house designers. So um, all Anne and Sue have actually done. Sorry, Michael. There. Um, if you notice, at either end of the corded bracelets, you have uh, the cord ends and the jump ring there, which I assume mm. you can either wrap loop onto or yeah. open and close a <coughs> jump ring onto. And then, so there's the completed piece, which uh, which Gemma can talk you through that bit. Mm -hmm. Then once it is complete, obviously you slide it onto your hand and you've got that level of adjustability with the turtle so the turtle becomes the mechanism the actual sliding mechanism so that's it obviously at full extension inside the turtle is silica which basically means it is going to grip onto your cord um, and yeah as you can see the one that I'm actually wearing it grips and holds it into place there perfectly um, just love it I absolutely love it they're everywhere mm -hmm. loads of the big designers are doing corded bracelets not necessarily with turtles though are they Nope. Haven't seen any with little turtles. No. We saw we saw uh, a, a big upturn in things like like you mentioned it, Gem. You know your bees, um, mm -hmm. things like uh, dolphins have always been yeah. very popular in jewellery as well, haven't yeah. they? All the species that elephants, yeah, endangered species in particular. Monarch butterflies, they're now endangered. Oh. So yeah, it's all those things. They're going to be you know, um, sort of brought into our awareness. And as yeah. soon as something becomes, you know, we're aware of it, we then start paying more attention to it. And then it, 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 it filters through everything, doesn't it? Even Absolutely. fashion. So. Absolutely. Whales, you see whales yeah. quite a lot as well uh, within your jewellery. And our need really to uh, to protect these beautiful species of the ocean. £5.99 only. That is for all three. Again, we had 700. Um, so many of you there, literally threes, fours, five, sixes, I can see as well. Um, literally, you go off the bottom of the screen. Whilst you are making those purchases, don't forget you can shop ahead on those beautiful mock croc, um, mock croc boxes as well. We're bring, guaranteeing those under five pounds per box too florence has just snapped up five well done carolyn's got three susan's got two dawn's got four emma's got two i'm looking down the list of names very few of you have actually chosen and it's fine if you do um very few of you have chosen just to get the one um but it's not just one you get three if that makes mm -hmm. sense so those of you that uh that um that have got quantities there we go like threes you're obviously going to be getting nine um of your turtle bracelets it's a great way of using and incorporating maybe sort of the end of your strands maybe within your stash likewise connectors yeah how easy is it to complete this piece so it, it, literally minutes it's it's you know threading whatever gemstone or component you want onto a piece of sort of 0.4 to 0.6 wire mm. and then 
doing a wrap loop at either end and that, that's it it's as simple as that if you using a more delicate gemstone that you can't get wire through then you could use beading thread and a crimp yeah. tube um, and then a you know a crimp cover so you know there's other other ways of attaching um, your pieces in there but yeah so simple and those loops are soldered closed yep. onto on the bracelet which means whatever you put in there isn't going to risk it's not going to work its way work through its way out, yeah Hiya, June. Had to order more. So many stones to use up. Love sliders. Please get more JM similar. Um, the quality of your sliders are the best. I totally, 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 totally agree. Um, and it took us a long time to actually bring them to air. Um, and I say that because... I've been sort of championing slider bracelets for probably about three, four years now. Yeah, they're um, brilliant. It, yeah, they, and they are wonderful. They go, they're really easy, aren't they, to incorporate and make a, a very commercial jewellery. Um, do stay where you are. The boxes are available on pre-order. That's your gorgeous mock croc. They are all guaranteed under five pounds, separate auctions. What we're going to do, um, we're going to bring those um, at the end of the next hour. So you can shop ahead right now, guaranteed under five pounds. That's for the bracelet or the watch. That's for the universal and also uh, the ring. You can continue shopping with the turtle slider bracelets throughout the course of the uh, course of this break. And coming up after the break, we've got Gemma's amazing wire work kit. So keep on shopping. Keep on checking out your baskets, everybody. Good luck to each and every single one of you. 700 were available. Nowhere near that quantity anymore. But kits with Gemma after this. <laughs> Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got Split Pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with Split Pay. Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Stay in 
interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Welcome back, everybody. If you want to add the turtles to your baskets, you can still do so, um, but they are getting quite limited now. I'll keep you updated on the turtle slider bracelets. Aren't they just the cutest? Absolutely. Um, yeah, cute and so workable. As so many of you said, you saw very well and good Gemma and I sit, uh, sitting mm. here saying it. Yeah. Um, but when our viewers actually text in, yeah. that speaks volumes, doesn't it? It speaks volumes. Well done. So you can still get hold of those, but um, heads up, they are getting quite, uh, quite limited. We're actually now very rapidly approaching uh, the double figures. So from the 700, and I, I said it wrong, 750 that we originally started with. Um, the boxes are coming up after your demonstration within this hour. Um, so again, you can shop ahead on those. Mock crop, amazing quality. Can I show you, you know, classic pretty woman. Imagine, you're Julia Roberts right now. Here we go. So imagine this now. This is, this is, my, this is how I gauge the quality of boxes. Ready? You can feel that, you can hear the quality, can't you? It's that perfect pretty woman snap. Oh, great. Yeah. And you, with all the wonderful pieces that you make, the high-end gemstones that bring you, the legacies, the heirlooms like Jadeite with Dave coming up in 45 minutes, you don't want to just have them wrapped in tissue paper. You want to have them in luxury boxes. So shop ahead on those. I can price confirm they are going to be under £5 each. Mm. But Gemma, we're going back to your roots. <coughs> yeah, we're yeah. going to do some bit of wire work. Love nice. it! Yeah. Um, and donuts, but not as we know it. Yeah, no, slightly. So the, the drill hole's like sort of at the top. Mm. Uh, not, not completely at the top, but, you know, just off, off centre. And I think it just offers lots of opportunity to use them either as donuts, really simply, Lark's head knot, great, mm -hmm. um, or use them like a cabochon but have that really nice suspension point. Or, or you know, suspend them upside down. So I've, I've had a play with a few different um, techniques for using them. And hopefully, you know, you can sort of find your own... Um, favorite use really yeah totally and um, and one thing we have said about certainly with the jadeite um with the high goose of course mm. setting a gemstone into the center so you yes. could do exactly that with these as well Absolutely. now there's four different kits all with different gemstones mm -hmm. all coming your way at an incredibly incredibly affordable price tag mm -hmm. um maybe you've never done wire work before i know it's something that hasn't been on our screens um uh, very much lately so it's really nice to go back for us as well we like to go back to um to mediums like this and it's mm -hmm. really one of the mediums that put Gemma, you on the um on our screens isn't yeah, it yeah yeah why was my is my first love yeah first passion and yeah. first love um, so I tell you what we'll do. We'll put all the kits on your on the website. So have a little look. You can look at the different colorways. Um, no, the donuts not available individually. They are only available within the kit. But to be honest, as per usual, you're you're better off getting the kit because you'll get a saving, mm. um, a massive saving in actual fact. Quite often, a lot of the components that go um, inside the kits are actually for free. Um, so no way near ninety nine pounds and ninety seven pence. They are going significantly lower than that. Um, but shop ahead um, it guarantees uh, that you don't miss out on this opportunity. Now, Roscoe, which one do you want me to start with? Ooh. It's hard to choose a favourite. It is hard to choose. And we've got the different colours of wire yeah. as well. Jim, could you scooch? I can scooch. Scoochy scooch. Shall we start with the agates? Yes, I, lo I love these. These are the ones I'm going to demo with because like, they're, they're so bright and colourful, aren't they? Oh, oh, on the back of that uh, lovely sort of chakra necklace. Yeah. These would be perfect. And we don't see agate um in your donut shapes very often oh you're going to be tricky aren't you you are i knew it they're going to be all tricky they're so shiny and glossy yeah well. um there we go how about if i place them just like that you can see them there um so there is that drill hole that Gemma was actually just talking mm. about instead of having this sort of convention do uh, conventional donut which has the drill hole in the center um just uh just just at the top if you like so simple lark said not perfect um, given the fact that you have got your, uh, your agates, you've got areas of uh, opacity, areas of translucency, it responds wonderfully to a dyeing process. Um, and yeah, it's, 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 agate is, is everywhere. Even Van Cleef uses agates. Yeah. 
um, in your azure blue. So you do get all three. You've got that lovely hot pink. You've got a really lovely, almost like a Zambian amethyst purple. And then you've got uh, that lovely azure blue. Oh, imagine that blue with the Larimar that we saw mm. a few moments ago. Still not done, though, because uh, within this kit, you've also got... Ooh, now... Ocean Jasper. I was going to say Ocean Jasper. If Tortella, ter what is that? Banded agate. Lepidolite. It's definitely not lepidolite. Lepidolite's purple. No. Oh yes. Oh wow. Oh, well. <coughs> Well, I have never seen lepidolite with such beautiful, it's almost uh, like a Botswana palette. It is, it is, yeah. So can you see there's a very delicate hint of purple within these? Oh, I love it. It, it complements the agate so perfectly in your classic three millimetre rounds. Again, I'm thinking about your slider bracelets, how gorgeously this will go with your slider bracelets. Um, so classic three mil rounds. You've got a hint of lavender, which I actually find a lot more um, wearable. Yeah. I'm going to say a lot more wearable, certainly a lot more um, uh, workable. Three mil strand, still not done because you want the wire. Of course you do. And you're getting two of your essential gauges. They're like a marriage made in heaven, 0.8 and 0.4. Jim, why do I need a 0.8 and a 0.4? Why do they work right. together? So 0.4 gives you that lovely structure that you might want to use, particularly if you're doing frameworks. and um, 0.8. Yeah, 0.8, sorry, yeah. And your 0.4 is your one for binding things together, um, doing your weave patterns, your, your stitching, adding beads, that sort of thing. So, yeah, two perfect gauges to work together. Wow. We haven't seen wire on our screens for a very, very, very long time. So that, that bale that you've used um, on that pendant, that would be the 0.4 that's created uh, that detail. Is that right? It's, yeah, so th that would be uh, the 0.8 sort of as the core yeah. and then wrapped with a 0.4. Wow. Yeah. And it does literally give you that, that, that detailing, that intricacy. Yeah. And, of course, we'll go through the gemstones itself. Um, loving this kit. Loving the fact that this is um, all about your colourful agates. Never seen a lipidolite strand like this. I absolutely yeah love it uh, very soft more delicate muted tones i suppose um, perfect to go alongside this will actually cross uh, all of the kits yes, in actual would. fact yeah. um, so already people getting involved any questions that you have for Gemma during uh, during the demonstration then feel free to message in we are live in the studio mm -hmm. how about 10 pounds for the donuts 10 pounds for the strand and then you wire for free that would be pretty good, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Wire, going back to sort of 2011, 2012, Gem. Yeah. When you and I used to sit literally in the office mm -hmm. uh, together. Yeah. Wire spools were expensive. Yeah, it was like 7 99 per spool. Per spool. <clears throat> and you got a better saving if you brought the 100 metres, but not everybody wanted that much, you know, um, of one colour. So, yeah. So, and you yeah. couldn't get these gauges. It was like gold dust, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. Point 0.4 and point 0.8 was like gold dust. Yeah. Our supply didn't meet the demand. No, definitely this... not. We knew the codes off by heart, do you remember? Yeah, yeah. Because it, it was just constant, wasn't it? it just It was always people requesting. It was what it definitely one of our biggest um our biggest and most popular mediums. Yeah. Now, at 39.99 that would be incredible. Do make a have a little look at the other kits that we're bringing you to because um, different colorways, different gemstones to bring you um, different colors of wire as well. Mm -hmm. Now, the clock is ticking because we're going to bring it to you an absolutely unbeatable price point. If ever you've wanted to dip your toe into wire work, then this is going to be the perfect opportunity. It doesn't have to be the most complex, does it, to no. start your adventure of wire work? No, I mean so you can you know can be really simple with these you can just you know do some simple bales some simple sort of squiggles around around the gemstone just yep. sort of almost like like i was saying doodling with wire you know and the, even the one that looks a bit more complicated it it's it's just one technique really and then it's just squiggled around you know and you just build it and it grows so it it's not complicated it looks it and that's the beauty of wire really you can you can grow and doodle with it like you would a you know pen and paper it's a work of art Gem. it's an absolute work of art 
I mean, how much would you would you sell something like that? Uh, around, I think around 60, 70 pounds, something like that. That's amazing. Um, and, and no two will ever be the same. You know, no, if you really want it. to make jewellery that is truly one of a kind, yeah. then you couldn't say that about certain CB techniques, for example. No, you can replicate patterns, can't yeah. you? But with the, with YA, it, it's, even if you follow a tutorial, you're always going to have your own little spin on it or yeah. something that's a bit different. And the beauty with YA is it's easy to achieve that. You know, it's easy to put your own spin on it. Nineteen ninety nine, mm, and and price. these re reels of wire will go a long way. Won't yeah, they? They, yeah, they will. I mean, I've, I've got tens, ten, tens left. Ten meters. Yeah. Um, every single one of these kits, by the way, are going under twenty pounds. So, um, so there you go. Those of you maybe that had your eye on the uh, the kit, which includes uh, your Dalmatian Jasper, or the one with your tiger's eye, mm. or the one with your soda light and your poppy Jaspers, they're all going under twenty pounds. Um, again, going back to what two thousand and eleven. 2012 I remember it quite vividly because I wasn't on your screens I worked behind the scenes, scenes yeah. um, alongside uh, uh, you know our guest designers and, uh, and Gemma um, so I can remember vividly you were always asking me for these kind of yeah. gauges of uh, these kind yeah. of gauges of wire and we weren't always able to give it to you because no. um, they used to sell out quite literally but it was I agree seven eight pounds per 10 meter reel yeah, yeah now you can get two or 20 meters of your wire plus the gemstones the gemstone donuts and the three millimeter lipidolites all for 19.99 so many of you getting involved already well done but do make sure you check out your baskets and do make sure you shop ahead would these work with the slider bracelets yeah i don't see why not i mean particularly if you embellish them you know you could offset mm -hmm. offset the the donuts um and embellish them. We use I've used a prong setting on one of them, so I'm not actually using the drill hole um, to attach. So yeah, there's lots of ways you could use them. Yeah. We're about to do the kit that I think is going to be the most popular. Yeah, that's lovely. Yeah, I'm not surprised. So I'm going to start with the wire this time round. Look how beautiful this is. Mm. Look at how beautiful. It's got that lovely rose gold blush tone to your wire and we should say as well oh these are bare copper oh okay so what, what does bare copper mean as a jewelry maker uh, so bare copper wire um means it's got no coating on so it's just the the color of the metal itself um and it means that you can oxidize it or you know patina it in some way should you want to um, it will naturally oxidize, yep. which, you know, sometimes that's, that's what you want. For me, when I, when I make jewelry to sell or for commission pieces, I generally use a bare metal. So, because it gives me that opportunity to adjust. And you're a massive fan of copper as well, aren't yeah, you? Yeah. You love copper. It's my favorite. But uh, there's some gorgeous, look, look at that sunstone. Yeah. Is it, and sunstone goes so well with it because of course the color yeah. um, in sunstone comes from copper itself anyway. So yeah. they're, they're a match made in heaven. I'm still not done because I think this is, this is another clincher in terms of why this kit's so popular. You have the most amazing tiger's eye yeah. um, in your donuts. We're going to take this under £20. You've got the most beautiful red onyx. Mm, that's gorgeous, the onyx. Isn't it? It's absolutely stunning. And I'm still not done because I also have lapis lazuli. You get three of those gorgeous donuts, plus the bare copper wire, plus the sunstone, all for £19.99. pence. This kit is very popular on pre-order. I'm not surprised at all. I mean, I've shown you countless times in the past, actually, um, I think it was Harrods, the Harrods piece that they actually have with a, um, it's quite similar in terms of the actual cut. One single tiger's eye pendant. Mm -hmm. Harrods, you should think four figures in terms of their jewelry and then yeah. some. Um, it's that same beautiful, beautiful gemstone. Yeah, granted theirs will be framed in probably your 18 karat gold, um, but it's a really simple cut. Um, and they tend to keep it quite simplistic because it's all about that chatoyancy. Mm -hmm. Similarly with your tiger's eye, it's all about that beautiful starry night. Yeah. Um, the pyrite inclusions and likewise with your red onyx you get all three you get the beautiful sunstone and bare copper which again is in your 0.8 and your um, your 0.4 gauge of wire love it that lovely blush rose mm. color um, that you get with copper as all a natural component mm. yeah 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 you do and that's and you can see that if you get really close with those um, sunstones you can really see the tiny little almost glitter yeah in them I mean th this this kit you work it together absolutely they all everything works really well together but it I think 
it's just such it's so great as individual components yeah, it's the best are. way to to buy is in this sort of multi deal but for me those um, the lapis and the tiger's eye in particular are very masculine mm. um, they they're going to they're going to be very appealing to um, you know gents as to well gents as, yeah. as well and so i would be tempted to use these separately set them on a on a leather cord or right. a simple simple chain um, and then use my my gorgeous little sparkly gems for other designs. Yeah. You know, um, I, I've used them together here, and I think that that works well, giving you a different, you know, Love using that. the gemstone up the other way. That. That's well, we we, we had a message into the studio saying, are the donuts available individually? You're better off buying the kit because ri literally you're getting the wire and the sunstone for free. For free, yeah, yeah. because surely um, yeah. every single one of us would expect those donuts to be a higher price point at the 19.99. So you are better off getting involved with the kit, like so many others. Well done, uh, Lincolnshire, Angela, Alison, Jenny, Linda, Yvonne, Abby, Jenny. Too many of you there, but what uh, for me to say hello to every single one of you? But well done. Now these kits are flying on pre-order now we're about to um, do the yellow gold wire then we've got the silver coming in the next kit and I mentioned the the wire here because silver and gold were always the colors that we could never get hold of yeah yeah these are, you know this is really popular I love this gold as well it's really rich it's like your 24 karat gold it is like um, Indian gold yeah isn't it? it is and, really I, and I love that gold. I love that about it um, and I, th I just think it, it looks great with the blues and the reds and the greens in this kit as well. I think it's the perfect um, colour wire to go with this particular selection. Look at that. 0.8 and then your 0.4. It is that one. I agree, 24 karat gold mm. colour. Then you've got a strand of your mahogany obsidian, which is totally natural. Mm. The colours that you see within obsidian equates to how fast the obsidian cooled. Right. Um, so uh, it, sometimes you'll see, of course... Uh, um, golden sheen and things like that. Mahogany, it comes from how dramatically the actual uh, volcanic glass actually cooled. Love the combination of stones that you get alongside this. So you've got some really beautiful green jasper that's totally and utterly natural. Then you've got, look at this one, blue spot jasper, which is absolutely beautiful. Again, totally and utterly natural. You could just lark's head knot these, couldn't yeah. you? And, and sell them at a profit just for one, yeah. just for one individual pendant. Still not done because then you have your red jasper. Um, look at that. Literally just do that. I love red jasper. It's just gorgeous. And that is great with that mahogany obsidian. Yeah. They're perfect together. They've got a very similar tone, haven't they? Yeah. The, the mahogany is, the, you know, that, that sort of mahogany colour sort of really um, is brought out by the, by the red jasper. It's wow. It's gorgeous. So this is, uh, this is flying on pre-order. Um, you love your Jaspers, of course. You love your wire work, of course. You know where it's going. It's under, te under £20. Pounds. Um, again, you can't, we, we're not bringing you the donuts individually, but frankly, you would be better off getting involved with the kit anyway um, because of the savings that we are bringing you today as part of, uh, alongside uh, Gemma's amazing demonstration. Look at that. It's like a Catherine wheel. Yeah. That's gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. Isn't it funny? Just to, just literally a drill hole in the centre of a gemstone like this. Yeah. Tra can can completely transform the look. Yeah, that's it. And you you can use it you know, use it by all means to suspend your gems from, but you also use it as a lovely anchor point for for more embellishment. Yeah. You, should you want to, you, you absolutely don't have to, but you know, should you want to, you can. Could you set it? Literally glue a stone in the centre. Absolutely. Yeah. Definitely. Gemma. Is the clock ticking away? Oh. Going lower. Uh, for the last two kits, we're going to do something extra special. Extra special. Well, these are going to be probably the most popular ones. You didn't probably didn't need to do that. Probably not, but <laughs> most popular on pre-order. Oh well. Half the stock has already gone of this kit. Fantastic. Have a little look at the uh, the silver wire kit that's coming up as well, because we're going to do something equally special on that too. Shop ahead if you're if you're shopping on the phone line, speak to our call centre, and you can grab this kit as well. Well, you can get all the kits currently, but they are getting uh, quite limited now. We haven't seen wire work in ages. Ages and ages and ages. Maybe this is your first adventure into wire work. That's well, you have the perfect teacher uh, this morning. Not £19.99. Four beautiful gemstones plus the two reels of wire. Madness. That's, that's a you great have, price. You wouldn't have bought the wire for that. 
back in no, 2011? No, wait, no, absolutely not. I mean, and, you know, if you were, I would be happy to pay, you know, six, seven pounds each for these gorgeous donuts anywhere. Like, so to pay five pounds each for them and get everything else for free is just wonderful. Yeah. £14.99. Yeah, Even if it was five pound, five pound per donut and everything else for free. Yeah, it's incredible. Oh my goodness me! That again. That's why. That's why we always say. Often the kits are, um, the kits. You get more savings getting involved with the kits than you would do even individually. And mm. um, we will bring you the last kit in a few moments' time. You can actually shop ahead and pre-order, and that features some lovely shell pearl. Um, within that, you've got some um, really beautiful picture, uh, picture jasper, and a couple of other gems and, and silver wire. Um, again, any questions? Do message in, Jen. Which yes. are you going to demo? So I, I changed my mind halfway through because we've had lots of messages about the think, think, more ornate one. I think Al may have uh, that's my fault. May have uh, prompted that. Sorry about that. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, so I'm going to show you, talk you through how to do the more ornate style Love piece. It. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it down onto my desk so that we can look at it at the same time um, as we work. Okay, so it's beautiful. Here. It belongs in a in a, in a museum. That. You know, I'm, I'm really happy with this one, and I did this one just whilst I was playing, and it was, it's a, a case of playing, so you, d you do your weave, and you start there, and then you just play, really, with yeah. the design, okay? And it's so forgiving, the wire, that you're able to experiment with the shapes and the flow of it, and then undo it if you don't like it, and then bring it back. So what we basically start with here is um, two nice long lengths. So I've got about 40 centimeter lengths of my 0.8 wire. And then I've taken like an arm span, like a wing span, then so from fingertip to fingertip of my 0.4 wire. And I've done a figure of eight weave just sort of at the center um, of those two um, core wires, the 0.8 wires. So just in case you're not familiar with a figure of eight weave, I'm going to um, show you how to do that. And you will get through, you know, a fair amount of your 0.4 wire because weaving does take up your wire. Um, but in terms of 0.8, that's going to go on forever and ever. Um, and whilst I'm showing you how to do this figure of eight weave, it's probably useful for me to show you how you to join wire as well so um, into a weave. So here I've got the end of, of my woven section. And so uh, what I tend to do to know which way to thread my wire in is I take my new piece of wire and I line it up with the end. So as if I was, you know, if I could just solder that together, I could carry on working. But obviously we, we can't do that. So what I'm going to do is then follow that down and follow the root of that wire. Go just behind where the last sort of wrap around the core is and then just hook that in. OK, don't cut the ends off yet. We'll do that later push the wire down and then you just carry on working with that piece that you've just added in okay and once you've done a couple of wraps those ends will be easy to um, cut off if you're just starting your figure of eight weave then all you do is wrap around one of the wires two or three times before you do this pattern okay so figure of eight means that you go in between the two wires and then around the um around you know, either end, so either side. So this, this 0.4 wire has gone all the way around this court, this 0.8 wire, back over, and then in between again, push down all the way around, and make sure you do go all the way around. It feels like you're going around that wire twice, but that's important because it locks the width of the weave. Now you can see on my weave, I've undulated a bit, so it started about um, six millimeters apart here, then it got a bit narrower to about three millimeters apart, and then I've widened it again. This sort of design, you really don't need to worry about your weave um, getting wider and narrower, This, and that's the beauty of this. So it means that you can practice this weave, um, and whilst you're practicing, you, you know, you're gonna get your wires in and out and in and out, and they're not gonna be perfectly straight, but the beauty of this is for this pattern, it really doesn't matter. Okay, so after a while you get quite quick at doing this weave and you want to achieve a nice workable length so that you've got plenty to play with once you take it into your donut. So here I've got about, oh, it's like about six, seven centimetres worth of weave, but I've also got this lovely length of wire left, uh, 0.4 wire left that I can um, add a bit if I need to or incorporate 
um, in another way. So I'm going to leave that tail on. But before I take it into the donut, I'm going to cut those tails off where I've, where I've um, joined them in. So I'm just going to trim those away. Okay. Right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the two, two of the ends up through. Now, the problem with this sort of design is remembering how you did it because, um, you know, it's, it is one of those things that's really organic. So what I'm going to do is take the two, two of my wires through the, through the donut and I'm going to get it secured to the donut before I do anything else. So I've taken it down as far as the weave. Okay, so I'm not wasting any of the weave at the back. And then I'm going to take those tails and just make sure, I'm going to leave one of them out, but I'm going to take one back through that hole in the donut. Okay, so that's really nice and secure for me to work now. So just help it out by um, sort of changing the angles until it works itself through um, and becomes sort of nice and tight and wrapped around. Okay, so now we've got our weave and our lots of tails of wire um, to work with. So now the lovely thing about this weave is it's really, really fluid and movable. So what we can do is we can twist it. So we can twist that round and get this lovely sort of helix pattern, you know, where it's twisting. And we can also sort of loop it. So what I'm going to do here to start off this nice sort of fluid design is I'm going to loop it round on itself. So I'm putting my thumb, pushing my thumb th firmly down onto the weave. And then I'm going to start pulling this round into a circle okay so you might want to keep pushing your weave up because it will want to spread as you as you take it round so keep it condensed if you can okay and then we we'll just swoop that around so there's our foundation as our first little swoosh okay and then what I tend to do when I'm doing anything like this is I always do a series of S shapes. Okay. Okay, so that, that helps keep the fluidity. So um, if now, now that I've done a loop um, this way, you can see that I want to do another loop but come in the other way. So if I want to make that, keep it nice and fluid, I'm just going to bring that loop the other way. Okay. So what might also be nice here to add a bit more interest is to twist this section. So if we twist that there... Can you see how that's given us just so much sort of movement and definition? And then I'm going to bring that down to the bottom there. And that, you know, that can be my foundation, my start point. So I've got this nice fluid S come in halfway round and down to the bottom. Okay, and then if you want to add a bit more weave, you can um, use your 0.44 wire to add a bit more at the bottom. But what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to twist this a bit more take those wires, twist them, and instead of adding more weave, what I'm going to do is just take, um, what we're going to try to achieve is lots of texture. So this texture is this woven texture, so it gives you this like ripply effect. And then what I might do then is have another texture where I have bare, the wire bare, so you get that shine um, in your design. And then the one of the other wires I'm just going to wrap like I would a gizmo coil so just wrap around one of the wires so that it's covered in your um your 0.4 so yeah if I just um, do a, a little length of this and uh, we can then come back to sort of finishing this design and embellishing it with all these tails of wire that we've got left okay so shall I um have you got that other one? Yeah, shall I, to shall do I that? quickly, yeah. shall That's I quickly fine. do whilst, this? Whilst then... Gemma weaves some more, so I'm just um, let's bring you uh, bring the graphics onto your screen for uh, for the final of your kits. It's absolutely gorgeous. So it features black onyx, uh, blue aventurine, um, of course, and then uh, your Dalmatian jasper. Always a firm favourite. Um, likewise, alongside the colour of the wire. Now, again, your 0.8 and your 0.4. This time, this is with your silver plated so beautiful crisp uh crisp silver plated wire so you're getting both your 0.4 and also your 0.8 in that color 10 meters on each of uh, each of these each of these uh reels that you're getting here silver 
It was the number one, wasn't it? Yeah. And it, has, it probably still is it's yeah, the number it's, one. Yeah, it, it's popular. still a firm favourite, I think. Because you can use it as a threading material as well, can't you? Not yeah. just um, not just for uh, yeah. your, uh, your 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 wire weaving, etc. The clock is ticking, suggesting that Roscoe's going to go even lower um, than that under twenty pounds price tag. Now, look at that beautiful, beautiful iridescence on your uh, shell pearls. So your shell pearls are three mil in size. You've got a thirty-eight centimeter strand. Here's the donuts that, of course. Course, you're wanting those beautiful donuts. There's your picture, Jasper. Not picture, Jasper. What am I talking about? Dalmatian. Dalmatian, Jasper. Come on, Al. Um, here is that's totally natural. There's your beautiful blue aventurine as well. Very rare, totally and utterly natural. You've got lovely markings within this. It's like a, it's like a um, almost like an indigo denim colour. Very oh, rich that. in colour. And lastly, you have your beautiful black onyx. How often do we see black onyx? Not very often at all. Very rare, very rare. The popularity of Onyx around the globe has gone through the roof, of course. Cartier, Tiffany's and Co. using it. $14.99. That's £5 per donor. And then your shell pearl and your silver plated wire for free. This That's kit fantastic. is... Uh, very 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 popular i'm not surprised at all it, it, again that would be the price of the of the reels of wire wouldn't it back in yeah. the day yeah and uh, yeah and it's that monochrome um sort of palette as well isn't it which is always popular yeah totally very classic uh, make sure you check out your baskets nice and early on that these kits are racing out the door today very very popular and back to you Gem, if you're okay, ready okay yes i'm ready right so what i've done here is i've just carried on um coiling the 0.4 around one of the 0.8 uh, wires at the bottom. So I've got this S sort of snaking down here. So if I just twist these two wires together a little bit, I'm just getting an extra, I'm just getting that nice taper that I wanted in the design. So it's going to be sort of fatter and wider here around the side and then tapering off at the bottom. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is just start following the lines I've already created. So I'm going to bring up that, um, that coiled section of wire and I'm just going to help it, you know, sort of sit where, where you know, in those sections that I've, already, that I've already put in place. So you're just using the existing shapes, okay? So we'll put that one in there. You know, ideally I would spend more time sort of as I... As I get to the wire, I start thinking, right, I just could gizmo a little bit more around there. But you're basically following that first shape you make. I can use the little tails of wire that I've got to help me keep things in place. So you can take that through the woven wires. So that's going to keep that, that piece there just sort of hugging where I want it to be. And then perhaps to fill this space here, I might do a bit of a, a spiral with this with this, um, with this um, unsort of wrapped wire, again, giving us that nice sort of luster that what we don't get when we've gizmoed or wrapped, we get a different sort of surface um, luster. So yeah, and just keep following what you've already done. You can tuck the wire in and behind. So if I take this wire down and in behind here, I can take it back through the loop and then it's at the back again for me to work with. So let's take that through. And it is a case of just watching, watching where you go, um, where the next space that maybe needs a bit of extra detail or could do with um, having a bit of, um, you know, broadening out or maybe it needs a, a bit of shine. So you'd use just your bare wire and maybe it needs a mattifying a bit. So you'd use your, your sort of wrapped wires and it looks, it looks chaotic and messy when you've got all these wires to work with, but you'll be grateful for them because they add so much opportunity. So every one of these wires can be brought in. You can, um, you know, pop little spirals. So just using, I use my finger just to sort of push down, put your finger on the top. And you can see I've got my wire sort of holding here, my finger here, and I just turn turn to get little spirals and loops and just you know if you just keep following that simple rule of making s shapes if you if you spiral one way spiral the opposite way next and it sort of just helps everything flow and fall into the into place okay so it it, it is a case that there's like i said it's a very it's very organic it grows organically you know just 
keep adding, keep using up these wires <coughs> until until you feel your composition is working and you you know you're happy with with the you know with the design and how it's how it's looking and just keep sort of well going you said around. earlier on no two are exactly the same. Never, yeah, you'll never have them the same. And I mean, it's just that first shape is the one that sort of sets the tone and then you just keep following it. And if we if we if I come to this one you'll see there's that the first shape just mm -hmm. swirls down here tapers off and then all of these other wires come back and just follow every wow. everything I've done follows that first shape love it so that's what you just need get your first shape on don't paint over it too much make it an S it's an easier then, version of a cabochon, these, aren't they? Yeah. Because, because um, yeah. I, I always struggled with cabochon wrapping, but with a donut, you've got something to a start, with yeah. a starting point, haven't you? Yeah, that's it. You can just take that wire through. And you wouldn't know that that had a drill hole in because no. I've, I've used it and it almost just looks like it's holding onto the, the gemstone. Gemma, you're absolutely amazing. We love this. Do make sure uh, you have a go if you're, if you're yeah, starting do. off in wire work. And also send your photographs into the Wall of Fame because no two will look exactly the same. Thank no, you so much, won't. lovely. You're welcome. Check out your baskets on your kits. Um, they are getting quite limited. Now, it is time for your brand new boxes. Now... I've always been an advocator of the fact that you make, I've, I see your pieces, I see them on the wall of fame um, all the time, and I know just how talented each and every single one of you are. Don't do your jewellery a disservice. And what I mean by that is, yeah, okay, there's going to be occasions when a little bit of tissue paper will suffice, a stretchy bracelet, say. But when you're talking about something as intricate as, as what Gemma has just created, or maybe some of your sea beading or some of your jadeite master carvings, like you're going to get it at 10 o'clock. How you present it, how you look after it, really does make a difference. You know, if, if I used to work in a jewellers that sold Rolex, Cartier, all of those big brands. If ever anybody needed to replace the box, you were talking one, 200 pounds at a minimum, and that is no exaggeration. Yeah. It was a lot to replace their boxes. And I can tell you, in terms of the feel, the quality, no different to what you're about to see. Um, I agree with the message that we had a few moments uh, you know, earlier on in the show. The buyer of the boxes has absolutely hit the nail on the proverbial head. These are ultimate luxury. And incredibly, I have guaranteed each of these boxes under five pounds. Um, which is that's, madness. That, it's baffling, you know, it really is, because they are, they are really gorgeous. gorgeous. So I mean, I can, gorgeous. can imagine buying those in a gift shop as a gift, as a gift. Yes. You know, actually, here's a jewellery box for you, you know, to buy that as a gift, rather than actually a presentation box for a piece of jewellery. Totally. It's I mean, Gemma, Gemma, I used to have a jewellery uh, jewelry, uh, business, and when I used, I used to spend a huge amount on boxes. Mm. Huge amount. Sometimes even more than the actual jewellery, because presentation is key. Are we starting with this one? Now, this one is a bangle, or sliders, by the way, they will go on this too, or watches. You can put watches on this too. I've got to do it again just for the benefit of those of you that just tuned in. This is how I know you've got a quality box. Ready? It's a solid snap, you know, that is properly um, pretty woman, isn't it? You know, where she's got that lovely ruby and diamond necklace. Yeah. It's presented in a box just like this. The quality that you are getting, all beautifully lined inside. You've got the adjustable bangle stroke, uh, stroke watch um, uh, uh, insert just there. If you've bought, if you've ever seen Cartier, Cartier Love Bangles, for example, they come in a box almost exactly the same. They're not mock croc, they are definitely red, um, light, and they've got sort of like a, a, a gold gilt in here but it's this interior it literally is no different and it's called of course got Cartier embossed on the inside now I have I have price pledged these to you all how many do we have Roscoe ah oh, it's 300 but I was hoping there would be more because I want to get some of these as well there's nothing wrong with putting them in say little chiffon bags there's nothing at least I did it with the willow and tick collection they were all in chiffon bags However, this is on a different different level, isn't it? Yeah. It's a whole other level. It's like it's like you know we all we all have different um, price points for different um, events that we do as well. Sure. 
you know, and if you're going to your craft fair um, at your local school as a little fundraiser, then, you know, you're not going to invest in... No, you, know, you, you might the, not these, use this these. This sort of thing. But if you're selling in a hotel foyer, in a cabinet, this Definitely. is what you want. You know, you want something like this that's, that, that screams the quality. Totally. I can't imagine what the reaction would be if I asked my local jeweller for a bracelet box uh, for less than a fiver. Exactly. Exactly. If you're even lucky enough to get them, because a lot of jewellers will not sell their boxes because they tend to be branded, uh, their own branding, don't yeah. they? Um, so if you can even get them, I totally agree. Under five pounds for this, you know, it's not stopping here. It is going under five pounds, which is madness. Again, Cartier or, 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 or uh, you can get imitation boxes. That's, that speaks volumes, doesn't it? And in fact, I think one of the marketing campaigns for Cartier is actually the iconic red box. Mm. It's about the box, not, yeah. not just the jewellery itself. Um, it's about owning the little iconic box. Michelle, I don't blame you for buying quantities like that. Absolutely. I do not blame you. This is because wholesale. this becomes your branding then, doesn't it's it? It's better than wholesale, this, these prices. Totally. Absolutely. That's you know, I, I think I'll be coming off and doing exactly the same. <laughs> totally. I mean, if you do something like a lovely yeah. sterling silver wi uh, wire uh, woven piece or a gemstone set tennis bracelet mm. or something like that, you know, there's nothing wrong with chiffon bags. There really isn't, and they have got a place. But this takes it to a whole other level. I'll never tire of that. That's the kind of box that I want. I don't want to put that in a drawer. I want this out. Yeah, have that. I, I want that on my dressing table, table yeah. or bedside table. Yeah, exactly. You know we're not stopping here. We had 300 of these, but we have got quantities like fives, sixes, tens, sixteens. I don't blame you. Everybody pays that final low price tag. If you, you, Your jade bangle, if I had one here <clears throat> in the studio, mm. yeah, absolutely. I would 100% throw away the box that it actually comes in. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. It serves a purpose, but it's not this. No. It's not this. And I'm sure if you showed these to Dave, he would say exactly the same. Um, you know, it, 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 it is. It's that, it's that extension of luxury, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. The extension of luxury. You go to Cartier, they talk as much about the box as they do the actual design of jewellery. Um, um, and like I said, it can be hundreds of pounds to replace those boxes. Four ninety nine with us this morning. Um, it's not just your bangles. I know it says bracelets there, but it can be bangles. It can also be watches. You can put. Yeah. I, I'm not wearing a watch, otherwise I would actually show you. But you can put yeah, uh, your watches just on there as well. Um, things like Gucci watches. A lot of them have like a solid bracelet. And you don't want that really to uh, to be sort of left flat. So it actually does the bracelet, the bangles, mm. um, uh, um, and the chains. It looks after them much better, actually having them in the shape that they should actually be. Four pounds ninety nine. Well done again. So many multi buyers. I don't blame you at all. Let me show you all the way around. We have got the universal box coming up as well, which serves purposes for say your drop earrings, your chains, um, bracelets as well if you wanted to. Um, and we've also got the ring box coming up. I mean, look at that lovely quality. They are all guaranteed at under five pounds. All guaranteed. So you can shop ahead, you can pre-order on the other bracelets, or if you're shopping on the phone lines, you can speak to our lovely uh, lovely call centre team. My husband, um, you know, he loves watches. He loves, and I, you know, I fully support it because that's really the only piece of jewellery that he gets behind. Apart from the occasional stretchy, he does that. Yeah. Um, but, you know, how you look after, so many times I see it literally just thrown on the side. Mm. I'm like, put it in a box. Yeah. Put it in a box. Something like this, you can have it out on the side. Um, okay, let's bring you the pendant box now, shall we? I say pendant, it could also be earrings. Mm. So, often referred to as the universal box, because you can see you've got the two little slots at the top there for your chains mm. uh, or shepherd hooks yeah. to be fed within. You've even got the little fold here so that it doesn't gather and bunch up. Yeah. It's fantastic. So really looking after it, it just lifts up like so. Can you see that? Yeah. Just lifts up like so um, and sits behind. Look at that quality. Look at the quality that you are getting. Again, you can hear it, can't you? Um, we're already under five pounds, but the clock is ticking away. Lots of multi buyers on this one. I mean, what piece of jewellery do you gift? What piece of jewellery do you make? What piece of jewellery do you sell the most? Mm. Necklaces do tend to be a firm favourite, don't they? Pendants and necklaces, yeah. Yeah. Well, include this, in, you know, include this in your cost. 
say, look, I can give you one of our, it can be one of your, uh, not a sales spin, but you can actually say, say to someone, I tell you what, I'll even, I'll include the luxury box. Yeah. Just incur it into your costs. And it's not going to be £4.99 cost because we're going even lower. You said this is beyond wholesale. I totally agree. To get prices like this, I would have had to have bought, bought like a thousand. Yeah. To get this kind of this yeah. kind of saving. Yeah, the, the quality is unbelievable. It's, they're so gorgeous. Like I haven't found anything anywhere the near this good. Wow, even the bottom. <laughs> even the bottom of the box is nice. nice. You can see the quality all the way around. You haven't got any ugly folds in the paper. No. It's all the way around. You can see that lovely quality. Three pounds and ninety-nine pence only. Have I got three hundred of these as well? Yes, three hundred. They're nice, white, clean. So you know, sometimes with the cardboard boxes, they can gather dust and they can also mark. Yeah. We're going quite easily in actual fact. Yeah. Um, whereas you're not going to get that with these. They can literally wipe clean. Um, I've got to move on because time is ticking. Uh, let's do the ring box. This will be the most popular. It always is. And I have to say, um, look at it. It's, oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? It is beautiful. Mm. I never thought I'd describe a box as beautiful, but it is. Look at that. Let me take my... You buy a luxury piece of jewellery... You want it presented nicely, don't you? Yeah, that's lovely. Can you imagine that piece of jewellery and that box being sold to you for £2.99? No. Well, not the jewellery. The, the box wouldn't be £2.99. No, As Liz I, said earlier on. I can't on. get over the price of the... the £2.99. So... These also work for stud earrings, by the way, not just your rings. Mm. Look at that. It's highlighting the quality of your jewellery creations. Yeah. You know? And, and again, two ninety nine. it's not going to make a massive difference in terms of your uh, your price points. No. I mean, you know, even for your little cardboard boxes, you know, with the slide lid, mm -hmm. not, a, not a hinge, you're looking at around... a little around, bit of foam. And you know, if you buy a lot of them, you're looking at around 75p to a pound each. Yeah. You know, if you buy quite a few. I mean, it's, they're just worlds apart. It's, totally. It's just worlds apart. I mean, or, they're lovely. They're lovely. But, you know, if you're doing the gem setting, you mm -hmm. find our ring mounts and our really high-end gemstones, this is what you want, isn't it? To, totally. Yeah. And, 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 you know, the cotton wool goes through me. So, you know, yeah. when you find those boxes, the ones you're describing, yeah, they're just the lift-off lid and they've got cotton wool. Oh, I, I can't touch it. I literally <laughs> can't touch it. Um, so, yeah, something like this, like you said, it's completely and utterly worlds apart. That's the ring stroke stud box for you again. Um, keep on shopping. Keep on dialing through. We're going to leave the graphics live for you all. Make sure you do check them out. We had 300 of each of these um, of these boxes. All have been significantly, actually, haven't they? You know, under five pounds um, and then some in this case. Make sure you check out and do not go anywhere Gemma you're going to be back with us for your masterclass I will. aren't you yes yeah which I'm very excited yeah, about got red jade red jade yeah Red. So I've got, got a lovely, lovely necklace to share and um, show you how to incorporate. So yes, amazing. Is that the first time you've worked with Red Jade? Yes, first time I've ever seen it. <gasps> Didn't well, even know it was a thing. It's very special. Yeah. Um, and speaking of special, we have Dave Troth stepping into the studio. The craftsmanship of these carvings are on a whole other yeah. level. When we talk about legacy heirloom, it's literally the jadeite carvings that we have been uh, seeing. Some of these are brand new premieres, never been on your screen, all brand new. Beg your pardon. That one with the, oh my goodness me, we've got double sided. The one with the dragons is just incredible and mm. all tell their own story. Completely natural, type A jadeite with Dave Troth after this. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? 
then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. world exclusive pieces some of the best pieces i have ever seen yeah and that's not just talking to jewelry maker collectors right now that's talking to, uh, on the world scene you know this is this is for you guys this is as good as it gets what that does mean is we are you know essentially um, not dealing with the kind of quantities that you're usually used to. Mm. You know, uh, if you've seen any of our showcases, me and Ella bought you some incredible jade. Next door, been able to bring you some incredible jade. Never in the carving uh, facility next door, but we have big quantities. Today, they are very limited. Yeah. Some of these pieces take days to do. Days, not even just one day. Um, and we're dealing with someone that we've never dealt with before. That's what this whole week is about. You know, if, if you feel like you've seen a lot of jade over the last two years, and maybe you're bored of it, I get it but we're gonna bring you jade for as long as we can because we've been starved of jadeite for yeah. nearly two decades. And you know, before Jewelry Maker, before Gems TV, before Gemporia, you know, the West has never had access to jadeite. I went to Myanmar, uh, fortunate enough to go to the jade market to Myanmar, I went to Kachin State where the mines are in 2019, and even I couldn't afford to own jadeite. Mm -hmm. And not even as a you know, buying house, just my own wanting to get a, a souvenir essentially of Taipei jadeite, couldn't get it. 
you know, this moment, we call it a window of opportunity, but that window is closing. You know, we reached out to all of our jade vendors over the last six weeks and just said, look, can we plan in things for our future? Can we buy more jadeite? And we're exploring other options. You know, this is the reason we're bringing you the incredible uh, Brancaronics. This is the reason we're diversifying into other incredible gemstones because we're not getting offered jade anymore yeah. and we can't compete with the Chinese market. As you guys know, you've seen the Hong Kong auction houses. It is back up and running. Myself and Jake are going out to Bangkok in September. That's where the actual Hong Kong gem show is moving to. Oh, wow. So Hong Kong is back on. It's just not in Hong Kong. Same vendors, same gemstones moving to Bangkok for the first time, which is going to be incredible. So that's where everyone's taking their jadeite now. And we aren't getting the kind of deals we're used to. So a lot of the jadeite you're going to see over the next six months will be stuff we already have in our vault, stuff you've seen before. As Al said a moment ago, everything you're about to see today is brand new. And through our you know, unique and exclusive vendors like Sally Hewer, like Bernard, like Bree, who we all, these are you know, people that supply us with our jadeite for over the last two years, have essentially allowed us access to a carving facility in, in China, in mainland China, where they work with the, the finest material. You know, these are the people that carve the bangles. These are the people that, that carve the pieces for the auction houses and the big jewelry houses. And, you know, that kind of introduction goes a long way. You know, they vouched for us, essentially. You know, we pay on time. You know, we're good to our word. Uh, it allows us to be able to get credit with these people and bring you some of this material. Now, when we first started the dialogue, the conversation with these guys months ago, we said, look, our collectors here in the UK and in the US have never been seen, you know, these unbelievable carvings before. Mm -hmm. Never had access to it. And we'd love to allow them to see it and to be able to acquire it. And at that moment of the dialogue, we thought that we wouldn't be able to do it because they said, we only do one of a kind. We only do, we, they, don't, they don't calibrate a series, they don't do 70 or 50. And we said, can you do it? Because they buy the jadeite, they buy the carving grade, which is the translucent gem material. Yeah. It has to be the absolute best to be able to produce a carving. Um, this is not cabochons we're talking about. You need those moments of intricacy, the relief moments, which, which means it needs to be completely crystallized. Mm -hmm. You can't have fragments falling off. No. And, and they said, look, if we do, it's probably going to differ in terms of color. We said, that's absolutely OK. We just want to be able to bring you that level of artistry. And we have five or six unique, very limited pieces today that the chances of you ever seeing anything like this again probably won't happen. That's why we've you know, kind of blocked out this week, as it were, and said, look, we bring you this window of opportunity. It's a week-long event, you know, and, and this is it. This is everything you're going to get a chance to own. Um, and we, like I said, we don't have the hundreds of quantities, so it is going to be first come, uh, first serve today. We're not capping it. If you want to get more than two or three, go ahead. The prices are going to be incredible, unrivaled. This is the material that I just, literally, my jaw hits the floor when I see it, when I used to go to Hong Kong. Yeah. When I used to see this material, we're talking about the most expensive canvas in the world and a level of craftsmanship that has been around for around three, 4,000 years, literally passed down through the generations. Now, I'm going to be completely upfront with everyone. It's all type A Burmese material except the first piece. I this is extraordinary. Isn't it? So, of course, you know what that means. It means that we're bringing you, for the first piece, translucent, <gasps> gem quality, Guatemalan, Olmec blue jadeite, which is... The, 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 probably the finest piece of jadeite we've ever had in the building. Now, we've never even launched Guatemalan jadeite over, over the next door. You guys have had opportunities to acquire it before in, in cabochons and maybe the donuts. But this is the material that has been valued for, for civilizations, and the mines were lost for centuries. This is the piece we're talking about. This incredible material that you're about to see is very, very symbolic and special color. It is top, top grade. We should, you know, genuinely, we should be looking at thousands of material like this, thousands. Yeah. It is going to be an incredible deal today. It is double figure stock. So again, no, not hundreds of these. It no. is the only piece of Olmec blue jadeite in the show. Have, is this the first Olmec carving? Blue ja carving? Yeah, we've ever done. And wow. we'll, we'll ever do, just so you know. We'll ever do. So this, just to give you a brief history of this material and why it's so special, and why me and Elle are getting excited about it, if you go all the way back to the Olmec civilization, which predates the Aztecs, mm -hmm. this is the material they valued 
more than gold. Yeah. And it, it, it's, it's true that any civilization that has jadeite, that has access to jadeite, that's only been, you know, in Myanmar and Central America, they always value it above gold. You know, the, the ancient Chinese proverb is, you know, gold is valuable, jade is priceless. But if you go back to, to the Olmecs, they had this material, they had the city of gold, they had everything, but this was the material they valued above everything else. And the, they passed on this knowledge and the material to the Aztecs. And when the Spanish conquistadors ca came across, and you had um, you know, uh, a series of trades taking place, King Montezuma said, sent you know, delegates to bring them these gold and silver plates to the Spanish. The Spanish were over the moon. And then they said to the Spanish, because they used to do it every day at a certain time, they said, if you, if you essentially, it's obviously been translated, but if you love this material, you wait until tomorrow, because what we bring you tomorrow will make today seem worthless. All this gold and silver. And the, the Spanish were blown away. They were taking this material, they were you know, stowing it to take back to the king in, in Europe. And um, they brought three or four jadeite cabochons from these incredible mines in, in Guatemala and Central America. And the Spanish were furious, right? Because they didn't know what jadeite was. You know, they didn't know how to value jadeite. They'd mm. never experienced jadeite. They just wanted gold, right? Yeah. But any civilization, like I said, that has had access to this material values it far above and as such, basically, the, the Spanish were furious, lots of things happened. Oh, one it, sec, your mic has just dropped. Is it? Can we hear Dave? Can you hear me? We can hear you. Okay. Sorry. So, just okay. The Spanish were, were kind of furious with this trade. They saw it as like a slight against the king. And, you know, the, the key takeaway was they, they, they forced the, 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 the Aztecs to trade with them gold and whatever. And the knowledge of the mining site was lost. No one knew where it was. So the even, lost treasure. Yeah, literally. Even in the modern age, you know, the 19th century, 20th century, we knew jadeite had occurred through writings mm -hmm. of that time. We'd seen pieces in museums. You know, ancient tools were carved out of it. But no one actually knew. There was no map. There was, no one had written down where the mines were. It was only within the last 20 years that they've rediscovered wow. the legendary Guatemalan mine which produces this wonderful colour. And although there is still a mine, this colour has always been the most valued. We know that because we see the artefacts carved in it in the museums and very hard to come by. And then to get this, this colour and translucent is sensational. But if you take a closer look at what Ellie's holding, it's got that wet look, which is the water content. Amazing. It's as good as it gets. Now, this is essentially depicting the legend of the Blue Willow. Oh, wow. This is um, a classic kind of Chinese... Uh, folk tale, okay, and it, you can see it usually in in porcelain in mm -hmm. China, in you know, various works of art throughout different dynasties. It's a it's a tale as old as time, as it were, and it's depicted in the Olmec blue material here. And you're probably reading it, but it says long ago, in the days when China was ruled by emperors, um, a Chinese Mandarin Cao Ling lived in the magnificent pagoda under the branches of the apple tree on the right of the bridge, over which droops the famous willow tree and in front of which is seen the graceful lines of the fence. Cao Ling was the father of a beautiful girl, Quang Se, who was pr the promised bride, bride of an old but wealthy merchant. The girl, however, fell in love with Chang, her father's clerk, and the lovers eloped across the sea to the cottage on the island. The Mandarin pursued and caught the lovers and was about to have them killed when the gods transformed them into a pair of turtle doves. These are the doves seen gazing into each other's eyes at the top of the design on the plates. And there are two birds in the center of this incredible yes. piece, which is, like I said, the, the, the legend of the blue willow. Oh, that... And this is carved into Olmec blue jadeite. This is a, a piece that has cultural significance. It's the first time we've ever seen this carving. Yeah. We've talked about it many, many times. Like I said, it is something that is kind of found, depicted through every dynasty in Chinese history. And here you have it in probably the most valuable jadeite on the planet in the iconic colour. This is a colour you cannot get no. from Burmese material. And there are those two turtle doves. And in different uh, depictions, different versions of the story, there are either swallows or essentially it is two birds that, that you know... What is a gorgeous story. It's an amazing well. story. And Susie was one of the people that first described this story yeah. to me. Um, she's probably told you as well. Yeah. And this is the piece that we're going to bring you now. Like I said, it is double-figure 
stock on this piece. The only Olmec blue we have for you. It will be the only Olmec blue carving we have for you. It's certified Guatemalan. And it is top ice jadeite with translucency. I'm going to do a minute clock to bring the graphics in on this incredible piece. Wow. Um, we'll start the clock. Thank you, guys. Um, yeah. Less than 100. In terms of quantity, that is far less than what we've seen. But then yep. I guess we should... We should this is... This is to be expected. It's in to be like expected, this, yeah. absolutely. And, and the first time that we've ever done, we've ever had carvings in Guatemalan jade. Yeah, and it's not like we have carvings. It's the no. only carving we have in, in Guatemalan Olmec blue jade. Amazing. We will not have any more. Um, it is one of the most limited of the, this beautiful curated collection today. And, you know, like I said, every piece is depicting some, some incredible, beautiful folklore or cultural significance, this is all they carve in these facilities. And in 20 seconds, these will likely sell out. Yes. Okay, this is yes. just as good as it gets. Um, I've actually got on um, Sunday evening, we're launching the Olmec Jade mm -hmm. next door on Gemporia. Okay. There isn't a single piece in the whole collection on our prime time show on Sunday evening on Gemporia that is anywhere near this carrot weight. Really? In the whole show. Wow. And this is how special this is. 25 carats of gem grade, translucent, Olmec blue, Guatemalan jade eyes. The Taipei Olmec blue willow carving. This is that incredible legend, that fable, that, that piece of history that is frozen in time in the most valuable jade eye in the world. And can I just say to every single one of you, if yeah. you're brand new, if you've been here before, don't wait because there's already like 30 of you on the phone lines queuing. Excellent. If you're sat at home and you've fallen in love with this piece, then I'm going to encourage you to get it straight away. I mean, uh, the, that all the time for all this for as, as many years as I've been on this planet, I never knew that story behind yep. uh, the willow pattern itself. Never knew that and what a romantic and beautiful story it is. To team that in, the most beautiful stone. Yeah. And, and look, I'm, I'm just going to give you some indication of the kind of deal that I'm going to do for you on this. Because when we reached out to this carving facility, we routinely sell things for not just a thousand or two thousand, but mm -hmm. ten thousand pounds. So instantly, let's just get a two thousand pounds on this, which had it been a one of a kind, it could realistically be. Yeah. But I'm going to provide this to our collectors today for the price of, um, I don't know, a London Blue Topaz ring next door. What? And it's a 25 Which carat. is replaceable. Oh, for sure. You can replace it. We London do shows of them. We can do a day of London Blue Topaz if you want. There's one single carving on your screens right now. This is of course going into the triple figures, ultra low triple figures. You're gonna have wow. uh, split pay available on this piece. It's not just two carats or four carats or 10 carats, it's 25 carats. And I'm gonna show you the, the level of translucency we're dealing with here. And to do that, I'm just gonna get my phone light. And this is, just so you know, this is the only Olmec blue. Yep. I can remember when we first launched it, Dave, because I had the privilege of joining you on that show. And you spoke about how the GIA said, in very rare occasions, jadeite will occur. Oh, my word. Look at that, you can see my this fingernail behind. This is top gem material. Yeah. It's like tracing paper. Like Elle said, you can actually see through it. Yeah. It's like a window. It's like a stained glass window. You can Which see Which is obviously what you want. Absolutely. You can have a minute clock, guys. This one's on its way to selling out already. It is the only Guatemalan piece in the showcase. It is, of course, 100% natural. That's why you've got the Taipei on your screen. That is usually, we only talk about Taipei when you talk about Burmese material. That's yeah. because Burmese material is really the only material that exists today. Look at that. Look at that well, level. One of the rarest gemstones if not the rarest gemstone we've ever had, and the finest grade one can get. Yeah. The, literally, like, that is the colour. If you go to the museums, if you go to the GIA, if you go to Christie's or Sotheby's and you see Guatemalan jade, many times it'll be a, a smaller carat weight than this, but what you want is translucent, essentially wet look jade mm -hmm. of this colour. Let me just try and re... Let me That's just it. do it yeah. that way. Hang on. So you can actually see. Look I mean, that. the colour disappears because it is so transparent. Look at that. That's, the, that's what we want. We want that liquid-like quality. Absolutely. Right. Ross, this is going to sound crazy, but look how many people are on the phone lines. Straight away, I'm going to take £1,500 off the price. And I'm telling wow. you now, even if they sell out, which they most likely will at this point, I'm going again in a big way. So we're going to take £1,500 off the price right now. For the Olmec Blue? This is the only carving we've ever actually it's had. It's not just the only... the only carving. Look, I've got 
pieces coming up on Sunday evening. You can join me. It's 8 p.m. on, on Gemporia. On Gemporia. Um, where we're going to launch the worldwide debut on Gemporia of Olmec Blue Jade Eye. Yeah. There isn't even, a, I don't even think there's a five carat single piece of Jade wow. let alone a 25 carat intricately carved in the best carving facility in the world. And I am going again, guys. This is nowhere near the price. Nowhere near the, have we got tweezers? Yes. Okay. You, you hold the light, El. You yeah. hold the light, as you were. Sorry, guys. I know I'm walking in front of the camera and doing everything. But look, I just want to show you how gem material... Do what you were doing, please, El, if that's okay. Mm -hmm. This is how gem quality this material is. Exactly the same. Right. Look. You literally can see straight that's through That's behind it. it. That's look. amazing. It's as good as it gets, guys. It's as good as it gets. I'll take a minute clock. Um, this is, everyone along the bottom, congratulations. I think a few of you are going to multi-buy right now. I think a few of you are going to multi-buy right now. It's a 25... We're actually over-allocated with those in your basket, so good yeah, luck. Yeah, I'll check it out then. If it's in your basket, I'll check it out. There is chances still available, but of course it is extremely mm. competitive this morning. And in a, in a normal auction house, that means the price goes up. Yeah, You're competing yeah. against it. Today it's just... Who wants it? Who wants to own it? At this price, by the way, I've never seen Guatemalan jade yeah. like this. When we reached out to them, we didn't even ask for the Guatemalan material from this carving facility. It was only when they sent some of uh, the, the footage over, some of the pictures on WhatsApp, that I saw this color, because it's so different. And I was like, is that Guatemalan? And of course, elsewhere, it's always priced higher than the Burmese material, because there is no mine, commercial mine of this material. And they said, yeah. And I said, would we be able to offer one piece of this? This is the one piece. This is the one piece. There is no other. No, no, no. This is the Olmec Blue Jade Eye. You take the light away, Al, just so everyone can see the colour now. That's the colour you want. Thank you, guys, for the Olmec Blue. And your Excellent. price on this, your final price. Mm. And I'm just going to, before I call the price, I'm going to give you a chance. I'm going to tell you guys at home, if you have it in your basket, this is the moment to check it out. If, if you do have it in your basket, which all of you do, it's actually gone if you all check out, but I'll do it now because we're at 499 and I'm not just going to take £100 off. We've got an incredible deal in mind for you. This is the window of opportunity and you know, the window is closing. We know that. There is going to be no new Jade Eye coming your way over the course of this year. These are the new pieces wow. and this is the masterpiece. 179 what? Yeah, um, well, I told you the price of a London blue topaz ring next door yeah. for a 25 carat. And by the way, the colour, you can't get a better colour or oh, blue than that. You can't word. get more transparency. You can't get a better polish. This wet look, this ice jadeite. Look at that. Yeah. And you can use your full way split pay. Goodness me. You know, no dis disrespect to London Blue Topaz, but it's replaceable, isn't it? You can get more yes. of it. This is not being, it's not being on a This is, this right? is, yeah, any, no, 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 no commercial mining. And anyone that you find writing articles about the old Mech Blue, they talk about it as this legendary, mythical, kind of unicorn gemstone. Yeah. There's only recently been rediscovered. It's, it's literally dumbfounded the geologists, gemologists, explorers, um, for hundreds of years. Yeah. You know, they find them in museums, they find them in private collections. They're like, where does this material um, come from? We know we don't get this colour from, from Myanmar. I've got a collector in, in Suffolk who's got two, I've got City of Bristol who's got three, another collector who's got two. Um, one minute clock. What? Yeah, one minute clock. We've it's got what? One, two, three, four, five other incredible carvings to get through. It's all in your baskets. If you want a little bit pounds, more off that price, then I'm going to do it right now. That's what I'm going to do. Plus the story of the blue uh, of the willow. The, 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 the legend of the blue willow, and this oh. is it in Olmec blue jadeite. It's lovely, actually, because I, I, it's only just dawned on me, um, you know, blue, Olmec blue, blue yes. willow. It's yes. only just dawned on me, that connection. It's kind of made to go together. Um, Richard in County Durham, literally 60 seconds ago, says, Hello, Dave, never thought you would go that low. I purchased it as soon as it went on the screen. This is what I would have done as well. You know, when we said, uh, two grand, you purchased it. In fact, before there was a price on the screen, you purchased it. We're at 179, because I made a promise to you at the start. I said, this is the piece that we are going to bring to you. It's a 25 carat masterpiece in probably the most elusive, the most impressive gemstone the world has ever known. Yeah. And you've got eight seconds, and your deal is on its way right now. I can't. Three, two, one. Right, I don't take five or ten pounds off. One four nine. 
149, and you've probably got about 30 seconds to check it out to get it into your basket. If you want to multi-buy, go ahead and do it. You've got your interest-free split payments. of yes. At the moment, they're at £44.75. pence. Maker in Lincolnshire, Maker in Surrey, Maker in Gloucestershire, Maker in uh, Cambridgeshire, Maker in West Yorkshire, County Down, Essex, County Durham, Gloucestershire, East Lothian. Collectors literally all across the UK getting involved for transparent, Olmec Blue, completely natural Guatemalan, Lost Jada. pounds and 25 pence only. I mean, it is fair to say that probably Guatemalan jade is, you know, we are talking the pinnacle of rare, rarity here, aren't we? Yeah. The pinnacle, particularly with this beautiful, beautiful blue colour that occurs completely naturally. How many are left, Ross? There's three of the willow tree, uh, the willow, uh, blue willow. There's 40 of these left. Okay, you ready? What do you mean, ready? I'm, uh, with it, I'm... Look, what I've said at the start of this week is we've got no more jade out coming your way. We're just going to go to the lowest deals ever to get them into your collections. If we lose many money on some pieces, then so be it. I don't have an earpiece. I just wanted my bits done. I wanted to be the person that brings you the most incredible carvings in the world. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to create an incredible collection mm. of something that no one else has ever done and no one would entertain. That's what I'm doing right now. I'll take That's a 30 nice. second clock if I can. For me, it's not about anything else other than being able to look back at my career and say, do you know what, once upon a time, we yeah. did a week long event and not only did we bring Jade out for the first time, but we went and got the best carvings the world has ever seen. Do you know what, Dave, I was just thinking, you know, you know when, you, when you come to Stop retire and you, you look back and you think, Wow. Yeah, no, this That's is it. That's a wonderful chapter in your Absolutely. career. Absolutely. It's like giving back, isn't yes. it? So for, for 10 years, I've seen Jada. I've been to Manama, been to Hong Kong. I've seen the price of it. We hear Susie talk about the price of it, how people are priced out, how we can't get it. And we had this window of opportunity and we got involved and we got these pieces. And of course, we could have just sold them for whatever price. We could have sold them back to China. But yeah. we said, no, no, we have these unbelievable collectors right now that are going to have access to this material. I can't believe I'm going to say this, and to, to Richard and County Down who got involved at any price, and to all the other collectors that did it, good luck. You ready? Oh, I don't think so. 99.99. Oh, I knew That's that. it. This is, where, this is what this whole showcase, this event, this marquee event is all about. The marquee master collective Remember of Jade Eye Carvings, and that was the message we had. I, I, I think I got it wrong. I don't think he actually said, hello, Dave. I think he actually said, hell, Dave. I never <laughs> thought you would go that low. I purchased as soon as it went on the screen. Well, get four or five others, Richard. Get as many as you can. These, these Richard's got two. Well done, Richard. He's on the phone lines. He got one at any price. He's just jumped back on. And, and no got matter two. Whether, whether you came in at the beginning of this auction or at the tail. Everyone pays the final low price, don't they? Yeah. That's what's unique. Every, you know, if the market changes, whatever it is, this is it, 99 25 pounds on split pay. We've just done, we really close the show right now. Close the show right now, that's it, it's incredible. For Guatemala. Patricia's got two, uh, Susan's got two, Linda's got two, Michelle's got three, Suja's got two, Richard's got two, Cheryl Ann's got two, Maker in Hampshire's got two. This is actually what is taking place right now for this material. If you're looking at it going, is that really what I think it is? Yes, it is. I can't even bring you type C, Jade at this price. No. A dyed material. Can't do <laughs> yes. it. Yes. Can't bring you polymer impregnated at this price. Not in the current market. When, when we could, we went and got the best material we absolutely could. That's Amazing. what we did. And we got an incredible deal. And as with that, so do you. We pass on the saving. We don't just say it. We do it. We don't just talk the talk. We walk the walk. A hundred percent. And this we? is us demonstrating that very, very clearly. I, I, need, to, I need to get it. There's 26 one. genuine chances. Look, here we go. Richard said, I only wanted red jade out today, um, but bought two Guatemalan. This is it. I mean, I'm going to tell you right now, to all of you, this is live. This is reactive. Always say this. This is not like a, one of those infomercials that's filmed in a warehouse outside of London six months ago. Yeah. And they play it out at 2 a.m. on like ITV. Yeah. And it's about some ladder that can bend in seven different ways. This is live and reactive. And what we're doing... Is, is listening to you and giving you the incredible deals. We're talking to you. Richard's messaging again, like now. Now, Leah, we're having a conversation. Literally, that's absolute. But isn't Richard right, though? You know, at the end of the day, that's an opportunity to. You're not, Richard, you're not shopping, you're saving. Saving. Absolutely. 100%. Absolutely. And, 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 and this is. This is, this is 
These I are see. the pieces of the future, aren't they? Uh, Elle, you know, or the pieces absolutely, of now. Absolutely, 100%. They're but. legacy pieces, heirloom pieces. You taught yourself about an incredible jade carving you have, mm -hmm. right? And, and you have it in your living room, I believe, yeah. in a glass cabinet. Yeah. And it has, obviously, sentimental value. Uh, yeah. has cultural meaning. But you have jadeite. Yeah. You have jadeite. This is a jadeite carving. And Possibly I can the tell you it's definitely ever. a lot more than what's on our screen. Absolutely. I mean, you know... For any of you that have ever been to China, any of you that have been to maybe Beijing, Hong Kong, or those of you that are fortunate enough to go to Myanmar, if you want to message in, let us know your experience mm -hmm. of the actual market pricing for this material, then please do. You know, this is a dialogue. It's great to, to be able to have these conversations with you. And right now, we've just done one of the craziest deals of my life. Oh, I should, I should say, there are four left. Why is the four left? Why on earth <laughs> is there four left? It's a fair question. Uh, I have no idea. Question. I have no idea. And do you know, just to be fair, if there's even one left, I would take it. I'm going to take it and put it on my show next, next door, door on Sunday evening. Just if to there offer are any a, left, one or two carvings. One, willow and you all. have to, yeah. The, the legend of the Olmec oh. Blue Willow. Congratulations. You'll love that story. Um, the only, oh my, this one has blown my mind. Well, this, this one in the whole series, you know, when we talk about pieces taking days, this is it. It's blown This is mind. not knocked up in an hour. This piece that you're about to see oh. is two-sided, so it's 100% carved all the way around. It is the most impressive piece in terms of the carving that I've ever witnessed, even when I've been to the gem shows. I can't believe we have this. I'm gonna, again, I want to manage expectations. Half the, half the quantity of the previous piece. And in a moment, you're going to see why. Um, what I'd like to do, actually, because this has a, a really interesting, beautiful story associated with it. A really interesting, beautiful story associated with it. And so I'd like to... There's, there's like 50 of these. Um, and, and, and like I said, if I can just go back on that. Sorry, Ross. Um, one second. There we go. You will see this image depicted in Chinese artifacts or pieces of art for thousands of years. And this is the image I'm talking about, whether it's in the most incredible porcelain vase, whether it's in these wonderful tapestries that mm. are framed, whether it's in these beautiful uh, uh, um, you know, pottery or paintings or bronze. Whatever you see, it's always this incredible, enduring image. And to me, it's like, oh, it's a dragon. Maybe it's the year of the dragon. Now, the story goes much deeper than that. And I want to get into that right now. And if I can, can I open the graphics on this? So you guys, I don't want to stand in your way. If you want to get involved, get involved. But I, just gonna, I need to tell you this story. Because this is the most difficult carving to do. Not only is it all the way round, but if you flip it back round again now, even the, 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 the lower portion on the left, look at the scales yeah. that are carved into the dragon's skin. Look I've at all these interesting, beautiful... Never. I mean, how long would it take just to paint it? Yeah. Let alone carving it and the story that, that we're talking about remember this is so limited so limited yeah. you know what kind of pricing we're doing today Susie's the first one on the phone lines don't blame you Susie Susie you know look it's fantastic I wish you were here but it's fantastic to know you're tuning in yeah so I, Susie was the first one on the phone line she's acquired this Susie will probably know this story mm -hmm. but we're going to tell everyone this story right now and that story I might need the clicker sorry Ross um, is, is the there story is. of the, the dragon pearl Okay, and it's a Chinese folklore legend. So the story of the dragon's pearl is one of the oldest and most well-known tales in Chinese folklore. It is set in a rural province of central China called Sichuan. Under the rule of a greedy and corrupt emperor, the people of this province were desolate with hunger and thirst. There was barely any sign of life, let alone vegetation. Of this despairing population lived a peasant boy named Nai Long Lang and his mother. Each day, the boy ventured, collecting as much grass as he could in order to sell as fodder. This way, he was able to bring home a bowl of rice for him and his mother. As the days grew hotter, foliage grew scarce, and Nai Lang's mother became ill due to malnutrition. He thought to himself, there must be a part of this land that I have missed. Determined to save his mother, he sets out, he sets out uh, far afoot, eventually reaching a mountain. Climbing to the top of a mountain, he looks from the summit and he's disappointed by the sight of the same nothingness mirroring the land from whence he came. As he readies himself to return back, he notices movement from the corner of his eye, a healthy, plump-looking hare. He sneakily follows the hare, preparing to catch it. 
As he squeezes by a small crevice of rocks, he is greeted with a lush, flowing patch of grass. Tears in his eyes. He thanks the rabbit as he plows through the generous overture of vegetation. It's incredible, right? Yeah. Um, and again, as we go through this, able to support his mother with a fantastic meal, he is determined to set out to find more the next day. He follows his tracks to the mountain and over the summit, into the crevice. To his astonishment, the patch of grass which he eagerly ploughed the day before is there, seemingly untouched. Without a second thought, he takes his scythe and ploughs away. Again, he is successfully able to exchange it for a fulfilling meal. Several days pass, and this becomes his routine. Every day he goes. So one morning, Nai Lang thinks to himself of how far the journey to the patch of grass is and comes up with an idea. If I were to dig up the grass, I could plant it near our home. This way, I'll not have to travel so much every day. As he digs carefully around the grass, he begins to see something large, round and brilliant. Enchanted by its beauty, he puts it in his sack and carries it home. After planting the lush grass near their home, he shows his mother the pearl, suggesting selling it for a hefty price. She disagrees and says that it is a blessing to have something so beautiful into their lives. She places it safely into their rice sack. That night, Nai Lang drifts to sleep, hungry one last time, dreaming of how he and his mother will never have to suffer again. The next morning, Nai Lang runs with excitement to his little garden, only to be met with wilted grass. Falling down to his knees, he cries to himself, if only I had not been so lazy. At this moment, his mother runs out, yelling, come quickly. They are greeted with an overflowing supply of rice. Too much to consume between the two of them. They decide to share their prosperity with their neighbours. As time passes, they realise that this magic orb, you know, this pearl, this magic pearl that they'd found, has the power to increase the quantity of anything that it graces, you know, this impressive abundance. Okay, so they've got all this overflowing rice. They'd come from, you know, hunger. They'd come from having nothing. And as we go through this, you'll, you'll hear, one day, word of their riches spread to the people with poor intentions. Greedy people, in some versions of this tale, they were under the emperor's orders, came to force the secret out of the mother and her son. After nearly destroying what little they owned, the mother finally caves in and tells him of the pearl. Hearing this, Nai Lang instinctively puts the pearl in his mouth, after some abuse, the boy inevitably swallows the pearl. He cries desperately for water as he experiences a thirst he has never had before. He yells that he feels heat and burning sensations inside of him. He breaks free of the bad men and hurries to the nearest riverbank, consuming what little water was left in it. Suddenly, black storm clouds appeared and loud bursts of lightning surrounded the scene. Rain poured, coating the land. The river gushed with floods of water. Nai Lang's mother weeps, for where her son stood now is a giant serpentine creature. Gracefully, he begins to ascend into the sky. She bids him farewell and thanks him for being the protector of their land. And with that, you know, the floodwaters come, there is this abundance in the area. And you know, all these, these people that were peasants, that had nothing, had everything. The vegetation came wow. down. And this is the story of the boy and the pearl. That's absolutely which became, which became incredible. The dragon and the pearl. And, you know, it is obviously a symbol of prosperity. It is a symbol of, you know, guardianship. And the longer the dragon, uh, the, 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 the more prosperity. And this is why this is double-sided. This is why this dragon seems to endlessly go on forever. And at the heart of it is that wonderful pearl, the orb yeah. on the other side. No. Half the stock's gone. Yeah. Half the stock's gone. I've never seen anything so intricate as this. But where there's, where there's that incredible... incredible Here's all the, I mean, I've ne I'm with you, I've never seen these levels of, of detail, you know, and with the different colours of the pearl. natural jadeite, it works perfectly yeah. with this. I'm going to do you a, a minute clock, I'm going to give you a crazy deal, half the stock has gone, it is one of the most limited, it is 270 carats, type A, the jadeite dragon with the pearl of wisdom. Look at that. Absolutely incredible. That story, Dave, as well. Literally, I was. Well, look, this is. I'm the same. You know, it's. Uh, it's, it's, it's. I think it's incredible to breathe life into these carvings. Yeah, totally. Because we should know about them. We should know well, about. Know why they're carved that way. Yeah, and I, I was so naive, um, and was like, oh, it's the year of the dragon. Yeah. It is what it is, and I reached out to the carving facility, and they said, no, no, this is the, 
the boy in the pearl of wisdom. You know, it's a tale that, you know, its earliest origins go back centuries, centuries. You know, no one knows where it began. No one knows the specific area of China that it, it, it pertains to. But the longer the dragon, the more prosperity. Wow. This is why the most impressive pieces like this seem to have this endless dragon, this Amen. endless abundance, this guardianship. Look, we rip up the rules. I'm going to tell you straight off what this is meant to be. And I'm going to give you the final deal. I'm not going again. I'm not doing anything else. I'm just going to go to a wild low deal. So on Ross's sheet in there, this piece is 299, which is incredible. And usually I'd have said, OK, let's start off at 1,000. Sorry, Ross, 1,000 pounds, 2,000 pounds, and let's play this game. But there's so many of you on the phone lines. You want these incredible deals. We gave you the most sensational deal on the old mm -hmm. one. Um, so 299 should be our deal, and it should just be out the door at that price. You get the split pay, you get everything. It's unbelievable. So I'm not going to go to 299, okay? Because I'm not going to do that for any of these pieces. Essentially, the planning, the good planning that Ross and the team have done is out the window. We are live and reactive, and we have to do that. So not 299. Not 249, Ross. Oh, I know what you Wait, not 199. Oh, my goodness. 149. That's... Just remember, the first piece we started with, was 25 carats. I agree. This Ross is has just said that's 10 the times the size. Yeah, this is data. 10 times the size. And just as a cabochon, that would be so impressive. Yeah. This isn't a cabochon, guys. This is the most intricate and detailed carving I've ever seen. And that wonderful recording that Adam has here, you can see. Look at that. Yeah, I mean, when we go full size on this, you can see all these moments. Yeah. Even I can't believe the price that I'm at. Even no, I can't believe no, the price I'm at. 149, what on earth? £37.25 on split payments. It's and again, I'm, can I wait for this to come round again? Because it's when you see this, the scales. And the pearls. On the dragon. You see the pearl there, don't you? What a story. And to be able to look at this and tell, you know, relay that story. Yeah, absolutely, to understand. And remember, the first person on the phone lines was Susie. Who yeah. knew this story. And, and she had a head start. But now you all know this incredible story. Oh. Here you go. Susha that, has actually been to Myanmar. Yeah. No middlemen, no China, no Britain, no USA. No one's been involved. She's gone direct to source. She bought a few pieces in Burma and paid a fortune. I'm Thanks a lot for pieces. This is why and we something do something like this do. in particular. Oh, name your price. Yeah. And all remember, the, 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 the carving house <laughs> only ever does one of a kinds usually. Mm -hmm. Every one of these, by the way, will be minutely different. Yeah. Might, yeah, the scales might be a little bit different or whatever. They will all obviously have the pearl. They will all have the dragon. It will all be both sided. They'll all be uh, 270 carats minimum. Some of these pieces might be 300 carats. Hello, Caroline. Caroline was just saying then she was determined not to spend today. However, well, you said it earlier on. You're, you're not spending. You're, you're saving, uh, Caroline. That's how I justify it to myself as well when there's pieces like this. <sighs> sold so out. Well done. Yeah, of course, we knew that. It was pretty much sold out, wasn't it, oh at the start? Oh, my word. Oh, my word. I want you to get the light behind this immediately, Al, because the, 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 this is translucent. It... Oh, my goodness, Dave. Yeah. This is sensational. Look at that. There's that beautiful translucency. Oh. Oh, and th this is the best. When we, when we get to see it like this, up close, yeah, it's outrageous. Amazing. And, and e even closer when you can see <gasps> the relief carving. Now this, is, for me, is so estate. It totally, look the, at the this detailing is, and the architecture. Yeah, and the, I guarantee, again, when we bring this live, the first person on that phone line that you'll see will be Susie. <laughs> yeah. Because again, um, there is a story to these pieces as well. It is a massive caraway. It is, it is essentially ice jade, okay? And you can tell the, 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 the finest jade in the world looks wet. Yeah. Okay, it looks wet, that's the best way to put it. You can see it here. Mm -hmm. This is where they refer to things like ice jade and water jade because they, they use the terms of water to describe the best jade. It's not dull, it's not lifeless, it's not dead. Oh my God. We've switched off all the lights here in the studio and you're going to see 
the levels of, of carving. Oh, the, my. You see the moon in the background? You yeah. see the mountains. You see this impressive tree. You see the temple. You see the bridge. You see the waterfall just by your finger at the base. Yeah. You can actually see the ripples on the water. That is and then absolutely you see, astonishing. Just next to the tree, you see this bird. You see this bird there in the lower third. This is the story of Feng Hang, which is the, the phoenix, essentially. Many different origin stories for this piece. But in China, the phoenix is also called the Feng Hang. I don't know if I'm saying that right. And similar to the Western counterpart, the mythological creature is an immortal bird that also represents the element of fire. The Chinese phoenix is to believe to symbolize harmony. And in ancient China, the appearance of the Feng Hang is believed to be, as a sign with a new emperor is going to rise to lead the country. And that's why you see the, the, in that depiction, the picture, you see the sun rising. And yeah. that's what you see behind the mountains in this carving. You know, a new day, a new beginning, harmony. In Chinese mythology, and this is where the, the, the name comes from, the male phoenix is called Feng, while the female is called Hang, right? And however, along with uh, the time, the gender difference is no longer emphasized, and they basically use Feng Hang to describe the female entity of this incredible phoenix. You know, again, talking to fertility, talking to harmony, to peace, prosperity, and a new dawn, essentially, is, wow. is what this talks to. And if I just go to the next bit as well, Ross, if that's okay. Um, traditionally, the Feng Hang is believed to appear when the legendary Yellow Emperor, who reigned over China during the times of the Zhu Dynasty, found political prosperity and harmony. This is why the Chinese Phoenix is to believe to symbolize virtue, harmony, ritual, compassion, trust, and especially peace. According to a 4th century BCE Chinese literature um, called Classics of the Mountains and Seas, and this is why you often see the mountains and the seas yeah. in the classic depiction, the head of the Fang Hang represents virtue. The wing symbolizes duty. The back symbolizes prosperity. The abdomen stands for credibility, and the chest represents mercy. That's why you want the full bird in all its glory. And you can see it there, just sitting on this piece atop the bridge in the foreground. I mean, that, just those, those. I can see the branches words, on the tree. Virtue, harmony, compassion, trust, peace. Mercy. You know, propriety, credibility, mercy. Yeah. I mean, ultimately, I mean, they are, they are aspirations that we should aspire to live by, surely. Yeah, I, I, can I just say as well, what we're seeing on the screen right now, it's, I cannot believe, what is the actual carat weight of this, Ross? 95. Right. Have you ever seen more beauty? No. In a 95 carat stone? We talk about it's facets. It's a work of art. We talk about re return of light. We talk about yeah. luster. I see branches. I see leaves. I see the ripples on a river. I see a bridge. I see depth. Like Three depth dimensional. of field. Yeah. I see a temple. And you see the mountains in and the, the new dawn with the, the sun or the moon in the, the very most background. I've never seen so much depth in a piece. No. This that. is genuine. I think the term masterpiece is thrown around so much. I throw it around so much. Mm. But this is it. If there's ever been a masterpiece on your screens in 18 years, it's here right now. Um, this is actually one of the largest quantities that you've managed to secure. Right. So I'm just going to let you know now, I'm going to do a crazy deal. Now, you've seen these crazy deals all, all morning, so you know that's, that's the kind of mood we're in. You know, that's what we're about. We're not just saying it, we're doing it. And I think this is the piece, Ross, and I'm glad we've got a big quantity, but the, just so you know, the reason I'm doing this and the reason I'm telling Ross now is because I don't have an earpiece, so he can't communicate with me. But I'm telling you now, Ross, the only reason I'm doing this is because when we see something like this, I think we're all of the agreement that everyone should be able to own this, yeah, right? I mean, everyone should be able to own this. Usually, you're priced out yeah. material like this. Yeah. Absolutely priced out. And in fact, um, Adam, there's a clip of film on, on your server, right? I don't know how you find stuff on there, but it'll have dealer or JCK prices in there. And it's like subtitled and we don't need to play it, but you can play it without sound or whatever if you want or find it. And I remember seeing, this was like seven weeks ago, I remember seeing these masterpieces, these incredible carvings. Prices were like 70,000 pounds or dollars, US dollars. And I was remember thinking, well, look at that detail, look at the artistry. Then we took receipt of this material. I'd only ever seen like uh, WhatsApp pictures of it. When you hold it, when you see it, mm. it is 
genuinely the most impressive piece of art I've ever you know, been near, been around. Yeah. To be in a gallery. So everyone's going to be able to own this. Well, those of you that are fast enough. What is the actual quantity, sorry, Ross? 139. Okay, nowhere near enough. Especially with the price I'm going to do. What, what have you got in your mind? Something wild. Mm. In fact, let's bring in the graphics right now. Let's bring in the graphics right now. You said it, it is three-dimensional, which is amazing to create that depth. depth. Yeah, it is depth. I mean, you've got foregrounds. You've got distance. Yeah. You've got like, the, the way we're perceiving all of this. Yeah, it's... I don't even know how you even begin to do it. This is like an apprenticeship that has been passed down through generations, like thousands of years, all done in a really incredible, impressive manner. And we're talking about one of the hardest gemstones out there. And even down to the, you know, the layers within the branch. Yeah, and you can see in the bottom right portion of this, I know we're in the dark when you've got the light through it, but you can see this purple kind of pattern. Yeah. You know, when we had these certified, you got, you know, the, the, the colours is aqua and lavender. Certified aqua yeah, lavender. Yeah, yeah. And, and, you know, usually, uh, it's the first time I've actually seen that, where they actually refer to it as aqua. That's not just the, the, the thank you. Yeah, here are the carvings that I was talking about. Wow. Oh, thank you, Adam. Look, you see how intricate they are, beautiful they are. And, and the gentleman's saying, look, we sold these 40 years ago, my mom did, for five grand. And I'm buying them back today for $70,000. And he says, to even get material like this, it sounds terrible, but you know, unfortunately someone has to pass away, then we get involved and we do this. Mm -hmm. We sold them 30, 40 years ago. And, and the, the, the children come through and they say, can you do something with this? And that's the key, the value of today. Yeah. And I said, how much has the value changed for that material? And you see it right now. Five wow. grand back in the day, it's fifty to $70,000 today. And um, I'm going to, thank you, Adam. And can we show the certificate now? Aqua and lavender. Aqua is a term that is used for the finest jadeite available. It's not just talking to the colour, it's talking to the ground, which is the crystal of the material, so they refer to it as the ground, right? The consistency, the translucency. It's like water. That's what they mean when they say aqua, and then lavender. And you can see this beautiful myriad of colours here. Not one inclusion, not one stress fracture, not cracked. It's pure and impressive. Okay, let's do a crazy deal. I'll take a minute clock, please, guys. 130 of these, and every one of you it's is amazing. Is be All able to beautifully hand carved. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm literally, I'm almost speechless with this one. I just, just because you can literally see, it's almost like looking through a window to the landscape of yeah, ancient yeah. China. You it's can like a see frozen it in time, isn't it? You can, you can. It's absolute the detail. Look at the detail of those brands. You've got half a minute, guys. Half a minute to get involved. Look, and there's that wonderful wet luster that we were referring to, or Dave told you about. That is the finest quality of jadeite that produces that wonderful, almost liquid-like, like ice melting, um, and it's totally natural. There has never been a window of opportunity quite like today. Uh, so these pieces are absolutely mind-blowing. And of course, I think many of us, certainly some familiar names, collectors who've got involved previously and are getting involved today, who aren't going to let these moments slip through our fingers again. Um, because I I've never seen anything quite, uh, quite like this before. The intricacy. Ross, for... The, for I think the one we all fell in love with when we was looking at the show this morning, the one that we, I mean, instinctively, the, when you see something like this, we all collectively think, L, Ross, mm. that's the one you, we can't afford. You look at the showcase, you go, that's the one I can't afford. You can appreciate it. Yep. Okay, match the price of the previous piece, mate. For the one that none of us dreamed. Even though this ever, is the yeah, aqua. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, the aqua, the lavender. Certified. certified, yeah. Certified by a lab in Hong Kong, not like the GIA. I'm talking people who only certify JDI. By the way, I'm not done. Give me a minute clock, please. This is how wild it is today. This, you said we had 130. This is the one that all of us thought we couldn't afford. And I'm yeah. not talking about you guys. You looked at it. You, we've all fallen in love with it. You know, the story of the Feng Hang, the, 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 the Phoenix. I'm talking about Ross 
Adam, uh, myself, <laughs> yeah. the team. When we looked at this today, we were like, this is something impressive about this piece. One, really the transparency. Is. Two, the depth, the scenery. I mean, like I said, just to paint that, you're an artist. To sketch to it. To carve it, yeah. To sketch it. But to be able to actually hand carve it into type A natural uh, jade eye and be able to create the uh, create those areas of it's almost haunting Dave. Yeah, no, it is. It's 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 like a moment in time. You know, this this time, this image has been depicted for four centuries. Mm -hmm. Look at the interest. Four centuries. I, I'm and there is the image essentially there on the right. Again, a, a historical um, image. The Phoenix. 99, 99. Double figures on the piece that I think all of us thought today, not a chance. Aqualabula. You're gonna get it. There's 130, while stock lasts get involved. If you, I'm not capping it either. If you want to buy three, four, 10, I don't care. Get as many as you can. Wow, I mean, what an opportunity for you to literally, well, we saw it, didn't we, with the Buddhas back in, in Tucson. Yes. Literally buying carvings like this, mm -hmm. Frame it in 18 karat gold. Yes. Sell it on at a significant profit. 100%. You know? Wow. And, and you know, if this, I showed that depiction from Christie's, Mystic. that historical yeah. depiction of this, um, which was like an old, incredible, colourful painting. And, you know, here you've got it done on the most expensive canvas in the world. Exactly. It's type A, aqua, lavender, jadeite. Gloria just carats. tuned in. OMG, that's mystical, Dave. I think Love that's a it. great word for it. You know, it is mystical. mystical. 55 seconds ago, six minutes ago, the layers in that carving, unbelievable. Think of beautiful, beautiful and good feelings. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and, and that's what really resonated with me, obviously the beauty, but also what it means. Yes. You know, exactly what it means. Uh, Bristol saying a big thank you for making it possible to buy. Uh, felt quite emotional. Yeah. Because. Okay, you do you know what? For messages like that, for so many people tuning in, Many of you weren't looking to get involved today. Maybe you thought you wouldn't be able to get involved. This is, we talk about this window of opportunity, a window that is going to close. Mm. Can I have another minute clock? <gasps> Let's do something. We don't, we don't, you know, the best will in the world, we like mm. to plan showcases. We think about the, the, the kind of correct Never prices. stick to the plan. But, you know, you guys are, are here and you fall in love with it and we want to, if we can, do something really quite special today. This is you know, the last time I think we're going to see new jadeite coming through. The first time we've seen carvings of such importance, of such cultural significance. We're already at double figures. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah, we are. I'm going down in a big... And again, I put myself in a corner here because I said, oh, I don't just take five pounds off. No, you never do that. So we're going to do something that I don't think any of you assumed that we could do. It's that, it's, it's that piece, that work of art that... It, I don't know, it's, it's kind of rendered me a little bit speechless. Like I, you said, it's mystical, it. it's beautiful, but also what it means, you know, um, about living uh, living our lives, I suppose, um, and being good people. It's that, it's all of those things. Sorry, guys, 79.99. 79.99. You've just taken it to 20 yeah. pounds on split pay. Yes, I have. And I want you to own it. I want you to get... If you think this looks beautiful here when Elle's holding it or we've put the torch on the phone light behind mm. it, you can see really <gasps> closely. Eh? Yeah, the ripples on the water at the base. Look. So like you said earlier on, you, you see different areas, don't yeah. you? And the aqua jadeite. Just genuinely, we've never even done aqua grey jadeite. Never. You know, not even next door. If we had a six carat of aqua jadeite, it would be more than the price on your screen. Just a of cabochon. Course. And this is... Forget the carrot. The carrot's unimportant. 95 carats, yeah, it's big. But it's how special It's the artistry, is. isn't it? As yeah, much, artistry is as, as important as the gems. Yeah, and all, all, all our time here, we haven't seen a cert certificate come back from the lab like this. Aqua and lavender. Wow. Which is clearly demonstrated here, even in the studio, and we switch down the lights and we put the phone torch through it. You yeah. can see that lavender portion. And of course, they will all differ. Some of them will have the lavender in different areas. Yeah. But the rough... The material that they acquired would have all possessed these colours. There is a bit of a queue on the phone lines. Please do bear with our wonderful call centre. There are also other uh, uh, other directions that you can secure yours. That's via the web or the app. Yes. Whilst we had the largest quantity, the demand for this one is absolutely huge. And you can totally see why. 
Look, it, it's absolutely incredible. The moon, literally, you can the, see I mean, it, can't you, Sometimes rising. you forget to even look at uh, all of it, you know, because the window. Uh, yeah, a moment ago, I was just looking at that temple and then you mentioned the moon. I was like, oh, yeah, I forgot. There's, there's mountains in the background. Yeah. Look at the detail of the window. Yeah. That's incredible. And honestly, I can't get my head round. I mean, we've got a maker in Renfrewshire who's bought five, another collector who's bought three, another collector who's bought two, Jane's bought two, Angela's bought three, Suja's bought two. Suja's the lady that messaged me saying, look, she's been to Burma, she's been to Myanmar. Yep. And she spent fortunes on Jada out there. Yep. And here you are, from the comfort of your own home, being able to get is, you know, the material that's as good as it gets. And that's not me saying that. I'm not a jade expert. That's a lab saying that, a jadeite lab saying, this is aqua, lavender, natural jadeite. And the artistry, the, the actual masterpiece, you can clearly see for yourself. Out of 139, for Dave, look at the quantity. that, that, that 27 remaining. We had 20 what, pounds on Angela's now got four. Congratulations. Stephen's got two. Patricia's got two. Look, yeah, there's the lavender in that bottom right pocket, that bottom right portion. Uh, just amazing. Just the four carat cabochon. How do you, how do you of, even of lavender get... lavender would be special. How do you carve a genuine gemstone and, and, and create those areas of light? Yeah. Almost like the water is reflecting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, almost like you can see the moon shining in the sky. I mean, like I said, this is like an apprenticeship, essentially, that has been passed down for thousands of years. Amazing. Thousands of years. You know, these are the same families that were carving for the different dynasties. You know, it is an art form that is passed down. It's a very specialist, you know, area. And you own it today. If you're lucky enough to have got in nice and early, if you're lucky enough to major, make the major confirmations, you are the custodian. What a piece. Yeah, really, really quite special. Oh, my word. And it should just be a one of a kind. You know, that alone mm -hmm. in an auction house where they're, they're talking about it. And there's like 130 people, instead of on the phone lines trying to get that, you know, just trying to get one piece, outbidding each other with paddles, yeah. you know, outdoing each other. People on phone lines from Geneva or wherever. That's what this commands. Wow. I think it's sold out. I think, uh, well, I've got a plasma TV here full of names. Yeah. It goes down and down. I'm sure it has. Yeah, I don't have an earpiece, but if you're even on the phone lines, just speak to someone, see if you can get it. Yeah. It's a very, very special piece indeed. It's a good look. Okay. Um, the angel, your angel of mercy? Yeah, Guan Yin. Oh my this God. is- She's, she's well, absolutely stunning. It's, it's impressive because this is, again, one of those carvings, which is out of this world. And I saw one actually go to Christie's um, here it is. Five minutes with a finely carved white jade figure of Guan Yin. Okay? This is how this material should be, you know, offered. You know, literally, that's the only one piece they're talking about in this auction. It's one of a kind. And you've got a, a, an expert there just talking about this one piece of treasure. And ours here, very, very similar, in, both in terms of size and, of course, in terms of, you know, that white, beautiful colour and the translucency. It is incredible. Look. Look at this when you get the light behind it as well. Oh, wow. And again, you're talking about that really incredible polish on it. How many of these do we have, Ross? 97. Wow. It's amazing. Um, can I ask Even something quite random, actually? Is that all right? Because I'm looking over at L right now, and it's obviously really dark. Can you keep the lights down and just bring a full vision? Just Will you be able to see the glow? This is mad. Look at that. You can see the size of it. You can see the glow of it, the way it lights up. That is jadeite. Yeah. Material, yeah, OK, you might have seen a lot of it over the last 18 months. Thank you, Adam. Cheers, guys. Um, but this is just sensational. And again, when it's gone through the certification where they look into it very, very detailed, you've got the aqua and lavender. Wow. Colors. It is I get type certified. A. It, is it is special. Each piece will be unique. Each piece will look different. The reason that we were looking at this here is because with the more light, the more transparent it becomes. It just, you know, it's almost absent of color because it is just the light is transmitting through it.
And and, and that like detail, that. we show the light behind uh, again, show the details. Show well, the more than anything, to show the translucency. Yeah, yeah. it does obviously pick up, like you said, the different but if depths. You, to it. And, and that's how it looks in standard daylight on the right. You can see mm -hmm. the greens and the lavenders, the aqua tones in it. Mm -hmm. But if you looked at that photograph you just showed earlier on. Yes, for Christie's. Yeah. yeah. It's the detail. I don't think the detail is as refined as what I'm holding right now. No, it has the histor historical significance as of well, course. but it, it is um, really, really special. Yeah, the, the piece at Christie's, the thank you guys. You're right. It is still beautiful, though. And I, I don't have the clicker's not working, Ross. But this article is just talking to this. Look, the, the, wow. the lady that, that you just saw there is oh, Kate gosh, Hunt, is, yeah, who is a Chinese ceramics and works of art specialist. Okay, when you get a carved jade eye, you know, instead of having a jade eye expert, they brought in a works of art specialist. She's not even a jade eye expert. What? She's a, an expert in Chinese ceramics. Wow. And probably the most key part of her role is, you know, the, the works of art specialist. That's what this is. And she's explaining why this delicate, rare, white jade figure of Guan Yin is an exciting prospect for collectors. There's only one. Now, for many thousands of years, jade has been more highly prized in China than silver and gold. In ancient Chinese culture, jade was associated with status and wealth. And according to Kate Hunt, who's the director of Chinese ceramics and works of art in London, it has been a scholarly metaphor for the kind of person you are. Mm. Jade signifies that you are a gentleman, steadfast, and most importantly, that you uphold certain moral values, explains Hunt. So it's also an auspicious stone associated with immortality and longevity. And this is the key here, because we were talking about the previous piece as well, how difficult it is. Jade is an extremely hard and near impossible to carve. This is not easy, it's not why we do, it's why we don't do it in Jaipur. Yeah. You know, these, like not I said, it's an apprenticeship that is, thousands of years. Instead, as the specialist explains, and I'm not a jadeite specialist, and I'm even less versed in, in the realms of carving because we see it so little. You must abrade it. This involves wearing away the stone with an abrasive substance, normally sand and water, or various drilling tools. This is why they take days to produce these pieces. Mm -hmm. Okay, because it's not as easy as carving an amethyst. No, of course. Or, or you know, an agate. This is jade, you know. Not only is it so valuable, it's very durable and very hard. And this is why when we reached out to this team, they said, we usually just do one of a kind. That's why they said, we can't, they're, they're all going to look minutely different. You can't machine carve this material. No. You know, you can do with other gemstones. It's, it's openly known. In Jaipur, we can mass produce carvings mm -hmm. and they're identical. But not with this. You know, this isn't tiger's eye. Yeah. This is the most revered gemstone of all time. And if, if we just go through this, sorry, Ross. Um, they say, just that one piece we saw, it would have taken months and months to abrade the relief and detailed drapery of this tiny white jade figure. Months and months, not a month, months and months. Months and months. And this is why this window of opportunity, this week-long event, and I say it's a week-long event, which sounds like, hey, we're bringing it every day for a week. No, it's just in this week, you're going to see pieces. It's been Monday, today's Wednesday, and I think we have uh, another incredible show, uh, Friday. And then, uh, you know, Kate Hunt says, it demands huge respect for the highly skilled artisan, craftsman, who would have made it. That's a piece in Christie's, okay? Just because this is on your TV here, on Jewelry Maker, and we're a TV studio, and it's glitz and glam and whatever it is, it's a bit pantomime, it's gimmicky, mm -hmm. it's fun. <laughs> you know, the, the, the material remains. It's still yeah, that the, same. The, it is still down to the fact that this has gone through that same process. The same process. And uh, on the last paragraph here, they say, this important collection of jade, because they've got a few pieces in this auction coming up at Christie's, comprising jewellery, pendants, plaques, deities, and animal carvings, was largely assembled between 1970 and 1990 by a renowned Taiwanese scholar and collector of Chinese jade. His son has further expanded the collection. This piece was acquired by the father prior to 1990, and he's absolutely fresh to the market, says Hunt. Its delicacy, delicacy, size, and unusual subject matter make it a very exciting prospect for collectors of Chinese jade. Wow. Okay. This is absolutely fresh to the market. First time you've ever seen this, this carving of Guan Yin. 
Okay, and the way pieces like this come to the market, we heard it in JCK, you know, someone passes away and their children bring it to the mm. market. This has been brought to the market by um, an incredible Taiwanese scholar and collector of Chinese jade that he acquired sometime between 1970 and 1990, and his son is bringing it to the market, who has expanded the collection and curation of these masterpieces. Just because we're going to do a fantastic deal today, just because of our connections, don't forget what you're going to have in your possession. Absolutely. Absolutely. I it, let's bring in it, the graphics. It, it truly is. Each and every single opportunity of jade, yeah. Dave, that you bring to us truly are... Well, this is the... The gold standard, though. Yeah. Look, it's, we, weren't, we were starved of jade. We did, in fact, we wasn't starved of it because that, that kind of insinuates we've had it before. We, did, we just didn't have jade. Didn't have access to jade. There's facial features on this piece. I know. Facial features. It, it, the detail on um, it. Is face. there another um, part of this article, um, Ross? Thank you. So it just talks about Guan Yin here, for those of you who don't know. A popular figure in Chinese art, Guan Yin is most commonly depicted holding a flask or an alms bowl. Um, in the present figure, however, she is elegantly seated on a spinach green jade double lotus stand, draped in long robes, clasping a sphere. That's exactly what you've got here, yep. minus the spinach green jade. She sat down and she's clasping a sphere, which probably represents the pearl of light, which wow. we, we, we talked about earlier, you know, this pearl of light. And the, the, the sphere evokes a well-known story in the 16th century Chinese novel, complete tale of, I can't even pronounce that, and the Southern Seas. Mm -hmm. In the story, the Dragon King, and this is a persistent kind of moment of mythology, yeah. okay, gives Guan Yin a pearl of light in gratitude for saving his son's life. This precious night shining pearl, which constantly emits light, enables Guan Yin to read the Buddhist scriptures by night. Wow. So that Dragon King that we talked about earlier, is who had the, 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 the pearl of wisdom, you know, which goes back Maybe a thousand years, maybe centuries and centuries and centuries. There is another story in the 16th century that Dragon King has a family and Guan Yin saves his son's life. And in return, he gifts her the Pearl of Light. I mean, these are these enduring legacies, these stories, these moments. Literally thousands of years. Thousands of years. Thousands of years. And here she is, and she's not holding the arms bowl like you've seen before on mm -hmm. the channel or the flask, like you've seen uh, before on the channel. We wanted to bring you this because of the, the, the earlier incredible piece yeah, and our experience pearl. with the, 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 the boy and the pearl. Wow. It became the dragon. That did sell out. Oh, of course, that sold out, of course. And this is 75 carats. This is one time I'm ever going to do a show and say, I don't care about carat weight today. Mm. It's not about carat weight. I showed you a moment ago, um, L in essentially pitch black, yep. right? And this material lit up and you saw the sheer size of it, the sheer size of it. And they, they call this the precious night shining pearl that she is holding. And essentially that is the kind of depiction I get from this big wide image here, this, this, this shot of L in pitch darkness. And look at that. Amazing. Unrivaled brilliance, illuminating. How many do we have, Ross? There were 97. All right, let's do a minute clock. There's no point pretending we've got a plan. It's going, this is going to go mad. I think we've established we don't have a plan. Or we everything. don't have a plan. Well, we do have a we plan. Do you know what our plan is? stick to it. Do you know what our plan is? Our plan is just to put these pieces in your collections. That's our plan. At whatever cost or whatever it is, we're going to make sure you get it today. Wow. At 42 seconds. The meaning behind Guan Lin as yeah, well, Guan you know, Lin, like yeah. I said too, and the fact that I, I never realised that she was actually holding different art, uh, items um, within her hands. I love the connection of that night shining pearl. We heard about the story with the boy and the pearl a few moments ago, that connection, even thousands of years apart um, in terms of their story, you see that wonderful, wonderful connection. You see that lovely translucency that is the pinnacle of quality when it comes to your jadeite and each of these once again hand carved to perfection you can see the detailing within you know the curve of her nose you know the eyelids it's pe she is peaceful is the clock done yes okay one price no like stopping off or whatever no this is where we should be i'm just gonna give you this is it 
Forty nine ninety nine. I knew you. Forty nine ninety nine. Look, this is just one of those showcases where we have so many of you collectors. And the, and you are we are not going. I mean, what is that? Fifty pounds. You said forty. Yeah, sorry, Ross. Forty nine ninety nine. Angela, Irene, Stephen, East Lothian, Vivian, Suja, Pauline, Frida, Capitu, Mariella, Zoe, Suzanne, East Lothian, Jean. Middlesex, Highlands, County Durham, Cornwall, Cardiff, East Lothian. C good luck, congratulations, multi-buy, £12.49 on split pay. <laughs> 75 carats, glowing, Guan Yin carving, of which when Christie's talk about it so eloquently, so detailed, talking about how these sculptures, these Man. masters of art, these, these pieces of art, take months and months and months to be able to produce. And, and, and today we bring you pieces that have taken quite literally days, and this, in, in, in incredible symbolism here of her holding the pearl of light or the pearl of wisdom. Um, keep dialing through, stay where you are. Okay. We've just, it's that busy, I'll tell you how we've busy actually it is. crashed the system. Yeah. I'm not surprised, I'll tell you how crazy it is. Uh, Jane's got two, Frida's got two, Suja's got two, Zoe's got three. <laughs> I, I mean, why would you even just get one of these? <gasps> when you know Look we're not- Look at her hair. Yeah, her hair. Look at her hair. Can you see? But we've talked about, you know, this week is all about these impressive carvings. It's not just about the opportunity to own jadeite. We've presented you with the opportunity to acquire jadeite. This is something that, you know, is truly the, the, Amazing. the acquisition of your lifetime. This is the it it, totally Chinese is. culture. It's like they want to own their jade bangles and things, but it's all about, you talk about the Taiwanese scholar. Mm. Who, whose collection is going to Christie's, talking about how between 1970 and 1990 was acquiring pieces at a time. Yeah. You know, this is it. Look, collector from the city of Bristol, uh, six minutes ago, I think, all says, all these artists put their love of jade into their carvings, so each one is unique. And we are so lucky to have this event. Well, yeah. I really appreciate that. You know, I knew that you guys would, would love this event. Yeah, you'd be huge yeah, fans definitely. of this event. Um, I'm, I'm sad I'm not here on Friday. I'm, I'm sad you're not here. You won't be able to join us on Friday. But, you know. I can shop there. Oh, well, there you go then. You'll, you'll be on the phone lines. Um, is Su name. Susie's here on Friday, isn't she? Yeah. Susie uh, will be here on Friday. I know you're tuning in right now, Susie. Can't wait to show you what we have uh, in store for Friday's uh, final showcase of this event. The window will close, inevitably. 40, I can't believe you took it to 49 .99. I know. I know. Did you have a moment there, Dave? Yeah, I've had Second. a I mean, the whole, this whole show has been many a moment, moments. hasn't it? This whole show <laughs> has just been one moment. One silly oh, moment. Moment, moment, um, moment. Hand carved, type A certified. The delicacy, the, 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 the detail, I just can't believe. I couldn't even I know, Don't get complacent that. about it. Don't get no. complacent about what we're witnessing here. No. You know, each of these carvings, they're the same level of care and attention put into it. Um, hi, uh, Zoe. Zoe, uh, you got okay. a couple of these, I think. Okay, I really do have to stop shopping now. Thanks, Dave and Jam, for your wonderful generosity with these deals. Zoe, thank you uh, for taking the time to message in. Thank you for joining us uh, this morning. Uh, thank you for allowing us just to get to oh. show you these pieces. Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. What opportunities. And I know every time that we are on together, Dave, we have the same conversation. And I always say, look, I don't feel, you know, I don't just purchase these opportunities because I love them. I purchase them because I know yep. that my children, Absolutely. their children, their children's children, they won't get opportunities to purchase nope. this. No. Now you have, there are three more opportunities. There are three beautiful, incredible opportunities uh, that, that are coming your way right now. Uh, this is, okay, the, you know the piece that sold out earlier? Mind the Phoenix, blowing. The Feng Huang. This is the, the same unbelievable Carbons. The moon, yeah, the mountain the mountains, range, the bridge, the water. Oh my goodness and me! The phoenix in the foreground. Now the last opportunity um, with uh, um, yeah, your angel of mercy. There are literally five. Okay, good luck. Five on that left. One. Good luck on that one with Guan Yin, that that wonderful carving. Oh Whoa, my! my God. This is much more limited. Oh, my goodness me. This right now, I, if I was walking past the TV and just saw this, there's no way I'd even assume that was Jade. No. I just think that was a picture, like a full screen picture. How would you get that much detailing in this, this kind of valley? The sun or the moon in the top right, the, 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 
the sheer mountaintops, the, the wonderful detailing of the tree, the river, the temple, the, the tree just in the, the, the background there on the right. And then there she is, the Feng Hang, right at the front, at the bottom left kind of corner. Oh, yes. And there's the bridge. Can you see the bridge on the right with the river? Unbelievable. Do, are you sure we... Oh, we brought the graphics in now. I was going to say, you sure want to do this right now? Because what did we do on the previous piece? Um, you took it to a ridiculous £79. Pounds. Oh, my God. How, how I tell, uh, let's momentarily take the graphics out. Yes. Let's do it. It's more limited. I know. Let's do it. You know what? How many people missed out on the previous one, Ross? Um, like hundreds okay. of people. Let's do a minute clock. So if people missed out on the previous, same story. Yeah. Amazing yeah, I mean, story. And we're going it to talk to you about that. marginally bigger. This is five carats bigger. Yes. It's five carats bigger. We've messed up here. Yeah. It's much more limited as well, of course, because of the, 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 the difference in size. You know where we're going, guys. Oh, my goodness me, look at that. Uh, it's absolutely astonishing. Yeah. It almost looks like silk, Dave. No, I know. It's, it's like a tapestry, isn't it? Yeah. Unbelievable. I'm worried now because this is the larger one. Looks like a scene from Lord, yeah. Lord of the Rings, you can actually, that beautiful mountain terrain. Oh God, I have to do this Ross, so sorry mate. We've brought the graphics in. When we say more limited, there are. Uh, mate, just match the price then. Hundreds of people missed out. Yes, it's five carats larger. It's the same incredible depiction, oh, slightly different. Different version. Yeah, different version of that same uh, unbelievable story. Absolutely. We, we're going to match the price, which was what, seventy nine ninety nine. Linda's got two, Cheryl Ann's got two, Valerie, Suzanne, uh, Irene in County Antrim, Elaine in South Yorkshire, Janice in Greater London, Maker in Lancashire. This is very, very limited. It is the larger of the two. We should have brought this before the previous piece. <laughs> yeah. And, and as such, at a, a higher price. You know, to give you some background on this, if you missed the first piece, it absolutely sold out in a heartbeat. In China, the phoenix is also called Feng, Feng Hang. And similar to the Western counterpart, the mythological creature is an immortal bird that also represents the element of fire. The Chinese phoenix is believed to symbolize harmony. And in ancient China, the appearance of the, the phoenix is believed to be a sign when a new emperor is going to rise and lead the country. And that's why you get that new dawn in the background with the oh, sun I love rising. It. I absolutely love that. And, and the name is Chinese mythology. The male phoenix is called the Feng, while the female is called Huang. However, along with time, the gender difference is no longer emphasized. And, and now the collective name Feng Hang is often depicted as a female entity. And we talked about the meaning behind this. If we just go to the next uh, part of this, sorry, Ross. Um, they said, traditionally, the phoenix was believed to appear when the legendary Yellow Emperor, who reigned over China during the times of the Zhu dynasty, found political prosperity and harmony. This is why the Chinese phoenix is believed to symbolize virtue, harmony, ritual, compassion, trust, and especially peace. And according to the 4th century BCE Chinese lit uh, literature called Classics of the Mountains and Seas, the head of the phoenix represents virtue, the wing symbolizes duty, the back symbolizes prosperity, the abdomen stands for credibility, and the chest represents mercy. Okay. All of those virtues, all of those depicted in that bird that sits in the very foreground of this, this image. Unbelievable. Don't miss out on this, guys. We shouldn't be anywhere near 20 this price. Pounds. We shouldn't be anywhere near this price. We've only done this uh, because of, of you know, this, this showcase and we've done it out of order. Um, do mean, a minute clock. Do a minute clock. No, no, no. Yeah, do a minute clock. Let's just go wild. Let's just go wild. It makes zero sense. But when we make a mistake, we honor it. And this should have been the first piece of the show or the first piece of this series, mm. of which there were two depictions. Um, Look at that. So that's... don't ask me to justify this. Don't ask me why. Don't well, ask there's me. no reason. The, I'll give you the, 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 the genuine real reason. We've, we've messed up here. Uh-huh. So there was two depictions. This is the larger of the two, and we brought this later on. 
And so you guys expect a better deal. So I'm just going to deliver you a better deal on something that shouldn't be. You, yeah, but our, we shouldn't expect a better deal, though. That's oh, no, not... no, we shouldn't. But, you know, this is also, it's not just, uh, hey, you know, we bring you carvings. We're not an auction now. It's for a TV show. And we have kind of a way of doing things. We have so, like a format, don't we? You know, that people expect. Yeah. Our collectors that expect. Get used to. Um, familiar with. Yep. It is that pantomime, but can we... we it's Taipei Jadeite, though. Uh, Ross, mate, you know where I've got to go. I know where I've got to go. We all know where I've got to go. No. You know wh where I've got to go, even though we shouldn't. Don't. Just, we, I'm going to call the price then. Can we just, Adam, would it be possible when I call the price, when the price actually comes in, can you put a minute clock, you just get a minute to get this? Because this is sacrilege. I do. 49.99. Sorry, we all knew it. We all knew it was coming. Um, and then when this price comes in, there's your clock. We're going to start the clock. You, that's it now. I'm just going to allow it on the screen for like 55 seconds. Well, it's probably going to sell out before those. Yeah, that's seconds. fine. I'm okay with that. But I just don't want to spend £12 too 15. much time pointing £12 out £15. this monumental mistake. Goodness me, that's unbelievable. Uh, like, please, please, please know. Take this and run. What you are getting here for that... Um, it's a moment of madness, I'm going to say. That is a moment it's of madness. It's just a mistake. And that's what I mean when I say we're not like some... We are professional, but this is not some infomercial that has been filmed months prior. No. Been through, you know, lots of different corporate levels. It's like we're live. We're reactive. Make mistakes. It's cool. <laughs> it's cool. Yeah, well, it is, isn't it? It's just, it is what it is. You know, that, watch it because we're not polished. Because, you know... We're real people that are here right now. We're having a conversation with you. We're bringing you this incredible jade. It's sold what out. you're here for. Of course, it is sold out. Well done. Congratulations. That's perfect timing. Sold out with like a second to spare. Amazing. Yeah. Well done. Congratulations. Amazing. Amazing. Oh, goodness me. Oh, shake that off a minute. That's That stunned me. Yes. Now we are down to the pinnacle. An ultimate. Is the penultimate. Right? Sorry. Yeah. The we've got, oh, yeah. We've got one more. Sorry. We've got one more. So this is... Your penultimate piece. Ruyi, I think, is how you say it. I'm not 100%. It's R-U-Y-E. Now, this... I've never seen this symbol okay, so before. this is an ancient scepter, right? It's like scrolls. And it literally translates as, as you wish. Your it wish? Is, as you wish. Ah. This is, you know, to answer, you know, your, your, your prayers, your wishes. But more than anything, the reason that we selected this piece, which has, again, huge cultural significance and you know auspicious meaning the reason i selected this is because of it's the most gem piece of the yeah. show it's yeah you're going to see it it's transparent wow yeah look at that how many As of these do we wish. have ross there are a hundred available. Okay. Do you want to do the craziest deal of the show? Yes, because I would very much like to buy this. All right. The craziest deal of the show is coming up. Again, we can see the, 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 the incredible polish. We can see the, the incredible um, translucency or transparency, as is the case with this piece. Now, the next two pieces coming up are the smallest carvings of the showcase. Mm -hmm. um, we have the, the peas in the pod, which I know, you know, El, you've worked with yeah. that design in, in, in your own collection, the Willow and Tig collection. But it is also has that historical significance. That will be the last piece. Both these pieces, while smaller, and just in terms of the jadeite, forget the carvings for a second, are the finest grade jadeites of this showcase, of this series. So the most translucency, the most impressive, like, uh, polish on these, you know, the water jade. Yeah, like, totally. Wet, look, like ice jade. And I'm just going to do the wildest deal on these last two. As you wish, that's really resonated. Yeah, that's, with that's me. how it translates. So let's do a minute clock. Um, 45 carats, still huge. It is huge. And this is how kind of spoiled we, said we small. are. Yeah, the smallest pieces of the show. But I mean, <gasps> there's there's no show that we bring you, for instance, next door, where we bring you a 45 carat just flat cabbage, and we don't even do that. Yeah. Um, they are drilled it's on its way to be in, It's on its way to be in a bangle in terms of carrot weight, you know, 45 yeah. carats. Um, and it's just going to be the craziest piece. You know, this is the multi-buy piece of the show. Some of you have been fortunate enough to multi-buy on the other pieces, but this is the one you can multi-buy on. Really? Yeah. 
I mean, this, I'm just thinking about the means behind lots of our wonderful jewellery makers and collectors and connoisseurs. You purchase opportunities like this maybe to pass down to future generations. You know, this is, uh, you can imagine saying it, couldn't you, to, I don't know, your children, your grandchildren, your great grandchildren, as you wish. This is that, this is that symbol. Because ultimately, you want your nearest and dearest, your loved ones, to achieve everything that they wish for. I love that. Absolutely love that. I've never seen the symbol before. Look at that beautiful liquid water content. Sorry, guys. Um, I did say the wildest show, wildest deal of the showcase. I forgot how low we've been on some of the pieces. Twenty nine ninety nine. It's, it's a pound a carrot. Less than. Less than. Well, it's ridiculous. Twenty nine nine nine. I told you this is the one you want to buy. Done in the same carving facility. The, the best teams in the world. These are pieces of art that we're bringing you. Yeah. And, and split pay. I didn't know we £7.50. Sorry, shouted. That's silly, isn't it? £7.50. And at the start of this incredible journey with Jada, you know, oh started my in 2020, goodness. Like March, April 2020, never did we dream that we'd get to this point. You know, no. 45 carats of Taipei top grade Jada in one of the most culturally significant carvings that you can get for 30 pounds. That's the price of like something at Claire's Accessories. It really is. That's just the reality of it. That's the reality, guys. It, yeah, but we need to understand, and I think, I know our viewers do anyway, but that's obviously Next door, not next door, guys, let's just get it real. Next door, we bring you candles for that. Yes. Candles. Yeah, true. So this is madness, what we've achieved right now. Is it type A? Yes. Is it natural? Yes. Is it translucent? Yes. Is it gem? Yes. Does it have meaning? Yeah, massive, massive meaning. It, it, anything and, that's and carved into... And this is the price of a candle next door. A candle that you literally burn. Wow. Now, I don't mean to be disparaging, but no one's out there going, guys, we're running out of candles. No. They? No one's out there going, I don't know if we'll get any more candles, you know. No, that's not happening. No, but let's, let's get real, yeah? Because it's true. you said at the start, you know, that you, when we mentioned the Swiss Blue Topaz, right, when we was at £149 at the beginning of the show, and we said London Blue Topaz, and, and you said, and that's something that you can just order. You, you can. just get it, right? Which is true. You can't order London Blue Topaz at 30 quid. No. Yeah, but you can order candles. You can get how many do you want? Uh, let's do 3,000. Let's, shall we do 3,000? Yeah, let's do 3,000. And that's candle, realistic. Guys. This is not, you know, some bedding. <laughs> this is the, legitimately the most socks. revered yeah, shocks, uh, masks, whatever it is. Yeah. This is legitimately the most revered gemstone in history. On our entire planet. On our planet. It's not just here at Jewel Maker. We're not going, this is our most popular gemstone. I'm talking about the world. The world. This, yeah, this exactly. material has been valued for you know thousands that, of years. Do you know, it, 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 it's so true. You know, that's why we always say, let's not get complacent. Let's not get complacent. What can you buy for £30? Not many people not, would say, saying, oh, high page Yeah, right? and I'm not, well, no one can. No one can, unless you're tuning oh, in the show. But we're not even just out. saying, what can you get elsewhere for £30? I'm saying, what can you get even here? Yeah, true. At £30. That's how good that deal is. Now, our last piece, I'm going to let you know, Alan, you know, we had to put this in the showcase with you. It has, oh, obviously, the, the most incredible uh, meaning, meaning associated with it. You know, not least, you know, family, yeah. fertility, mm -hmm. um, again, prosperity. You know, the peas in the pod. This is ice jadeite. This is ice jadeite. Look at that. You're going to see it. Oh, we've got 300 of these. Really? 300 of these. Who wants, who wants, the, uh, even taking into account what we've just done, just did Taipei Jedi for the price of a candle. Who wants the maddest deal on the final carving of this show? And this is, I'm going to level with you. Get three of these. A pendant and earrings. Create, oh. sweet, do something with it. Because we're going to make it a reality right now. Oh my, I love this piece. Like you said, it just resonates with me straight away. It's really endearing, mm -hmm. you know, because you've got, you've, you've got all that wonderful intricacy and wonderful history behind. I think most of us, when you look at the peas in the pod, it's quite, it's quite, it's, it's sweet. I yeah, think well, the meaning is yeah, sweet. Yeah, I, I agree. You know, the, with that saying is, uh, it, well, here in the UK, is what I'm talking to. It's been around forever, hasn't it? You're like peas in a pod. Yeah. You know, like inseparable. Yeah. Whether it's your best friend, whether it's yeah. your partner, 
whether it's your, your child or your children, yeah. it has that wonderful meaning. And, and again, even in Chinese culture, it has an even deeper meaning. And I love that, you know, a lot of these are quite um, niche, mm -hmm. right? So they have this, they have these stories embedded in Asian culture, and it's amazing to know and understand. Yeah. But this translates beautifully. It, comes it has about, meaning it's, it's here. It's all cultures. It's own yeah. connotation. Yeah. And it has meanings there mm -hmm. in different connotations. You know, whether it is fertility, whether it is family, whether it is friendship, yep. whatever it is, it's here. But more than that, actually more than that, if we're just talking of the raw material here, it is ice jadeite, it really essentially. It is, yeah. And, you know, as you rock that back, as you can see it there in the dark, you can actually see the other, the other tweezer at the back. Oh, yes. That's how translucent it is. And on the underside of the bottom P, if you like, you can look at the underside, that yeah. translucency, mm -hmm. that almost, that's unbelievable. I love yeah. this one. Now we've got, did you say 300? We've got, we've got 300, it's 15 carats, it's giant, it's giant isn't it? It's massive. Yeah. Um, and I said by three, minimum, is what I'm saying. Uh -huh. By three, minimum. We're gonna do a wild deal you for the final carving of this impressive event today. I'm, I'm just thinking, you've gone as low as 29.99. Yeah, no, 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 I'm going below 20. Yeah. Re yeah, I'm really? going below 20. Yeah, I'm just letting you know straight off the bat because 300 is a lot of people, phone calls to answer. If you want to use the app, do that. If you want to use the web, do that. We're going under 20. Susie has got three. I don't blame you. She's what I recommended me. at the very start, Susie. Uh, it's amazing. And I wonder you know, what you would do with these because I know you're an, you're an incredible artist yourself. Vivian, who's got two of these. I do a minute clock. 300 of these are going today. I love this. This makes no sense. Absolutely love them. 55 seconds. You've got 300 calls. You're going to be in a queue unless you're on the front lines early. Well, this is that type A jade eye also that you can wear on a daily, daily basis. You can wear all of your jade eye, but if you are looking for something maybe that's a little bit. I, when I say small, it's not small. It's 15 carats, but that it is that little bit more wearable. Um, maybe just literally put a bale on and, 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 and attach it to your precious metal chain. The meaning behind jadeite. Remember, the gemstone of moral integrity. Um, and then the meaning behind that beautiful pea pod. And then, you know, with jadeite, you know, you might have talked about them. Immortality. Immortality. Longevity. Prosperity. All, all of these, Elaine's got five. Well done, congratulations. You want to see it up to the ear? Sure. It's going to have like a beautiful dramatic drop. Look at that. You did say under 20, didn't you? I did, yeah. 1999. Good luck. 300 of you can, well, actually, 300 is a bit of a falsehood, actually, because so many of you are multi buying. Yeah. It's more like probably a hundred and something opportunities. Well, eight. Some of you have got five. Some of you have got three. Some of you have got two. Four ninety nine on split pay. So actually, if if the if the average is because some of them buying five, some of, a lot of you are buying three, which is what we recommend. Jane's just got six. The average across the board is three multiplies. Yeah, yeah. Then there's actually only a hundred opportunities, which we've seen disappear like that, and nothing's been nineteen pound ninety nine. Or on your split payments. Interest-free pay split payments of four pound ninety-nine. Four ninety-nine. Madness. Can I just going back to our conversation about candles? Put a clock on. I'm not done. No, no. Yeah, yeah. I bought. I bought a little uh, faux hebe bush. Yesterday. Don't know what that is. <laughs> Don't know what that is. Little potted plant. Said it like we all should know what a hebe bush is. <laughs> you don't go one in your house. You got a faux one or a real one. You got a real hebe bush out the front or a faux one. Mine's faux. What is it though? Faux hebe bush. It's a. It's a little. Fake plant, basically, right. in a pot. But does it look like something we would know? Yeah, a bush. Just it okay, like, cool. <laughs> it looks like a bush. Uh, it cost me, each bush cost me more than what's on your screens right now. Ridiculous. Ridi well, not actually ridiculous, it's lovely. I'm sure I'm, no, I don't no, insult it is your ridiculous. interior design. Tom, I'm sure it's Tom said exactly that. That's ridiculous. Yeah. No, no, it's not. It's not at all. I didn't mean that. I mean, look, <laughs> great. Like, even bushes are all... Fantastic. No, well done. it was still more than... What an earth, sorry, I th I've totally thrown you down now. What are we doing, yeah. Dave? That's Und a hebe bush. That's not a... Yes, that is a hebe bush. Yes, there's, a type, there's the flowers of a hebe bush. Fantastic. What are we doing, Dave? Um, 12 99 Let's get these gone. Let's let's reward everyone who's multi-bought. Well, £12.99. <laughs> Ross, Ross, Ross just went very squeaky in my yeah. ear then. I'm sorry, guys. This is what we're doing. And L, I mean... 
How, uh, what did your Hebe Bish cost again? 1999. 1999. Plus postage. Oh, plus postage. Mm. Wow. This is yours for It's today. only plastic. For £3.24. Did that's you get a split pay on your Hebe No. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> Here we go. £3.24 for every single one of you. Chantal, you've got two. Richard's got three. Jacqueline's got two. Linda's got two. Alison's got three. Emma's got three. £3.24. Three. Maker's got two. <gasps> it keeps refreshing. I can't even keep... Jane's got six. <gasps> Elaine's got five. Oh my god. Someone's goodness. just got four. Linda's got five. Lynn's got four. <sighs> Suja's got four. Jean's got four. Dave. Oh my god. I know. I like how amazing is that? How amazing is that? Literally, just put your piece on your, a piece in your pod, spend right. it from red. Take Jane. it to ten pounds. What what are you just get it to ten pounds? £9.99, whatever it is, this is going to be, it's almost like a, a, a giveaway, isn't it? And it's you're going to have the opportunity to earn Taipei Red Jade out in a moment. If you want that look, which is the look, by the way, that is the look. Elle's shaking her head, she's not happy. I said it, £9.99, sorry, guys. Elle's like, what are you doing? What, <laughs> what are, are you doing? doing? She's, she's thinking to herself, if only you were selling the Hebe Bush, <laughs> I could have got 15 <laughs> Oh, Ross has said, though, he's put his foot down, Dave. Oh, okay. He's put his foot yeah, down, saying, I'm possible. limiting it to a minute, though. OK, no problem. He's not limiting the, the multi-buyers. No. So take oh, no, advantage no, no, of that. No. That's what I thought he was going to say. He says he can't take keep advantage. it on screen for longer no, no, than a minute fine. in his that's name. Fine. That's fair. He's ashamed. He's ashamed. Yeah. Frankly ashamed. Just oh, we had those lovely boxes earlier. I can't... I actually... Sorry, Al. That is what you're showcasing there. Mm -hmm. If if that if we just bought that to you and it was a, a necklace mm -hmm. with that at the bottom, because yep. those colours work so well together, and we said this is two and a half thousand pounds. It's Taipei red jadeite with Taipei ice jadeite. The carving alone is a fifteen carat masterpiece yep. done in a carving facility. That justifies it. And okay. here we are going. Do you want that? Do you want the largest carat weight um, piece in this piece? Yeah. Um, okay, we'll throw that in for ten quid if you want. <laughs> Don't give it us all now. Give me £2.49 today and uh, come back every month and deposit that £2.49. It's madness. It is madness. This is what I know. I mean, it like, is total madness. This is why it's so busy. Today. And this is why so many... Like, I get this question all the time. Like, we just ruined Wayne's holiday, haven't we? <laughs> he's, he's out there on a beach, loving. He's got like a pina colada or whatever he's got, so I imagine him. Um, in, in, yeah, uh, either on the beach or by the pool or sat in a bar somewhere. In his budgies. Yeah, in his budgie smugglers. <laughs> and um, he's, he's, he's probably keeping an eye on things. He's got his laptop open on the, the <laughs> hotel Wi-Fi and he's just yeah. in that. And he's just shut his laptop down and he's in a right mood. He's gone off. Probably. He's gone off. He's, he's gone off like, Dad, what's I going just on? He's like, no, I just need some time and some space. And he's probably sunburnt as well, so that hasn't helped anything. <laughs> he's just got a real short fuse right now. <laughs> And we get it. We're sorry, Wayne, but this, you should have been here, mate. Should have been here. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I can literally imagine I can that imagine happening it. there I right can now. Imagine it. Yeah. Literally, like he's a bear with a sore head and all that. Oh, yeah. my goodness me. Wow. Wow. Right. I've you, also got a vision of, what, of Wayne now that I can't quite shake off. No. Um, so have I. <laughs> um, look. Do, do you think, guys, we should do a quick break to let the phone line settle? Because obviously there is. You know, 300 people trying to get through, yeah. trying to get through calls. Don't worry, the Red Jade is still here. It's still going to bring you the most incredible deals. But let's just manage expectations because obviously there's hundreds of people watching, if not thousands. These are so limited. Yeah. Like ridiculously so. Yeah. These are going to be on and gone. This is the rarest and probably the most valuable color of Jade in the world today. In fact, in this clip of film, uh, Adam, uh, in the break. Can we show you know the piece where it had the subtitles and it was in Las Vegas JCK and they were holding the pieces and the gentleman was saying it's 5,700. Let's put this in this break because that's the, the only time I've seen red jade eye like at a this. gem show, this colour. Mm -hmm. And you can see the prices, how it's appreciated and certainly recently exploded in terms of its you know, value. Um, so this is you know, JCK gem show. We found a gentleman who's been in, well, you'll hear it yourself. When we come back, we're going to offer you our limited selection of Taipei red jade eye. The problem is this. Yeah. This is what people want. 
That's very difficult. <laughs> she just can't get that anymore. Yeah. I, I, I think this is far more interesting. I love okay. this. But, 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 but basically, <laughs> that, that material there yeah. is the material, I mean, you have no more of that. Yeah, so basically, only way we get that material is, it sounds terrible, but somebody dies. Yeah, that's you the know? only way you can get hold yeah. of that material somebody now. Somebody dies, and they come in with their parents' jewelry, and a box that we sold to them, like, 30, 40 years ago, and they're like, you do something with this, and we're always like, yeah, of course, we'll buy it from you, for, you know. Value today. Wow. And how much has the value changed for that material? Uh, the value is $5,000 back in the day. Now it's like fifty dollars to $70,000. Really? Yeah. So it's gone from $5,000 really to $70,000. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. It's that's incredible. You know? But that's literally the only way we're getting that. Wow. You, uh, and, and you guys have been in the industry for what? Half 50, a century? 55 years, yeah. So you know, it's. Uh, Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. to know what's going on in the next show then head over to our website click on the TV guide this will tell you who's presenting which guest we have joining us along with what's going on in each hour if you ever miss a show you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show you can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy catch up on jewelry maker Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. This next opportunity, this next color is uber limited. And really that is the case anywhere that you look around the world. You've just seen there at the JCK, those beautiful carvings in the wonderful, warm, almost russet red colors of natural jadeite. Arguably the rarest color of all. When I saw this opportunity a few months back, the decision was made then and there, I need to own this. I've bought mine. I bought it when it was first launched. And it is, I've never seen, I never even imagined that, that depth and that consistency of warm colour was even available. Was um, Susie, who's watching right now, and I don't want to get this wrong, but I do remember it vividly. Um, who you know has um, you know is mm. part Chinese. Yeah. Her mother used to go back. Mm -hmm. I think it was to Malaysia. I'm not 100% mm -hmm. sure. You know, every now and again, uh, her late mother, and you know, acquire jadeite and and so forth. And even Susie. And what what was a real uh, source of 
pride and privilege for not just me, but for the team here and for our relationships was knowing how rare this is, but for Susie to say she's never even seen yeah. Taipei Red Jadeite. You know, that's someone who's grown up with, with Jadeite in the family. You know, yeah. Legacy pieces, that, um, an incredible Jadeite bangle that Susie told me about that her mother once owned and is now Susie's daughters. You know, mm -hmm. th this is the legacy of Jadeite. And even with all of that and access to Jadeite like we don't have, by going back to, to the Far East, never even seeing Red Jadeite. Now, I'm, I'm just going to let you know how this showcase is going to go. Um, when we launched this, and it was an incredible, mm. incredible launch, you know, hundreds of some of these pieces. And we, now, they've got three strands for you, and I'll level with you. One of them's got nine left. The, both of the others have got less than 50. Out of hundreds that we brought you, that's all we have remaining. And the, the first auction in particular, Ross, I'm going to let you know something, again, that we haven't planned. The, the, the phone lines are going to be extremely busy. There's only less than 50. A lot of the people calling are going to be calling to get a price pledge. I'm going to go lower than the launch on this piece. Really? Yep. Just to give you some idea, and that's for the largest piece, the largest. There are with 42 left. available. Yeah, yeah. And, and think about the hundreds that are out there. And, and for those of you that will have paid, the only price these have ever been, you're going to get a big, big price pledge. But I want to give you some insight to, into how rare this is, and I'll be as quick as I can if that's all right. Mm -hmm. This is uh, Roland Schlussel and his wife, Nata, who uh, are the owners of Pillar and Stone. Now, over my left shoulder there is an array of wonderful, glittering type A jadeite. Um, the book there, The In Color Magazine, is an article that he wrote. He wrote that magazine. He's the guy that's literally wrote the, 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 the knowledge on jade. And if we go through this, Ross, we'll flick through it. This is his creditations. That's fine. We'll go to Nata's creditations as well. Both of them extremely well versed and have 35 years you know, experience with fine jewelry, and particularly jade art. And as we go through it, um, this is what they said to me. They said the price of Taipei jade art right now it's on an all time high. Okay, particularly difficult for us is the sourcing of this skin. Okay, this is the fancy colours that you can't stock well. They're not coming out in the current market. And again, as we flick through this, they say these colours in particular have turned the industry on its head. The demand and supply is a real issue, and as such, we are seeing some of the highest prices for this material. And still dealers that have it are reluctant to sell because it's simply irreplaceable. Mm. We are finding it easy to provide imperial green to our clients and at a more affordable price for the first time. And we heard that just recently, in the, in the break that you just saw the clip of film, you heard from the gentleman at JCK who had some yep. of the red material. And he's like, look, the only way I can get this, I've been in the industry 55 years, my family have been in it, the only way we can get this is if, unfortunately, someone passed away and they bring this red material to us. And my mum might have sold it to them 40 years ago for five grand. But today I'm buying it back. He's not just saying, yeah, I think it'll appraise for this much or put it in an auction for this much. He's not, it's an easy thing to do. He's buying it back. Yeah. $70,000 for this colour. Thank you, Adam. And as we go through this uh, presentation, as we were, um, this clearly indicates, you know, why it's so difficult to find the colours. Just very briefly... So jadeite forms in boulders, and everything, the flesh of the boulder is always green. Mm -hmm. It's always green. You can see it on the left there, a cross-section of a real jade boulder. You've got patches of imperial, you've got moss and snow, you've got like kingfisher green, and then the crust or the skin is the only place colour can live, because that's where it oxidises. And on that particular piece, the real piece on the left, there's no colour. Mm -hmm. To find the red is extraordinarily rare. And as we go through uh, this presentation, sorry guys, this is why it's so valuable in the auction houses. You know, the estimate on that was between 16 and 25. It sold for 18, wow. 18,800. This piece again, 90,000 was the pre sale estimate, sold for 375. These are years like 2011, 2002. Think about how much is appreciated now. Now, yeah. The jade, red jade snuff bottle. <coughs> again, doubled its pre sale estimate, 15 grand at the top end, it sold for 32. And that's not even the kind of red color we have for you today. And as we go through it, you'll see other pieces at the auction houses like this. They call that a red jade -like bangle, right? Mm even though 80% of it is white. Yeah. We know how valuable white is, yet that's not even pure red. It's like a russet, and orange. That's how valuable it is. Now, there was um, an incredible... Uh, you, we, we can skip all these. You can see the colours. Thank you. Sorry, Ross. Just showing you this material. It's at Chow Tai Fu. Now, this was, th these are the last two things I'm going to read to you, and I'm going to give you your money back on this piece. The boulder skin has completely disappeared from the market, as it's the only material that has never been stockpiled. This resulted in the most drastic price jump that the jade market has ever seen. And they said in Tucson earlier this year, we strongly feel it won't be long before the auction record is held by a purple or red jade, which changes everything we've ever understood about jade. Now, Roland Schlussel, 
for the last 10 years been writing a, the book on Jade Act. Mm -hmm. It's actually just come out. Yeah. We've bought it, me and Jake, for, for, for Gemporia, you know, as, as like an asset for of us course. to be able to read. Um, it's, he's written it with 23 other gemologists, 24 in total, 10 years work, all of them Jade Act experts. And this is what he had to say. If you go to, thank you, uh, Ross. This is verbatim what he said to me. For Jade Act, we're now at a point of no return. Today, Taipei is exclusively a top tier investment gem. We have worked with this material for 30 years, and once this is gone, we can't afford to get back in, so we're diversifying into tourmaline and spinel. Taipei Jade is the most expensive gemstone in the world. This is the question I asked him. Is there a jade that stands out in the current market? This is February of this year. He said, as you can see, we have every color and variety, from imperial green to honey jade, but in all my time in the industry, I've maybe seen a handful of full body red jadeites, and I wish I'd bought them. Because the sad truth is, I probably won't ever see another. It was hell to even just get a picture for the book. Wow. You've got a strand here. Full body, Full red bodied. jadeites, Taipei, 100% natural. We're going to bring the graphics right now. There's 42 available. Oh my goodness. This strand, this colour is the unreal. Best, the best, the best. Have you still got the peas in the pod there? I do. I mean, this is for the 300 of you, or however many there was that actually got this. Just, you know... Hang Just on. putting this next to it. Yeah, literally. Uh, There's 42, that's it. There's no more coming your way. This guy can't get a picture of it for his book. We're not going to be able to bring you a strand going mm. forward. 170 carats. The only other Taipei time I've seen red jade is, is, is with you, Dave. Yep. It's this strand. Right, I'm going to let you know, when you bought this in the launch, it was 349. Uh -huh. Let's go to that price right now, and then I'll take a minute clock, and I'll give you an incredible deal. Okay, I shouldn't even be touching this. It's going to sell out, I know. But this showcase has all been about the, the most insane deals today, hasn't it? Yeah, I'm, I'm, so I'm we're going genuinely to Okay, minute clock. Thank you, Adam. Play the minute clock. Even if they're sold out, guys, don't care. Everyone pays the final low deal. And if you got this you know, two months ago, three months ago, whenever it was we launched it, call up and get your price pledge. When we say everyone pays the final low price, we mean it. Whether it's in wow. the auction or whether it's... You know, you, saw, you bought it a year ago. Everyone pays the final low deal. And today is all about incredible deals. The, 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 the whole showcase, the whole event is about this window of opportunity. And this window is closing. It has closed for us as buyers. Yep. We have what we have. We're bringing it to you right now. And I'm going to give, give you the best deal you've ever seen in your lives on 170 carat endless strand of Taipei, full body colored red jet, not patches of red, not like the bangle where it's a little bit of red. I'm talking it's, all yeah, it's, red. It's the, it's the whole thing. There's no reason for us to drop this any lower, Dave. No, no reason at all, but there's been no reason all show. No reason that pee in the event. pod was 10 quid. No, there's no reason right. for that. Right, Ross, take 50 quid off the price and that's it. Not five, not ten. Fifty pounds off the price. Justin, uh, Gloucestershire, Stephen, Richard and County Durham, uh, one of the first people to message the show today, has got two. Virginia in Hampshire, yeah. Richard in Leicestershire, Jane, you've got two. Susie. He said he Susie wants... Susie in Wiltshire. Yeah, who, who, I knew it. Susie We talked him. about it earlier and Susie, I said, uh, told me, you know, look, I've never seen Red Jade. And like I said, that was a huge source of, of pride for us here at Gemporia, hearing that. <laughs> I'm so glad you've managed the to... The only reason it. I own it is because Susie dialed through for me as well. Oh, that's so, what's yeah. right, yeah. The only reason. Um, Richard, you said earlier on in the show, didn't you, um, that you were literally tuning in for your Red Jade. That's right. And you, you've and also you've acquired succeeded. your incredible carvings as well. And I hope you did get the peas in the pod because I think that Al just put that together earlier on. I was like, this is... Hang this on. is the look. And then imagine this. Yeah. Imagine putting your oh six mils God. there to yeah. create that graduation with the little peas in the pod at the bottom. Or maybe stay tuned in the next hour. Mm -hmm. um, 14, 14 left, left out of 42 that we had available. So that's what, like three quarters of the stuff. I mean, we right? had what? Uh, how on earth did we manage to get hold no, of, of the Red Jada? We've, we've you know, sold out many of our incredible offerings. Hundreds of you have got this material. Mm. And today we're bringing you this and just the biggest carrot weight, the biggest rounds, and I'm bringing it to you for 299. 299, 74 pounds uh, and 75 pence on 0% split pay. Literally, there are seven left in the vault. Uh, here's a, uh, 56 of you with it in your basket. Let's put a question out there that I kind of already know the answer Go to. On. Dave, what's the likelihood of you being able to get Taipei no, look, Red Jade? In any, in any uh, way at the minute, because of the Bangkok gem show taking place in September, all the vendors are pulling back and saying, no, 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 we're taking it to the market for the first so time. So what, any colour? Yeah, yeah, any, any variety, any colour Taipei Jade, 
This is why we're doing this window of okay. opportunity showcase. This is why we're trying to find you know, stones that you guys would love as well and are special like the Brancaronics and trying to get something else because there's going to be a huge void left oh my goodness by our me. Jada offerings disappearing. We'll seize that opportunity. The final two, well done. Well done. Congratulations, guys. And to those of you multi-buying, a special congratulations to you guys as well. It's absolutely incredible, one left. isn't it? Good absolutely. Could be you yours. still get that wonderful translucency as well, Oh, God, yeah. But it's all about the colour here. It's all about the colour. It's all the fact that it's type A as well. Amazing. It's sold out. Sold well out. Well done. Well done. Um, two more six strands. Six mils. Yeah, six mils now. Do you um, remember... Do you remember this? Yes, I do. And we put all three of the, the, the strands together. Um, again, way below 50 in terms of the quantity on this six mil strand. We're just going to give you one wild deal on this. And again, I wish you the best of luck. Look at that. We had over that, that 100. That could be on a front cover of a Christie's catalogue. It totally could, couldn't it? Knotted in between, over yeah. the top of yeah. the head. 110 carats. The endless Taipei red jadeite strand. <sighs> It, uh, that is what I visualise at Christie's yeah, and Sotheby's sure, when it comes sure. to this gemstone. I don't know if I've ever seen a strand. No, that's true. I don't think I've ever seen the full unbroken necklace. That's true. You know, we talk about the circle of heaven. This is the circle of rarity. Oh, and you've seen the deals that we're doing today. I'll take a minute clock, please, Adam, if that's okay. Um, and this is, this is your window of opportunity now, this minute, this 60 seconds. Now, we brought the seven mil earlier on, 299 pounds. Amazing. Well done, everybody. Susie's back in. I believe that's sold Jane, out. Jane, you've got two. Lancashire on the front, <laughs> as you've confirmed. There's a whole host of you that are going to have these. Ye May in Greater London, you're joining us as well. This is the six mil strand that we're I almost don't, I, do, I don't want to separate them. No, I know. But, you know, for, for some of you collectors that are fast enough, you won't have to. Here's the rice pizza, though, which is sensational. I d I Which look are the biggest them. stones, the ones there in the centre. Coming up next. 25 seconds. Your window of opportunity Absolutely. is available. 20 seconds right now. You know, double figure quantity. You know, hundreds of these uh, of, of the Red Jada opportunities that we brought to our collectors over the initial launch showcase. I'd go as far as saying this is probably one of my favourite purchases that I've made from Jewelry Maker, the Red Jade. Yeah. I absolutely love it. Um, and with the wonderful, wonderful master oh. carvings that you've had throughout the course. 199, was, 199 pounds is your deal. on the, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and look, you're probably saying, well, what, what, do I have another opportunity after this? You do, you have the rice piece that we just showed you. There's nine of those. Ah. This is how limited these opportunities are, unfortunately. Look at that. It just goes beautifully, doesn't it? Yeah. It just goes so beautifully. The rice beads are coming up, but as Dave just said, single figure quantities left on those. Yeah. I think the seven Richard, will have you know, you out. messaged in earlier, you said you were here for the red jade. Yeah. Sorry to have kept you waiting, but you were in on the finance right now. You've secured this. Linda, you've got to collectors multi buying actually across the UK on this material. Lots of you, be, you know, seeing fit, seeing be able to get involved on these opportunities. This is the only piece with any quantity right now. Mm -hmm. um, and then after this, we bring you the next strand, but there is less than 10, 10 of yeah, them available. Exactly. Uh, I mean, look at that. And it is so, it's such a beautiful intensity of color. Like you said, yeah. it's not little patches of red. You've got in t an entire strand. Yes. Which is just amazing. An endless strand of rarity. I love Suja, that. Suja, Jill, anonymous collectors, Paula, Sharon, Deborah, uh, Irene in County Antrim, Kath in the town and Weir, Richard in County Durham, you're back on the phone lines, Ye May in Greater London trying to get involved. £49.75 on your interest free mm -hmm. split payments. This opportunity won't come again. No, no, it literally won't. Amazing. Well Absolutely right. amazing. There was, well there was less than 10 of these available. Oh, it's incredible. No clock. The rice bead. 90 carats, but f regardless of the carat weights, look at the size of them. They're beautiful. They are huge. They are so huge. So beautiful. Wow. 129. Hang on. No, no. One deal. 129 <laughs> on this. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off and be so aggressive. I, I forgot where I was, didn't I? <laughs> no. Uh, that's really, it cut me so, off all you like if you're going to do one, prices two, nine. like I just wanted this. to let you know because I know you're waiting, I know you're on the phone lines, but remember, there is, there is like less than 10 of these available. And we've seen the other quantities completely disappear. We've seen, you know, these wonderful carvings. 32 pounds. Yes. 
and 25 pence on your interest-free split payments. Oh my goodness me. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm shocked. I'm, I'm shocked, completely shocked. Just have one of those, couldn't you? One on a piece of leather, given the fact that it's a rice but you've got a lovely generous drill hole as well. Um, if you were lucky enough to get hold of the red jade out strands previously with that graduation across the seven and the uh, six mil, that would be beautiful. Maybe there's little accents, little punctuations dotted in between. Oh my word. Oh my word. A hundred and twenty-nine pounds. We had just nine at the beginning of, uh, um, well, the beginning of this opportunity. Um, do make sure you check out Totally Natural Certified, which of course I would highly recommend you get your certificate of authenticity. Um, so you have that document in black and white. You know, it's not, there's not areas, there's not moments of reds. You have that intensity of red across each and every single one of those. Oh, it's, it's a sellout. Well done. Well done, well done, well done. Okay. I do have some little pumpkins. Very limited opportunity. Yeah, I'm going to do a wild deal on those. Oh, wow. Hang on. These ones? Oh, look, they are definite pumpkins. Oh, look. Yeah, and, and uh, Susie can talk to, you know, I know she's tuning in, but they talked about, you know, the, the meaning behind the pumpkin. Okay. Um, and again, it means prosperity. It has a lot of symbolism to it. For me, it works perfectly with the saturation of colour that we're dealing with here. Um, and I think we're going to offer these opportunities to all of our collectors right now. It is 16 carats. Each individual we're going to beautiful go little solitaires. To double figures on these. We are going to double figures on this collection of impressive, saturated, beautiful coloured. Wow. Look at that colour. You said earlier on, Dave, you know, where there's... Um, <clears throat> certain, I don't know, the bangle or certain pence where you've got moments of red, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, like this patches. Is, this is solid, deep. Body colour. Yeah. Which is so difficult to do because of how, how thin the skin is, uh, comparatively. There's, um, there's just, again, there's only 30 of these available. It's always going to have a limited quantity. Yeah, and we're just going to get the deals in straight away on all of these so you can just get maximize your collection while it's available. It's everything we have. You're not going to see new collections of Taipei Red Jade. This is why what we're offering you in the show now is so limited. This is the, the remainings of an incredibly successful launch. Mm -hmm. This is what we have. We understand how many collectors we have tuning in right now. We want to give you everything we have. $89.99 on a 16 carat parcel of intricately carved. Double figures. Double figures, $89.99. And, and you know, these kind of price points throughout the rest of this showcase are, are going to be routine. It's still Taipei Red Jade Eye. It's still the most impressive color. So, so Roland said to you in Tucson in February this year. Yeah, they, they think that. The I, I let that opportunity to purchase red. Yeah, he said he's seen about five in his life. And it was hell, he said, in his words, to even get a picture of Red Jade out for his book. He's been working on it for like 10 years with 23 other gemologists. You know, and I went to his booth, the Pillar and Stone booth. You know, you've got the lavenders, you've got the moss and snow, you've got these impressive collections of Taipei Jade out. He doesn't have Red Jade out. Can't get Red Jade out. Oh, my word. Um, Seven carats here. Oh, Taipei, Red Jade out. I've not these seen wonderful these drops, before. beautiful shape, translucent. Again, and you can really see that because of the way, the shape of these. Now, these remind me of the kind of snuff bottle. Remember yes. the snuff bottle at Christie's? Yeah. Um, there's only 40 available. One big deal, 49.99. Double figure. Yeah, 49.99. They really look like the snuff bottle. Yeah, uh, and, and uh, use these sparingly. Seven carrots, three wonderful pieces. You want to create a pendant. You want to create earrings. You want to use these in like a cascade effect. Droplets of Taipei red jade out. £12.49, interest-free payments. 40 you know, available today, and we're at £49.99. £49.99. Yes. I mean, they're, they're, they're ta you could put these in tassels. You could put them literally on the bottom. Oh, in fact, I'm looking across at one of uh, Gemma's pieces. On shepherd hooks, so easy to actually transform this into that luxury jewellery. Yeah, 100%. Wow. Less wow, is more wow. with this material. Less is more. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You would highlight. Oh my, oh my gosh, I goodness. love what Gemma's done here. 
Oh my goodness. Oh, look at um, I don't know if you know this, Dave, but yeah. Gemma is bringing red jade wow. kits. Amazing. And this is you know, the kind of jewelry I'm sure that Gemma's going to be able to showcase yeah. and create. Look, imagine wow. that. Literally yeah. having the red jade in the bottom. 100%. The oh my word, that's amazing. Well done, guys. There are only 20 of these, though, very, very limited. Um, uh, it, oh, sorry, 20 of the next opportunity, which are all about Ten the hexagons. The, the, and this was the one that had the classic spelling mistake. The hexagon gone, <laughs> isn't it? This is the one I remember. Even though it launched like that, we haven't changed it. We haven't changed it. We're keeping it as it is, even it's though that good. was pointed oh, out. It's a new shape. Clearly, at the start. The hexagon this is, gone. This is what I mean when I say... We're rough, we're ready, we're real. I like it. Love I like it. that about it. It makes us, I think, a little bit more uh, um, um, endearing. These are beautiful. So much bigger caraway here. We're talking 10 carats. Uh, match the price, Ross. <laughs> 49.99 for the spelling mistake. Just do it. <laughs> Why not? Hex on gone. These are going to be hex on gone. They are going to be gone. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, Morag, uh, Susie in Wiltshire, our uh, uh, friend Susie, Jane, Alison, Carol, Virginia in Hampshire, uh, oh, Linda, congratulations, £12.49 on your interest free split. £12.50. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. You need to be quick with these though. Uh, they're absolutely flying out. I love this. I love that shape. The hex on gone. The hex on gone, yeah, yeah totally. It. it still doesn't beat, though. I have to say, that as a typo is good. Doesn't beat hematity. No, that is a great <laughs> one. And to repeat that live on TV in the afternoon, why not? Why not? You got away with it the first time. The other one. And you're doing it again. <laughs> the other one as well. Are you sure you want to say it? You sure you want to no, say this it? Go fine. For it. This is all good. There's a little, uh, you know, queen. We had, uh, we had, you know, like killer queen and yes. things like that. And then we had don't stop me now. Oh, I like it. What was that to do with? What was that about? It's meant to be don't stop me now. Oh, okay. There we go. All good. But maybe we just did that to avoid being sued. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's what it was. I mean, we just, is that what we do? We just throw around like queen songs. <laughs> like we're just allowed to do that, are we? Fine, cool. Now this is, oh, this is the vase that we talked word. about. Oh, my word. The kind of vase of prosperity. And we talked about Guan Yin sometimes holding one of these. Yeah. You know, something that fills up with gratitude. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. This is, again, five carats across two pieces, so works perfectly for a pair of earrings. Oh, look at it. They're absolutely stunning, aren't they? New low price on these. New low price. Any, so reason, even though, any reasoning? No reasoning. Mm. No reasoning. Didn't think so. Right. Twenty nine ninety nine. That's the price I'm doing on these, and I know we've I know they've sold higher, um, but and they've only really been over two hundred have sold higher. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, anyway, we've said it. We're doing it. Twenty nine ninety nine. Twenty nine pounds and ninety nine pence. And over two hundred of these sold out. That's really far higher, wasn't it? Really. Oh in my word. Launch. We're going to twenty nine ninety nine today. I love that they fill with gratitude. Seven pound yeah. fifty on split pay. Yes. And I would multi-buy on these whilst the stock is available, whilst we have them in the building. You're not going to get new collections of, of these going forward. There was, also <laughs> there was also some mental spacer beads. Really? Instead of metal. Oh, my gosh. Mental. Wow. Any others that you guys can remember? Please oh, I'm loads. I, 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 I'll, I'll stop. I'll quit while I'm ahead. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Mental space of it. Mental space. I thought someone was messaging in just about these uh, red jadeites. Yeah. I thought they were like, these Maybe. were like mental space of it. Yeah. And I was like, oh, wow. Um, it's Kim, you bought two. Jane, you bought two. Virginia, you bought two. Linda, you bought two. Uh, Lavinia, what a lovely name. In Great London, you're on the phone lines. Joy, another lovely name. Stephen, you're in. Morag, you're in. Emery in Buckinghamshire. Sharon in Great London, you're in. Again, whilst oh, this is yeah. available, we're going to the, the new low prices across the board here for this incredible showcase event. Amazing. Take Keep advantage. dialing through. Um, I've got these beautiful carvings, extra, extra limited. This is, this again, it goes back to master carving. This. Yeah, yeah, no, of course. And to do this with the rarest um, type A red jade. And I would buy, especially with the deal I'm just about to do, there's 40 of these, but I'd buy several. Because they come, you get two, as you can see. Yeah, and but they I'd are I'd like to put these on a drilled. chain, like spaced out, like Van Cleef style. Oh, amazing. Or earrings. Right, just, you guys want to know the price. There's 40 available, 29.99. That's your price. Look at them. They're yeah. absolutely stunning. Yeah. 
It is like the Where Alf they Harbor, drilled? isn't it? Yeah. Drilled through the center, so literally, can you see? Ah, uh, I thought so, yeah. That's all right. I, I was making sure that the, the, you know, the chain would be able to pass through it or the rope would yeah, be able yeah, to pass yeah. through it and they, you'd still be able to see the shape. So you've got... Jane, Angela, Margaret, good luck. Congratulations, Warwickshire, East Sussex, Suffolk, Surrey. Oh, wow. £7.49. That is crazy. Yeah. So, Jane's I mean, got three, well done. I don't know if you, how often you speak to, uh, to, to Roland, but, I mean, imagine if you were to say, guess what? Oh, you couldn't find any of your book. Here's Couldn't that. finally, guess what? £7.50. You've got 30 quid on you. <laughs> yeah, have you got, yeah. No, I, I, um, I would never tell him that. I know. But yeah, I you're know. right. I mean, we talked, to, you saw uh, the gentleman earlier, you know, who is um, an incredible gentleman. His family have been involved for like half a century working with jadeite. Gentleman that can provide imperial green jadeite. And he's talking about the red material, the lavender material. And he said, look, my mother would have sold these. Oh, of course, they were much larger, but he was like, my mother would have sold these 40 years ago for like $5,000. Mm. And he was talking about that appreciation in that time span. He said, today I'm buying them back for $70,000. So I can't even buy them from the market. So I'm buying them back from our own customers. Wow. That's what we're talking about. And, this and is... he's happy to do so. Oh, that for sure. And he's still going to make a profit. Exactly. Otherwise, it makes zero sense. Wow. Um, amazing. Well done, I've got. Everybody. I've got the next auction. It's my final auction with you guys. This is, again, uh, going to be a new low. Uh, previously, we've brought these. Am I correct in thinking we did these for 99.99, Ross? Yes. Yeah, it's 20 carats, that's why. 20 carats. Um, I'll, I will actually put it over there because I don't... Will you be able to see it from there? Probably not. Cause it's like, well, they've... Uh, I've got to say, candle. never been lower. Never, Never been lower than 99.99. We sold hundreds in 99.99. So you can ring up for your price, but it's 20 carat parcel here of the wonderful kind of pumpkin shape, the type A Oh, reds. they're gorgeous. Yeah, and it's just the sheer carat weight. Um, yeah, these yeah. are bigger than the previous, yes, aren't yes, they? Yes, yes, yes. The biggest carat weight that we've actually got across, uh, right. across your sort of... How many do we have, Ross? ...bead parcels. Oh, my word, really? Hundreds of these have, have sold 121. Before, we have 121 available now. Can you come in at the price that these have always sold at? This is a factual fact. These have always sold 20 carat parcel and hundreds of you will have these. And, and, you, and you're more than welcome to call up and get your price pledge, uh, which was incredible because we actually put a 20 carat parcel of Taipei Red Jadeite into double figures. I have a minute clock. I'm going to make these, these, these remaining 121 disappear. And remember, we've got beautiful Red Jadeite coming up. Um, with Gemma, yeah. With Gemma. Straight um, after. Yeah, so these I'm going to be, be watching that show. Perfect to go alongside. Just to give you some idea of what's going to happen, because you've probably, you know, how am I going to get 121 out of the building? I'm going to absolutely destroy this price. Destroy it. Yeah, but what, well, there's no reasoning, though. There's no, I know, but I, I, you, know, you know me, I'll always, when I like to leave this showcase, when I like to you know, uh, have my final auction, I like to do a crazy deal. So you guys remember... When Dave comes, he's always going to bring you an incredible deal. Well, you uh, have my parting gift. And, and, you know, it's going to be extremely busy. And I know Gemma then is going to take you through, you know, how to create these masterpieces with Red Jade, which is going to be incredible. But I want to make it extremely busy right now. It's already really busy because this is double figures for a 20 carat parcel of Taipei Red Jadeite. The same Red Jadeite that <coughs> some of the biggest Jadeite dealers in the world can't, can't even get a picture of. That even our own Susie said she'd never even seen Red Jade. Yeah. Half the price, Ross. So my final deal for all of you is whilst the stock is available, and if you want to buy seven, eight, three, whatever it is, you haven't just get seen involved. 10 or 10. For the same price, essentially what we're doing right now is we're saying, you know, buying it on free. Yeah. On the original previous price. Yeah. For what we brought you 20 so you carats for carrots. three months ago, bring you 40 carats. Wow. And no dealer in the world, no gemstone dealer in the world is doing deals like this. No, especially not on the, you know, the rarest of colours. Yeah, no. That article that you showed earlier on, Dave, you were talking about the fact that, um, I forget which one it says, was it Pillar and Stone who said that they believe that it's going to be yeah, lavender yeah, yeah. or red jade? Yes, it was the, that's it. Right, go back one more, Ross, sorry. It was the one with all the colours mm -hmm. and they're circled. That's all right. Um, so this is... You're, you're quite right. In Tucson 2022, the guys at Pillar and Stone, who are experts, talked about the boulder skin. And the boulder skin is where the colours come from. Mm -hmm. um, and they said that is the material that's completely disappeared from the market. As of course, as you can imagine, because it's in sh such short supply, it's never been stockpiled. Which has actually resulted in the most drastic price jump that the jade market has ever seen. Wow. It's turned it on its head. And, and they're, they're postulating, they're forecasting, they're saying, look, 
we strongly feel that feeling this, seeing this, you know, in, uh, at our level of the business, buying the rough and things, they said, we strongly feel that when the auction houses resume, which they have, the next time a red jade, or even a lavender, we don't know right now, solid color star, carving, whatever it may be, bangle, I don't know, makes its way to the auction house. They think it's going to break the record. They think it's going to break the record, which is obviously held by Imperial Green Jade up from Myanmar right now. Now, bear, I'm just, it's just a moment of realization. The colors that we have brought today, red, yes. lavender, mm -hmm. and the aqua. Yeah. It's ridiculous. The circled colors, literally those circled colors. Yeah, that's exclusively, actually. Yeah. yeah. Aqua, lavender, amazing. then the intricacy of the carvings. Truly, truly new amazing. Low, new ultra-low deals, oh, and giveaways. Dave. Um, we absolutely love, uh, love, love seeing you on our always show. always love Thank being here. So Thank you very much. much. I'm going to go nip out now and watch uh, Gemma's show from the office because I'm really intrigued because I've just seen that piece of joy and I'm blown away. Yeah. So you guys, I know you're going to stick around and see it as well. I will see you on Friday. But for now, thank you very much for joining us. Don't go anywhere. Gemma also working with the rarity of red jadeite, which, by the way, those kits are going on pre-order. We'll be back after this. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay.
Now, these amazing kits are already getting snapped up on pre -order. I'm not surprised. No. Gemma, welcome back, firstly, oh, my oh, darling. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, my goodness me, these are beautiful. Oh, no, they're gorgeous, aren't they? They're gorgeous. They're lovely, unusual pearls. And then, the, obviously, the red, the red jade, which is, you know, yeah. exquisite. Well, we've just, yeah, we've just literally, uh, uh, well, we've been talking about the rarity. We've been talking about the rarity. This is across two different kits. Um, to get, yeah, donuts, high goo. They're also known as the high goo symbol, that yeah. miniature uh, sort of donut shape, um, that symbol of immortality. They come with seed pearls, which I absolutely love. Mm. So I'm going to start with this kit. This amazing kit, which uh, Gemma has created, this absolutely beautiful Marla. And then we have one other version, which includes your natural type AJ dye. You know, the silk, absolutely amazing. All the sterling silver, the seed pills, fabulous. We don't often get seed pills. But it is all about your natural type AJ dye. And I have to say, Gemma, mm. that is some incredible intensity of red. Yeah, it, the... the it's gorgeous. I mean, there's just a lovely sort of internal texture to them as well. So you, you do get sort of the multi tones within each one, but you've got the darker ones and the paler ones. They're just all really beautiful. Absolutely stunning, aren't they? Yeah. There they all are. So you're getting a selection, um, 10 pieces in total, 10 pieces, certified type A, completely natural um, jade. And again, you've, seen, you've, you've heard Roland Schlusso, you've heard our lovely Dave talking about you know, this is the colour they believe will actually overtake your um, imperial jade moving forward in the auction houses. Now, it comes along with your lovely, uh, very decorative sterling silver uh, um, tassel tops. They are brand new. The only way to get hold of these is part of this kit. Um, let me just pick this up with my tweezers so you can see just on the underside, you've got that almost crossover. And that's where you anchor um, your tassel from. Still not done because you've got a lovely selection of your sterling silver spacer beads. Um, you're getting 40 of those and they're two mils in their size. So I'll pop that just there. There is your classic Griffin silk. When we're talking about the, the prestige of type A jade, and pearls, let's be honest. I mean, they're lovely. Look at the luster on those pearls. Absolutely incredible. Most of us will immediately say, right, it's got to be silk. It has got to be silk. So um, that's three pre uh, th three, three threaded, pre-threaded pre even. Yeah, it's got a needle on yeah. it. Yeah, got the needle. That's just up here. Can you see it? Where is it? There. Yeah. Underneath there. So it is actually pre-threaded. You get the red silk too. Still not done. One. two three strands of seed pearls which are like gold dust mm. we very rarely get seed pearls yeah no they're gorgeous as well they're lovely lovely to work with now oh i love this kit but it's going to sell out you can get it on your split pay there are 46 of these available in the world that's it Look at the red. Look at the intensity of that type A natural jade eye. Even if we were to stop here at £499, that's incredible, right? I mean, that is the future pieces of Christie's. Mm. Ten red jade donuts. Men, most people don't own, own a single carrot. You're getting 15 carrots in this one opportunity. We're about to do a massive massive price crash and it also i love that because that means you're getting the deals mm. um ordinarily i would say i'm a little bit worried because you know dave dave might be watching he's just said he's watching but didn't he do jade for tenor earlier on i'm not mm. worried in the slightest no. um okay if you want to know how <coughs> green jade obviously yes well hang on a minute the natural type a red jade mm. yeah this is the rarest of the rare. Many people, not just ourselves here at Jewelry Makers, Roland Schlusso, who wrote the book on your fancy colour jades, said this is the colour that he believes will overtake your imperial greens <coughs> in terms of uh, overall valuation. We've got a big price crash coming your way. Jane Joan, London Morag, SJ Kent. We're going to put some pounds back into your pocket. This is... This is the pinnacle of luxury. Mm, it is. It is absolute luxury, yeah. Ten of your beautiful miniature high goo jades. 
in natural type A red jadeite. Three strands of lustrous seed pearls, £199. £49.75 on your split pay. But it, I guess it shouldn't be any surprise. We had less than 50 of these kits available and there is a lot of demand for this. I can see you there on the web. I can see you on those phone lines. I still have got one other kit to bring you, which I will um, do throughout the course uh, throughout the course of the, uh, the remainder of the show. Um, make sure you check out your baskets. And again, any questions that you have for lovely Gemma about this gorgeous piece, then do text in. Mm. Gemma, what are you right. going to showcase? So I was going to show you how to sort of put that the long um, tassel necklace together and how to use those tassels with the components you have mm -hmm. um, the, 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 the necklace is can reconfigurable it can wrap around a couple of times you can wear it like a scarf yep. um, and so it's nice to have that many pearls that you can yeah, do that no with there's no clasp is there no that's just one way of wearing it that's just oh, tied at the it. front but you can have it as a as a um, you know like a scarf wrap it around a few times and have those tassels dangling mm -hmm. at different lengths so um, and, and because you've got those lovely seed pearls, it's you know you've got the opportunity to do that with all three strands. So this one has used two and a half strands um, of the pearls, and it's used only two of the um, the donuts, the red jade donuts, and those absolutely gorgeous little tassels. Oh, so, the detail of those little tassel tops are amazing. They're aren't beautiful. They? Are they, they look like they're gem set. They are, aren't they? Uh, they are set with. Is it is are the tassel calm? caps uh, yeah, set look. with gemstones? They are, look. Definitely. Ah, oh, what, so what, what have we got set within those tassel tops? They're beautiful. We'll have a little look, check the specifications and they're, let you know. They're so beautiful. And when you're working with high-end um, you know, materials like this, then these are the sort of details that you really want to have. Right, so I'm not going to make the full necklace, but I'm going to show you a nice quick way of threading up the pearls and then also how to attach the pearls into your um, elements that you want to use in your design. Um, and I'm using, um, for the actual piece, I use sterling silver wire and sterling silver head pins just to keep that consistency. But for the purposes of the demo, I'm just using um, our studio sample set that we've got here in, anti in this um, copper, okay? Right, so imagine what I do when I start threading my pearls is I don't take my beading wire, beading thread from the reel. I leave it on so there's no chance of them all falling off. Um, so what I'm going to do here is just crimp the one end because um, I don't want my pearls to fall off. So when we're doing this, we're going to crimp it without anything in place uh, the other end. So we need to stop that from, we don't want to close that up completely. So I'm popping the end the um, crimp bead on to my bead and thread, doubling it back through, and then I'm just gonna slide that down until we've just got a little loop remaining at the end, okay? And then I'm gonna use my crimp pliers to pinch one way and then go into the other end and pinch the other way. And that's given me that stopper on that end so my pearls won't fall off. And then I can go, go ahead and thread on my pearls. Now, you think it sounds like a, a big task to restrand two and a half strands, but it's very, very simple. So what, what I do is I keep them on the temporary, keep them on the thread. So I'm just going to cut a bit of this excess off. Okay, I keep them on the thread and I'm going to take my beading thread and I'm going to slide that in through the pearls whilst they're still strung. Okay, so take my a beading thread in through the pearls, hold that, you know, that um, temporary thread alongside, parallel with your beading thread, and just push the pearls onto the beading thread. Okay, so we don't need to um, re we don't need to unthread them all and then individually pick them up and thread them onto the thread. You can just do it like this, and it literally takes minutes. Now, of course, you have got your um, silk cord, your, your um, pre-threaded need, pre-needle threaded. So if you wanted to make these go a bit further, then knotting in between each would, would obviously make them go further. Um, and you'll probably be able to knot about 75 centimetres worth of pearls with, with that thread. Okay. So if you can imagine now that I've threaded on um, two and a half um, strands of my pearls, or, or as much as you want really for your um, sort of wraparound necklace. And then you're gonna pop on a crimp bead on the other end and then take the thread back.
back through the crimp bead and again we're going to create that loop the other end now if you're worried about pulling that through you can always pop something in the way like a jump ring or a piece of wire or something to stop stop it pulling all the way through but i'm just going to pull down until i've got the little little tiny loop and then again i'm going to crimp use my crimping pliers to pinch and close that crimp bead up okay so that's making the you know the full sort of around the neck piece and then we're going to um, <clears throat> create the little elements that attach so first off I think I'm going to construct my tassel so on the underside of this tassel top you've got this crossover um, in there now if you were making a traditional tassel you could pass your threads um, through um, and behind here um, but we're making a BD tassel. So what I've done is I've made, I've pre-threaded um, four featherweight head pins, um, one for each of the um, cross sections, and they comprise of one of the sterling silver spacer beads, one a seed pearl, um, and then another of the little spacer beads, okay? So they're all pre-threaded ready. And then the center one, I want to drop a little bit lower. So I've put... Um, one space of bead at the bottom, one pearl, and then three space of beads to follow up. And you'll see that I've already sort of created that loop shape. Now I do that because when we, we want some movement in here. So if I didn't create that shape first and I just put the wire through and pulled it, pulled it down and then did a wrap loop, it would lose the movement. It wouldn't, it wouldn't move around. So what I do is, is pre-make pre the loop and then before I do the wrap, obviously we've got to get it into the tassel. So the other thing to um, help you thread that through is just to sort of put a little kink on the end of the wire so that it's like a little hook. So you can hook it up through that um, component, like so. Pull it into place. So we're just gonna pull it, pull it, pull it into place until that loop that we've created sits in that center crossover section okay once it's there the easiest way to do this is to hold across the loop instead of um, your fingers getting away hold across the loop like that and then take the tail of that uh, featherweight head pin and wrap it around it's got it's a, a bit of a moroccan vibe hasn't it it has yeah it's like a it's like a, a minaret isn't it mm. it's got that sort of um minaret shape and that you've that you've often find in sort of Morocco and uh, Middle Eastern countries, yeah. Um, so then the next one again, we need to make that little sort of loop on the end, or little hook on the end, so we can hook it under. And all we're going to do now is do the same on each of these four little bars. So I'm just going to carry on and hook hook those in. And then we've got I've got four to go, so there's a bit of little bit of time okay we can bring the next kit in um <clears throat> for you so again features a really gorgeous strand of your lovely um they're described as potato pills aren't they but it's called a more of a baroque because they've got these wonderful little uh, anomalies again genuine pearls that you're looking at right there you also get your very classic very historic cyan red of course um, in terms of the length that you're getting here, two metres, there we go, and it's a 0.5 millimetre um, red cord. Then, these are exciting. These are amazing. So, you actually have double-sided pearl pendants, which have that really lovely uh, gold, uh, gold edging to them. They are drilled, too. I wonder if I can hold... Let me try and hold that one up just because it's a little bit more elongated, so <clears throat> easier to hold on to um, with the tweezers itself. So these are a bit different, Gem. Yeah, I know. The lovely, lovely organic shape. It's different to have the gold edging on, isn't it? So yeah. It gives them a bit of luxury. So can you see? Are they are they classed as blister pearls? Is that what they... Yeah, I was they... ab about to say these... I don't think these are Keshis. They're not Keshi pearls. Can you see the drill hole there? Because Keshi pearls wouldn't have the bead nucleus. So I'm um, just, there we go, through drilled. So I would say they were, 
I'd say they're blister pearls. I think that yeah. makes more, center, uh, more sense uh, to me. So we will check the graphics and correct that for you all. Um, you get three of them. They're beautiful. And they are obviously not faux or imitation. Um, <clears throat> yeah, uh, so genuine pearls with that beautiful, almost like replicating um, 18 karat gold being poured around them. I love them. They're absolutely stunning. Uh, so you get three of those. Still not done, though, because... It's all about the type A jade. I mean, the pearls are wonderful, of course they are, but to actually be able to purchase and get hold of the rarity that is nit uh, natural type A jade, it really is um, astonishing. Now, you're not just getting you're not just getting one or two. You've actually got a parcel of six. So even if this kit was really just about, if it just had the jadeite, the price that we're taking this to um, is astonishing. Remember, the bolder skin has completely disappeared from the market. That's, that's, that's really where you see your fancy colors of jadeite. Jadeite is rare in the top 10 world's rarest gemstones. Over 4,000 minerals exist. Jadeite is in the top 10. Imagine the rarity of type A natural red jadeite. Well, it's not in the boulder, it's in the boulder skin. We strongly feel, sorry, there's the boulder skin. We, uh, we said earlier on, uh, Ronald, who spoke to, uh, spoke to Dave, spoke to Jake earlier on uh, this year, said, we strongly feel that it won't be long before the auction record is held by a purple or red jade, which changes everything we have ever understood about jade. On that basis, should we even be going lower? Because the next price that we go is not your closing price. The pearls are beautiful. They are, aren't they? Mm. Very beautiful. They're both the strand and also um, sort of your gold lined. We're not even stopping at 99.99, but you are getting the rarity of natural, certified natural type A jadeite even if we, it was just about that opportunity, even if it was just about purchasing that beautiful, rare, natural gemstone, and we were to stop at a double-figure price tag, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah, it would be amazing. But, in fact, that's where we're meant to stop, because that's what my sheet says. We've got 73 of these available. But you, oh, listen, Dave said it earlier on, didn't he? He said it earlier on. We quite often, we might have a plan. We never stick to it, though. <laughs> Ross is the worst. <laughs> <laughs> not end of statement. Not end of statement. He's not. He's one of the best. He's one of the best people. He's one of the worst for sticking to a plan. Aren't you, Roscoe? But in the best possible way. Let me just dig myself out of that hole. <laughs> you know what I mean. When I bought you red jade out, the one time that parcel of red jade, this parcel, the one you're looking at right now, it sold out completely at $49.99. By me. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that oh. parcel on its own was $49.99. It sold out... We have an entire kit, including genuine cultured pearls, those really beautiful gold-lined uh, sort of edged cultured pearls and the, 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 the cord and the strand. You're getting all of that for free. The only way you can get hold of uh, those pearls, this jade eye is in this kit. And to be honest, you wouldn't want to buy it any other way. Um, the final few, we only had 73 of these though, so do make sure um, you're quick to check out your baskets, everybody. Jen, back to you if you're ready. Okay, I am indeed, yeah. So I've managed to um, attach all of my little um, tassels or um, sections into this bead cap. So it's looking really pretty now. In fact, do you know what? I'm really liking the mixing of metals here as well. Yeah, so beautiful. I've gone with the, with the copper or rose gold, so it works. Um, so now what I want to do is attach my, um, my little red jades in and use that as the link between the tassel and the strand, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to do two different um, attachments. So I'm going to go from this side first. So I'm going to go through 
one of my jades through the center of that donut there. And I'm just going to pull these wires up and over the donut to catch it like that. I'm gonna give that a little pinch so that it sits sort of um, straight up from the donut. So a little bend, a little kink in the wire just there. And then take this shorter length and just give it a little wrapped loop around the, the longer length of wire, okay? And then we're gonna trim that shorter length of wire off. <coughs> And then what I'm going to do is add one of my spacer beads. So for you, that will be in your kit. That will be the, the little um, silver spacer beads you've got. And those silver spacer beads will slide over your wrap as well. So you won't actually see that in your design. Um, and then at the other end, um, I'm going to take my round nose pliers. I'm going to start. I'm going to make the first part of that loop again, just forming the shape. Like so. Well, you know, you said about the mixed metals. It actually, yeah. This color of finding really complements the red jade out. I think it? it really does. Yeah. I mean, it it might be that you don't want to use uh, anything other than a precious metal with your red mm. jade out, and I completely understand that. But um, aesthetically, yes, it works wonderfully. Um, okay. So now I I've got my loop attached to my tassel. So I'm going to take that wire and wrap it around, nice and neat again, and trim off the excess. Okay, so then I need to attach that to that and I'm going to do it in exactly the same way. So another piece of um, your 0.4 wire, whether that's sterling silver or copper, really up to you. I'm going to pinch that round, make that little kink in the wire again so that it sits nice and straight and then wrap that shorter length of wire around the longer length. Okay, make sure it's all nice and tight. Trim off the excess. And then we will, again, thread on a spacer bead. Now you can do a combination here. You can do pearls if you wanted to onto there. Mm -hmm. But I've got my spacer. Then, again, start that loop. So start it off so that you keep that nice round shape. Thread that then into the end of the strand of pearls that you've created. Again, hold across the loop while you then take the wire around and wrap it around neatly above your spacer bead. Okay, and then trim off the excess. And you do that on both ends, and then you'll have your sort of long tassel -y necklace that you can wear in multiple ways. In fact, you can wrap it around your wrist and tie it around. You'd have tassels oh, on beautiful. your wrist. beautiful. You know, it's lovely. I, I would be likely to wear this as a scarf, more scarf-like. Yeah. That's know. what I think I love about this design. Um, it, it's, it, it is, it's wearing, you know, gemstones here, which is which steeped in history, obviously. Mm. Um, but it's given it that modern twist, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. It's, it's also, you can wear it quite, um, you know, it's smart evening wear, but you could wear it quite casually as well. If so. I don't, if I didn't want to put, um, say, your featherweights or something like that, could I also use silk? Maybe in the bottoms of these tassels. Oh yeah, you could, yeah, you could, thread. you could create your tassel and you'd, you'd take it up through that um, cross. So you'd use the cross to anchor your tassel yeah. into place, yeah. You could so that, that would work as well. Yeah. Uh, you know what to do. Helen, good luck to you. Uh, new customer, Linda, Irene, you may, Jacqueline, new customer, London, Caroline, Jean, Margaret. This kit has absolutely flown out the mm. door. I'm not surprised in the slightest. It was meant to be 99.99. In fact, let me show you that. Let me just show you, just to get because I don't want anyone to think that I cover that over. That's because that's the next opportunity. But if you literally cast your eyes across, this is what I get sent. Like I said, we form a plan. We don't always stick to it. Um, so this is pearlation, gold edge, freshwater pearls. 73 available at 99.99. That's where we were meant to be. Um, that way. That's where we are. Mm. Doesn't make sense, does it? Doesn't make sense. Well done. There we go. Check out those baskets, everybody. Um, I think we can squeeze in. Yes. Do it. One more opportunity. Um, and I'm going to just say, gorgeous Dan. Have you got a bust there, lovely? It has stuck. Yeah, gorgeous Dan. Sorry. It has totally stuck. Because this has got, this includes, I don't think any person... <laughs> Is <laughs> Nobody is going to complain about uh, the, 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 the nickname Gorgeous Dan, are they? Unless your name's not Dan, you might complain then. Thank you, Gorgeous Dan. Come on, give us a flash of those pearly blues. Right now, he's stopping it. Else. 
Stop it, stop it. Um, <clears throat> now this, I'm going to show you the actual necklace first. So it is a beautiful box chain, comes with the extender. Um, it, yeah, it's amazing. 925 solid sterling silver. And you might be like, oh, okay, that's, uh, that's a weird one. That's because it's interchangeable. Mm. Interchangeable. And it's super quick interchangeable. So I'm just going to turn this for a second. And at the reverse, you can see... Can you see that there? There's a little, almost like a gate that opens and closes. Let's go for the jadeite as we've been talking about all things jadeite today. So there we go, say I wanna wear that today, the circle of heaven, there we go, job done. You've got the jadeite, natural type A, of course. <clears throat> and then you have, um, of course, wonderful, um, is it topaz or cubic zirconia there down the front? I think it's topaz. I want to say it's topaz. Yeah, uh, natural topaz. Now, say you want to change it another day. You don't have to change your entire necklace. Oh, no. Literally open and close. Which one shall I go for this time, Gem? Oh, let me see the other ones. So we've got labyrinth or we have lapis. A lapis, guess. Do you want to go with lapis? lapis? There we go. Pop it on. You can do this whilst you're still wearing it. I love jewellery like this. Me too. Because it's a totally different look, isn't it? Yeah, it's really, that's really nice. I'm going to put my hand underneath because you can't quite see the lapis lazuli with that black uh, with that black background. Look how gorgeous that is. Three looks. Sterling silver, three beautiful, rare, genuine gemstones. That's £20 per necklace, effectively. I wonder if those donuts from earlier would fit into those as well. Oh, that's a Maybe. possibility. Maybe. They might do. Mm. If I had one handy, if you got the kits. No, that's not one. I know that we've done other, uh, we've done other uh, sort of high goo or donut like shapes and they would probably fit in as well. Mm -hmm. 24 pounds and 99 pence. I remember back, gosh, I would have been probably, I don't know, eight or nine and my sister had a little wrist, uh, had a wristwatch that she could interchange the colors on yeah. the dial. Do you yeah, remember those? I, yeah. I was watch, so watch. jealous. Yeah. It was a swatch, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I was so jealous of that, just because she could literally match it to her outfit. That's effectively what we're doing, but yeah. with genuine gemstones. Type A, natural jadeite. Let's put this on the back of my hand so you can see everything that you're getting for this amazing price point. How giftable is this, Jo? I know, that's what I was thinking. What a lovely gift, you know, to be able to... I love things like that, where, you know, you, you can interchange things and use it in different ways. And I don't know about you, but I've got long nails and yeah. very difficult to take on and off my my necklace on oh, my own yeah and sometimes you know i maybe don't want to wear pink today i want to change it up and wear green or blue or or that lovely sort of um gray well, green there, color labradorite yeah literally there it is straight at the front i'll leave that one with you um we can squeeze one more in gem good is it this one uh yes oh, it good. is that one i love this. um ross oh i love this too mm. Everybody loves these. Mm. Ah, Parve set, with cubic zirconia, all that 925 sterling silver. Tassel jewellery is yeah. all the rage at the yeah, moment, of course. Jess, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Uh, they, and these are just so lovely. And you know what? If you've got a nice... Um, is, is this the one with the crisscross at the bottom, or is Have it a little empty? Look. Sorry, Tassel, but I'm just going to... There we go. Oh, it has, yeah. Flash so, your bottom. So you can, you know, use that to anchor and pull in your um, your t actual tassels. Yeah. Or you can attach the um, like chain, like I just showed you with, with the pearls. Those, imagine all those seed pearls. But also, you can glue in, like I've got some um, pear drop shape Ooh. pearls. You can um, glue those into the bottom and have those like as a cap for oh, a so pearl. So you'd actually almost not use the cross. Yeah, in these. Fact, and it's easy to snip that cross <coughs> out if you don't yeah. if you want to do that because you just snip the edges. It's sterling silver and just you know they're inside, so they're not gonna it's not gonna show. So almost treat it as well like a bead cap. A bead like, cap. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. How lovely is that? Twelve ninety nine. You know what to do. Keep on dialing through. Loving these. Um, we're running out of time today. Yeah. Um, Gem, thank you so much, my oh, darling. It's been really nice seeing you. Oh, it's lovely seeing you. And um, um, thank you for, having, for giving me the red jade. Oh, you're very Whoever well was done. in charge of that, I'm but, very happy. <laughs> well, doing, uh, doing the service that you have done. When mm. are you back? I think the 12th of August. 12th of August. So good for a few weeks. You've got a nice back. break then. Have Excellent. a nice little break. Little break, yeah. Gorgeous Gemma Crow. Don't we just love this lovely lady? Mm. I hope you have a wonderful afternoon. Make sure you check out your baskets. I'm back with you now tomorrow with another stunner as well. We've got Claire McDonald on the show. Mm. Um, so it's going to be a cracker. Have a wonderful rest of the day. We'll see you soon.